from within. It's not somebody else outside singing our praises. It's how we care about people and what goes on here in the spirit and the enthusiasm of an entire team working on a patient. And nothing can be better as a testimonial on Facebook or wherever we decide the best channels are than this. This will really help put us up there instead of groping to get to the top. So we really need a team effort here. We can go into more detail yep. about that. Later. Individually, if you, anybody have, wants to go deeper into what we're doing, feel free. I mean, I'll, we're all we're all available to to you at any time. Give me a second. Everybody here pretty much knows. I think John Cerrone, the director of, of the uh, hello everybody infomercial video and our TV commercials and S.A. Baron, cinematographer. How are you? <laughs> Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Thank you. Um, what they're doing here today and next Tuesday, right? Are we yes. On for next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to just shoot. Cinema Verite, I guess. You know, Reality call, you know, show. We're just going to take it as it is. No take setups. it as it is. See Dr. B in his element. You guys dealing with patients. Dr. B dealing with patients. The interaction of staff. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get some little snippets that Rich can get out to YouTube, and maybe it goes viral. So Dr. B will say one of his crazy things, like every erection has a resurrection, uh -huh. and it'll be to a patient or something, and that's crazy. But it's hot and it's, it's the kind of thing that can go viral and all of a sudden Path Medical is all over the world, okay? So John is gonna be capturing these moments and it's just so you guys know that he's around and you don't get... Did you mention the hot oil wrestling? Uh, the hot, what? The hot, hot oil, oil wrestling. wrestling. Yeah, we are going to be sure. Yeah, we need some volunteers well. for the hot oil wrestling <laughs> later on. So, he, <laughs> okay, so he'll be shooting a little bit now, just catching some, some video. and. Uh, uh, great. So in the end, what, what's going to happen is every, what's that? every month there will be a high-level document oh, that certain team members in the room will be sitting in on the seat. We, we, Everyone knows concussion protocol in this room where you get like a base test. Not everybody in this room is medical. Everyone's, everyone's medical, right? Yeah. Not everybody in this room is medical. So, base test, so I, my kids are, are football players, they take a base test. Base test says, this is where you're, 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 you're starting before you step onto the field, mentally, physically. So, and then if they get hurt, they get a concussion, medical, they go back to the base test and they run back on the field until your base test really matches. In a sense, what we did here I, is a base test. Down, and anybody wild. who wants to go into it's the details perfect. of it, I'm happy to share it with you. It's a long presentation, but it's one of those things where we had. A, we said, okay, we're, we're starting at baseline zero right now. And over the first 15, 30 days, we're, we're taking the baseline and moving it up outside, you know, different from the concussion protocol where you bring it back we're taking baseline and going here. So we're gonna be monitoring every day in a sense, what's going on, what are the sentiment around it. We're gonna be what we call listening and lurking. Everybody knows that Edward Snowden? Who yeah. heard him, right? The guy was hiding out some beer somewhere, right? I do the same thing he did. No, he's in Moscow. He's in Moscow, so yeah. <laughs> Except for the government's not looking for me. It's, we, are, we have the ability to listen in on every conversation going on across the internet and understand specifically what people are talking about about this particular brand and then making the correction. So a lot of things are happening already where we're able to correspond directly to patient inquiry on behalf of Dr. Braverman and Pat. We can respond back, have a conversation, and maybe turn the negative into a positive. So that's kind of a baseline of what we're doing. The audience, this is what we're going after. Patient targeting, I ignore the misspelling on this on this slide. Uh, I was look, wondering. Yeah, you know, we just see if everybody's awake. Uh, <laughs> 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 including myself. Uh, what are we looking at? The seven stresses, the physical, the chemical, the mental, the emotional, the nutritional, the traumatic, and the psycho-spiritual. And taking each one of those things and breaking it down to find an exact audience for that or somebody who would want to engage with us. Uh, we're going to look at competition uh, and who's out there. This is that important, so I'll fly through it. You know, Dr. Raj used to be one. I was with Hearst Media prior to working for Condé. He was one of our guys, so now I love going, being able to go against him and putting Dr. Mm. Raj up above Dr. Raj. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he won't like that. If you ever, ever see him, he'll come I'm involved with you guys. Uh, we, we work pretty well with him. Uh, our focus, executive health screens. This is the bread and butter of the organization. This is where the money is going to sit for us. We're going to be looking at brain health, brain and mind assessment, total body valves, integrative care are really focusing on who that consumer is, driving them in here so we can get those 10, 15, 100,000. What, what countries are you gonna focus it on? Do you know what my countries of people well, come here right for now, and crazy about us? Right, right now, we're gonna be concentrating on, with what we have to do first, we're concentrating right here. Okay, so I grow. need to let you know that our biggest success has been 
things Italy. like Dubai, Dubai. Yeah. Paris, uh, but Belgium. 10,000 or 20,000 right. people right here within we're a going, mile we're going of this building, building fruit first. That, that get to right. come in here. If you want them in China, we'll put you on Ren Ren and Baidu, which is the Google and the, and the Facebook mm -hmm. out there. We can, I like Dubai. We, we can find the audience. So, okay. Does anyone want more fruit? Are you desperately hungry and we're ready to pass out? This is this is what the office is tasked with. It's not particularly my okay. our, no, This is you. part of our goal, Diana, Diane, and ours together to work on doing this. Something? This is probably the most important Ooh. slide because this is what the opportunity in this office is. With the executive health screen. Right. Everything else is charity care. I need. I've told that to stop. And I, I love right. doing charity care. Right. I got the energy for charity care as right. long as we set up properly. We do this. We can do all the charity. I'll, I'll, put it this way. We get here. I'll take them out of the what office every day doing charity work around, like across the country. Right That's my promise. Well, we, we do it here we, now we, all we the time. Right. You see, there are patients that have been SSCs on a regular right. basis that pay $90. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a loss of $800 per visit. Right. Which is which is goodwill, and that's the message you want to get out. But this is what our goal is. And this is everybody in this room. This is what we're striving for. The price scale on one of the executive screens is fifteen to $100,000. We're currently getting two to three of these a week right now. We can handle 10 a week. The existing staff, we're getting two to three of these a week. We can actually do seven more of those screenings a week. So we looked at it from the perspective of how do we help you build the bucket more? What does this actually mean in revenue to the business? $105,000 additional revenue a week that we can drive at minimum, and we can drive in here without increasing any staff. So, I mean, the guys in the building might have a little harder job, but from, from a medical perspective, you know, based upon what I've talked to Bruce and Dr. B, this is what our opportunity is, and this is what we're going to be striving for. That's over five point five, close to five and a half million dollars worth of billing revenue. Think about the, the difference in the entire environment of this organization. And that's the current debt of the office, about right. five million. Right. So we can we can wipe out in a year, in a year, the deficits, uh, uh, and we can concentrate with solely. the existing staff, without adding to staff. Right. We have the capacity because yeah, we're really I, doing. I think that you'd have to add at least another PA, well, our doctor, for you that. And I, as we to grow, do this, I don't agree that we could make that. You're telling and me you can't do one more EHP? A no, day? no, he's talking about seven more a week. Okay, so let's make it five. Okay, take it five. Go three point so, five. Yeah, and go four point two million right. instead of five point right. eight. Right? So look, the, the reality is, is we have a gap, and we have a way to fill it. We, there's a, there, and the great thing about it is, it's not like there's not there's not a, a missing audience. If you look at this, and this is one of the areas we're attacking, and this is just in the New York City marketplace. There's over three thousand people a month searching for executive health programs right here, and we're not getting. We haven't been getting them. We haven't been entertaining. We haven't been going after them. Zero. That changes today. Well, January today. 1st. January 1st. Yeah, we're still doing the back end. January 1, we're going to be appearing here and going directly after that. We're not going to let Scripps and Montefiore and the rest of these, these hospitals that are now entertaining this. The more we research, the more we find out New York Presbyterian is in the executive health business. They know people are coming from around the country, to your point, Doc, or around the world, come to New York for care like this. So we're going directly at them. We're also going here. We're going to social. We're driving engagement with people who have been corresponding, talking about getting executive health screens, about wanting to get help here. But we're not just doing it to anybody. We're identifying the consumer we want to go after who has a net worth of over two, three million dollars that can afford to come in and do a $50,000 out-of-pocket screen. And when they look up Dr. B and Path and his staff, all he's going to see is glowing reviews about what an amazing place it is and how we can how we can change their life. We're going to talk. We're going to do a little brand monitoring. We're going to be tracking the brand monitoring up against actionable social data. That's going to allow us. If this, I'll just point a couple things out real quick. You see the circle? That circle represents how many people understand and know that Path is in the business of executive health screenings versus the competitors. And I'll actually show you right now what your your percentage of the pie is, then we can see what the the data flow is. What are is in that pie in your piece? Is it is there a lot of good messaging? Is there a lot of bad messaging? And then here's where it gets better. You see this over here? We can actually identify people who have come in and made comment, and it'll give us. I might and it might and not. It's not something about Dr. B. It could be a glowing review about anybody. It could be Susan. Someone did a screening. They say their business is amazing. I sat with Susan. She did my pre-screening. I felt wonderful. She made me feel really good about going into my. Now I'm going to have say Susan. 
here's this person, here's Rich Campanero, reply to them right now and say, I'm so happy you love it here. Won't you refer us to a couple of friends? That's how deep we're going to be going with this thing, guys. And that's why it's important everything that is being said in the, by the individual, by doctor, could even it could be even about the guy who's walking around with a push cart, you know, and, and walking in with charts. You'll see the feedback coming in in real time. And it's going to help all of us. There might be things that we go, man, I should have done that a little different. I think that's the point Dr. B was trying to make before. We all have room for improvement. Everybody does every day. So we're just going to, we're going to help you guys, help yourselves, help the business, and help us all get better. To the point is that we have to also stress what makes this executive health program better than Columbia Presbyterian and Montefiore and the and Einstein. Why are we better? We might not have the name Einstein. We don't. Oh, he Einstein. really is, but we have an Einstein <laughs> right here. And maybe that's a saying we, we should use. Yeah. Right. You know, that we, you know, you don't have to go to Einstein to find an Einstein right. here in Park Avenue yeah. South. So we have to really look to differentiate why come here versus a hospital that has a, a, a worldwide reputation. And that's the key to, to pushing us up. Why should they come here? Yeah. Do you think that? You know, I met with Martha why, Stewart. What, She's what? got a program at Mount Sinai, and she was telling about it, and I, it's a joke. It is a joke. Right. Here's I why. did the research. No, There's nothing we got the stem cells that are in one place. There. We got the growth hormone in the brain. So we have a, a osteoporosis program in one place. Right. We have the ability to stop height. Right. We have a bariatric how the, program. How about the brain, Doc? They don't no, even include right, the they don't even know what 3T uh, MRI is, half these people. Right. Right, 3T MRI sees damage Correct. in 14 year old kids. I mean, Alice, about. how many years have you been in pediatrics, Alice? Over 20. How many brain 3T MRIs did you see with these kids that are on drugs having damage? Zero. Right, so how many have you seen that? Dozen. Right, so the kids are damaged. They're all damaged from the drugs on the 3T MRI or damaged prior to the drugs. Right, and on the beam. Right. So Visual. there's nobody doing beam and 3T MRI. They're doing it, but you have to go to seven places to get what I got here. We got to get this message. Eighteen thousand square feet, Light seven here. places, seven yeah. places to get here. In fact, it cannot be found. Plus, I was doing executive health ideas 20 years ago before all the hospitals realized that the system was broken. So on that note, what we're going to be looking at is how we take the base and, and, and all valid points. I mentioned the base test before, here's, here's ours. So we just looked at overall who's dominating in the market right now. It's Scripps, it's Mount Sinai, it's and our little sliver of the pie is what we have to grow off of. So these are the things that we're gonna be watching and reporting back to the office and certain individuals in this room, you know, sometimes weekly, more likely in a, in a, in a total summary report every 30 days to show we want to get that sliver growing, but more importantly, we want the sliver and the sentiment positive. We want, it, we want it to be positive 72% of the time and a little bit of negative. Right now we have a reverse model. Okay, So we're going to be working on correcting a lot of things. A lot of it is going into the past, getting rid of all the, all the negative data, filling it with positive data, leaning on everybody in this room to help them contribute and get content, get some information out there. It could just be you have a great story to tell for a day. You saw a patient that came in and they left exuberant, they felt better, they just had, they didn't want to put anything out. Put it out yourself. I can't believe we, we had another great patient come in today and they felt better than they ever did. It's such a great great place to work. It's a simple thing like that. And think, think about how many people are in this room right now. We have about 20 people in here. If everybody just put two or three positive things out a month, hmm. that would take all five minutes. Right before you know it, the negative's gone. There's just not that much. I mean, look, Dr. B. I've spent a lot of time with him in the last month and a half, and the guy's brilliant. The problem is that brilliance isn't out there. We need to bring that brilliance to the street, and that's what it's all about. Okay, and I'm gonna end on that. So it's it's really about it's a team effort here. You know, I'm I'm accessible to everybody. Me too. You know? Me and Diane, we're, we're, we work together three or four days a week. Probably spend two to three hours a day working on, on, on this account and getting make sure that we have the right message going out on the street. So what it tell us guys, give us the stories, give us the information. If you're mad at Bruce or Dr. B or somebody else, call me, vent, I don't care. I, I love the stories. It just it, it, it makes it fun. So just bring it to us. Don't bring it out there. Okay? And the other thing is if you would email us or text us that a patient came in is what Rich said. And they left, you know, a new competent uh, person and safe, feeling safe. 
and not to tell us their illness, but what made them feel safe. Those are just words, unless we can document Okay, you want to tell them what email? Worth a what emails do you want this sent to? And Carolyn, if you okay. take a copy, take down the email, and Carolyn will distribute it. What emails do you want? Okay. Where do you want it sent? Okay. You want it sent to your assistant, or you want it directly? No, to no, you? to me. To what email? Oh, to Carolyn Derek. Derek, uh, is it? I should go to both of us, you and me. Carolyn's writing it all down. All right, so Derek, you want to give it to him, to them, and he'll write and it And Rich, all what down. email you want? Uh, use R Campanaro, and that's C A M P A N A R O at N J advancemedia.com. Send them to me and I'm going to distribute them out directly to everybody on the team uh, from, from the uh, Conde side. And what we'll do is I'll also give you myself. Uh, it's 914-815-4845. Because if you want to send a text or if you want to call me for anything, just, just sometimes it's hard to get something out of me. Shoot me a text and just tell me who you are and I'll get back to you right away. The best I, I, thing I, is that we have a great foundation, I, and that's that we're not starting from scratch. We have a, a foundation here that has a history. We've got a doctor here that we know is brilliant that has a history. Now we just have to take all these ingredients, like a cake, and put it out there. And everybody's word is vital to this messaging that we want to get. And it's taken us a while to figure out the system and how it's going to happen, but we got it. So let's just make it sing. It's very exciting. Mm. I'm excited. And they have to handle my eccentricities. How many doctors are eating green beans raw at the staff meeting? Uh -huh. A little weird, right? I, I, think, think, I think it's, it's healthy. healthy. It's healthy. Diane yeah. said the word foundation. Uh -huh. I have to say that you people here are part of that foundation. And I've been honored to know you, you and work with you folks you're some of the best in the in the medical field and it's about time the world found out about it in my opinion dr Bajaj is miraculous in his healing the national that handles every detail any chart anything medical like a she can take a complete mess i call her rapunzel and, and what i will say is that pretty dr braveman has has lauded Pretty much every. Yeah, well, I wanted a lot of them right here. Well, wait a minute. I, I want to say that you've done it on radio, on live radio. Pretty yeah, much everybody. Yeah, I'm Sudan, you've done it. Dr. Bajaj, you've done it. Dr. Yeah. Smitty, you've done it. Vanessa, you've done it. We Ellen, have too you've much done going on for it. most people to keep up with because they don't hear the radio shows. We have well, two a week. I just like to make that point. All right. So, so, you know, so look, Susan, how many years has so been taking care of the new patients? 17 years? Yeah. Dr. Bajaj, how many years? 14. 14, Dr. Smith and I have been working how many years? 30? 30 years doing and better and better and better. Carolyn, six. Dennis, what, 15? By the way, those Chip, numbers. How many years have you been here? 12. 12. How many years have you been here, Glenn? 10. These guys are in the trenches battling insurance companies. Unbelievable. All right? It's like trench warfare, like World War I warfare. It's not the same as World War II. I think that that's. I think, the, thank you for doing that, because this is something we have to bring out My there. normal pattern of how I treat myself is, I give myself 10 kicks, in, uh, maybe 50 kicks a day with no compliments for myself. Uh, you want to hear this, Diane? Yeah, I do. The bottom line is, I've tried to give this message before to everybody. There's a, the silver rule, giving everybody what they want. You know, like you want to help your baby, you give them a lollipop and they want it. And there's a golden rule. You treat people the way you treat yourself. That doesn't work because I don't give myself one compliment in a day. I don't need any compliments. I do. A, I knock myself a hundred times a day. I should have done that better. I could have done that better. I knock myself. The, unfortunately, most of the people I work with don't want to be criticized a hundred times a day. The rule is uh, five, uh, one, you know, one criticism per five or ten positive right. interactions. Right. Because I don't function that way inside, it doesn't, I, I have to do the extra. So here's the plutonium rule so we don't blow the whole planet up. Love people the way they need to be loved. So I have to figure out each employee, something like Dr. Josh doesn't need as many compliments as other employees. He just doesn't. Some do. I don't want to say pretty gets, pretty gets really down by my criticism. Other people don't. 
So I have to figure out how, how to get the ratio right for each individual for what they need for their own optimum function. Now, some of them need to be shoved. But anyway, I, you know, I'll tell you the good side. Alice can take care of any, sit with any problem patient and comfort them. She's like, a, I don't know, your pacifier, a living pacifier. So it's very nice. And Glennon and, and, and uh, Tip have been in the trenches a decade and pretty put, has put up with a lot of vitamin chaos once we lost John, right? And Diana has had more legal experience than she counted on, all right, and unfortunately. And Dennis has had more of a slop mess. Right, Dennis, how bad? Dennis' opinion is I should have a $50 million lawsuit against the city for fraud, correct? Roughly. Right? That's your opinion. That, that, they, that we should be suing the government for all the nonsense that they put us through. A lot of luck with that. <laughs> right, and Andrew's uh, done things like Battle of MX Black XL. Remember that one, uh, Andrew's done some of um, them. Uh, what do you got, your fourth year now, Andrew? Uh, going on six. What? Going on six. Oh, my God, you poor guy. Six years. <laughs> Pretty how many years are you? Oh, my God. Vanessa, how many years? Yeah. Oh, my God. Twelve years. Twelve years. And we're all growing to see that no bariatric, how many people have seen patients come in knowing about the Bariatric Society of Medicine and Weight Loss? <coughs> what percentage of patients do their doctors tell them? There's an approved board of how to lose weight and not one, almost never, right Vanessa? How many years, in 12 years, any doctor has told them how to lose weight with these techniques that we have here? How many people come in with 3T, a really quality MRI, Dr. Prashad? Yesterday's 3T MRI from NYU the was what? The only came in, we couldn't use it. Well, useless. Why? Didn't meet our standards. It didn't. It didn't. It missed five other five places in the brain. They didn't do it. We had our three T. Uh, our three T guy is from Yale, and he, he does it. Was useless. Like He'd rather do it over for free than use it. Next, man. How many people come in with diabetic medicine properly placed or pulmonary medicine properly placed? Hold on, Doctor Jaj. I need you to repeat that. Uh, well, we have it on film about that. What was that about the test? We had a 3T MRI of the brain come in from NYU Langone, and we had our radiologist read it. He did it as a courtesy, and uh, he said he'd rather redo it as a courtesy for free than waste anyone's time trying to make some more value out of it. So he said, please send the patient over to me. I'll redo it for free so we can do the job the right way. What was wrong with it? The, the interpretation the or the way the, the test was administered? It didn't meet the standard for the analysis that we do, the neuroquant analysis that I can't explain. It's, yeah, it's the hippocampus, which is the memory center of the brain, wasn't properly analyzed. Amygdala, was thalamus, it, was, these was are it sections. Was properly or was it analyzed properly? Their equipment does not have the programs okay. that analyze properly. Okay. They probably have the ability to scan properly but they're not connected to the quality of life issue. These are tumor centers. Hospitals are dealing with 3T MRI. They wanna know, are you gonna croak or not croak today? And so they're looking for big lumps and bumps in the brain. We're looking for the first beginning of calcification, of blood flow change, the first beginning of memory death in the person's uh, brain chemistry. The first beginning of atrophy, which we see in 21-year-old kids that have used a lot of dope and have had all sorts of problems and uh, smoke, you know, basically cocaine addiction and they've had concussions. And we see at 18 years old, brains that look like they're 70 years old, all right? Because we have alpha 3T, A to T, alpha to omega brain scanning. And that alpha to omega brain scanning is just that superior. And it's superior, and so is the beam superior than any EEG. I mean, I just heard that one of our patients went to the hospital, and the first thing they did was routine EEG. I mean, it's like routine EEG would be if you saw me instead of with this iPhone, it would be uh, if I was like licking envelopes at the so staff what, what meeting. What should they have done, at, let's say, at NY? What, would, what should they have done? They have to improve. For the hospitals to improve their care, they, don't have the they, they do. They, they, they have the resources. They don't have the drive. They're, they're living off of guaranteed payments. They become socialists. And the problem is they have no drive. But to improve the care in the hospital would be very complicated. You'd have to start to retrain 
a whole new brand of primary care doctors that are like generals that are, can be in charge of the specialists. The problem is the specialists all want the big money for operating on your kidney or operating on your heart or operating on your knee and your hip. They are not under any authority or control. So the specialists are like, instead of goodwill hunting, they're doing, they're doing good gallbladder hunting. They want good hysterectomy hunting. The neurosurgeons that's doing those three TMRIs, he's interested in one thing out of that radiology center in the hospital. He wants tumors to come to him for surgery, meningiomas, growths, bumps. He doesn't care that that patient has a memory disorder and has MCI and has a, a, you know, the depression around menopause because she's down in estrogen. They don't care. It's not a quality of life center. It is a surgical end stage muffler you know, AMCO transmission place where people are looking for very specific income-driven hospital procedures. Excuse me, but even though the co-payments from Oxford, um, Medicare, United, they're all so low that there's nothing really... So then you get even more panic. Here's what happens. The, the medical system doctors are in panic because they're not used to selling care, so they get into more panic to the point where you know, a woman could die in a hospital and they could continue to do the bypass and bill and say she died four hours later. They're desperate because they don't know how to shift the public back to personal health care responsibility. Right now, we are still 90% a cash office. And 90% means that people take responsibility. When people put their money where their mouth is, it turns out they listen to advice. Right. But what I was asking you is I know that the doctors want to sell whatever surgery it is, right. but their reimbursements are so low and also the hospital So then they need to sell more. So, they, that, so their answer is to sell more and more and more. We see thyroidectomies that didn't need to be done. Women had a huge scar across her neck. Right, PET scan was negative. You know, she, doesn't, she didn't have thyroid cancer, but they took the whole thyroid out. It's more and more. It's you go into the hospital, you slip on a banana peel, and you, you're visiting someone. They say, let's take out your appendix, and they take out your uterus. And you, why do you need a uterus? You're 60 years old. We're there. Why not grab your ovaries? you got 40 feet of intestine. You only need 30, 20 feet. Why don't we take an extra 10 or 20 feet? Why don't you take out your gallbladder? It's got a little sludge. Let's take the spleen out. It's not that necessary. And then you wake up. You have a heart attack. You get, you know, basically stents and bypass. That's how the system is operating. Uh, it's a scary system. Yes. Very scary for people. I mean, you got coverage for taking out half a woman's brain, but no coverage for memory testing. Right. <laughs> Bad, right? What else you want to know, Diane? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your questions all day. Is that enough? Like taking us up from a fire hose. Speaking of the questions, Dr. Bajaj, you know, are Dubai patients coming back today? Are they scheduled? Because I left a little mm -hmm. early last night. I didn't see them after the pet scans. I'm nervous about it. I thought they were coming back, and I didn't see them. No, we need your help there, tracking them down. Hmm? I just said you didn't see them after the pet scans. Right. Well, we'll, we'll, let's track them down. Okay. We done? Let me anything see. else? Everything else? Well, okay. Well, oh, and you want to go around fast and see if anything on everyone's mind? Anything on your mind, Dr. Josh? Fast? I wrote a lot of notes. I'll share them with you afterwards. Okay. Anything that you want to share with the group? It's 10:30. We're all in here. Anything? Yeah. I, I appreciate that. Anything that anyone feels overwhelmingly desired to work on the share phone now, answering. it's a critical problem. No? You want personal yes. stuff? Are you on, um, when you call here, it's more. Last question of the day, Diane. No, no, no. a statement. Um, we said before that we don't think uh, we are going to need any additional staff. I said that. I, I, I disagree with that. Well, you said a doctor and a PA, but what about a permanent um, front desk? Person, Melissa's think. interviewing. We, we have Dave coming for two weeks, three weeks on his vacation, which he helps out in Lorna. Good. But the bottom line is, I I liked the person the other day, and unfortunately, she was chased away by the interview process. Melissa says she thinks she's going to fix it. Um, I would love to see you involved in it. I would love to see you bring someone from your church group. All right, all right. I would really love that you and Doreen found someone, one of your sisters, to come out because you have greeted my patients, Carolyn, better than anyone I've ever seen. I wish I could spare you and put you at the front, but I can't spare you. I mean, you greet everyone with such love. I mean, we sing, uh, she and I sing the seventh verse of Amazing Grace that I wrote, right? 
Now what's the what's the verse, right? Can you sing it for us, Carolyn? Amazing. Come on, sing it for us. She sings in church. Amazing peace, how sweet the sound that brought two brothers love. They once were two, but now they're one. Or hawks, but now they're doves. Yeah, I wrote. The, there's six verses. Just bug me that there's only six verses. Amazing grace. So I had to come up with the seventh. Come on, sing it. Amazing peace. Come on, you're amazing. That was meant, that verse was written, Diane, by me, to, and everyone to apply to Jews and Christians, alternative medicine and conventional medicine, communists, whatever enemy we have that we want to turn them uh, around. All right, in other words, it was meant to turn the whole, the whole world, it was meant to turn the whole world around towards more love. So... Yeah, I bet you didn't know that side of me that we sing songs yeah, really at the end knew. of the day. Oh, well, that, 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 you knew the chauffeur that. side, but you didn't know that I write songs. I, I knew that there was a the part. But I write the songs. I have other songs. Like I you and Madelow could be a team. I write those songs. <laughs> I, I'll let everyone go, but I can have her sing the new version of The Rose, and I also rewrote Forever Young. We'll do that at another time. Okay, at another time. I'm not going to question the people who went to NYU. Tighter agenda. All right. From within. It's not somebody else outside singing our praises. It's how we care about people and what goes on here and the spirit and the enthusiasm of an entire team working on a patient. And nothing can be better as a testimonial on Facebook or wherever we decide the best channels are than this. This will really help put us up there instead of groping to get. So we really need a team effort here. We can go into more detail yep. about that. Later. Individually, if you, anybody have, wants to go deeper into what we're doing, feel free. I mean, I'll, we're all we're all available to to you at any time. Give me a second. Everybody here pretty much knows. I think J John Cerrone, the director of, of the uh, hello everybody infomercial video and our TV commercials and essay Baron cinematographer. How are you? <laughs> Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Thank you. Um, what they're doing here today and next Tuesday, right? We're yes. on for next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to just shoot cin cinema verite, I guess. You know, Reality call, you know, show. We're just going to take it as it is. No take setups. it as it is. See Dr. B in his element. You guys dealing with patients. Dr. B dealing with patients. The interaction of staff. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get some little snippets that Rich can get out to YouTube and maybe it goes viral. So Dr. B will say one of his crazy things like every erection has a resurrection. Uh -huh. And it'll be to a patient or something, and that's crazy, but it's hot, and it's, vi it's the kind of thing that can go viral, and all of a sudden, Path Medical is all over the world, okay? So, John is going to be capturing these moments, and it's just so you guys know that he's around, and you don't get... Did you mention the hot oil wrestling? Uh, the hot what? The hot, hot oil wrestling. Yeah, we are going to be sure. Yeah, we need some volunteers well. for the hot oil wrestling <laughs> later on. So he, <laughs> okay, so he'll be shooting a little bit now, just catching some, some video and... Uh, uh, Great. So, in the end, what, what's going to happen is every what's that? every month there will be a high level doc oh, that, that certain team members in the room will be sitting in on the seat. We we everyone knows concussion protocol in this room where you get like a base test. Uh, not everybody in this room is medical. Everyone's everyone's medical, right? Yeah. Not everybody in this room is medical. So base test. So I, my kids are, are football players. They take a base test. Base test says this is where you're you're you're, you're starting before you step onto the field, mentally, physically. So 
And then if they get and hurt, they get a concussion, they go back to the base test, and they run back on the field until your and base test really matches. Bothering me. In a sense, what we did here I is a base test. It, and it's anybody wild. who wants to go into the details pretty. of it, I'm happy to share it with you. It's a long presentation, but it's one of those things where we had we said, okay, we're, we're starting at baseline zero right now. And over the first 15, 30 days, we're, we're taking the baseline and moving it up outside, with, you know, different from the concussion protocol where you bring it back. We're taking baseline and going here. So we're going to be monitoring every day, in a sense, what's going on, what are the sentiment around it. We're going to be what we call listening and lurking. Everybody knows that Edward Snowden? Who yeah. heard him, right? The guy was hiding out some beer or somewhere, right? I do the same thing he did. No, he's in Moscow. He's in Moscow, so yeah. <laughs> Except for the government's not looking for me. It's we are we have the ability to listen in on every conversation going on across the internet and understand specifically what people are talking about about this particular brand and then making the corrections. So a lot of things are happening already where we're able to correspond directly to patient inquiry on behalf of Dr. Braverman and Pat. We can respond back, have a conversation, and maybe turn the negative into a positive. So that's kind of a baseline of what we're doing. The audience, this is what we're going after. Patient targeting, I ignored the misspelling on this on the slide. Uh, the, I was look, wondering. Yeah, you know, we just see if everybody's awake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at, including myself. Uh, what are we looking at? The seven stresses, the physical, the chemical, the mental, the emotional, the nutritional, the traumatic, and the psycho-spiritual. And taking each one of those things and breaking it down to find an exact audience for that or somebody who would want to engage with us. Uh, we're going to look at competition uh, and who's out there. This isn't that important, so I'll fly through it. You know, Dr. Raj used to be one. I was with Hearst Media prior to working for Conde. He was one of our guys, so now I love going, being able to go against him and putting Dr. Bridgman <laughs> up above Dr. Raj. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he won't like that. If you've ever seen him, he'll come. I'm involved with you guys. Uh, we, we work pretty well with him. Uh, our focus, executive health screens. This is the bread and butter of the organization. This is where the money is going to sit for us. We're going to be looking at brain health, brain and mind assessment, total body valves, integrative care, but really focusing on who that consumer is, driving them in here so we can get those 10, 15, 100. What, what countries are you going to focus it on? Do you know where my countries of people well, come here right, for right, and crazy about us? Right, right now, we're going to be concentrating on with what we have to do first, we're concentrating right here. Okay, so I grow, need to let you know that our biggest success has been things Italy. like Dubai, Dubai yeah. Paris. Yeah. Uh, but there's Belgium. 10,000 or 20,000 people right here within we're going, a mile we're going for of this the building fruit first. That, that get to right. come in here. If yeah, you want them in China, we'll put you on Ren Ren and Baidu, which is the Google and the, and the Facebook mm -hmm. out there. We can, I like Dubai. We, we can find the audience. So, Does anyone want more fruit? Are you desperately hungry and we're ready to pass out? This is, this is what the office is tasked with. It's not particularly my arm. No, this is you. part of our goal, Diana. Diane and ours together to work on doing this. Something? This is probably the most important Ooh. slide because this is what the opportunity in this office is. With the executive health screen. All right, everything else is charity care. I need I've told that to stop and I, I love right. doing charity care. Right. I got the energy for charity care as long as we set up properly. We do this, we can do all the charity I'll, I'll put it we get here, I'll take them out of the what office every day doing charity work and across the country. Right. That's my promise. Well we, we do it here we, now we, all we the time. Here. You see that there are patients that have been SSCs on a regular yeah. basis that pay $90. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. loss of $800 per visit. Yeah. Which is which is goodwill, and that's the message you want to get out. But this is what our goal is. And this is everybody is in this room. This is what we're striving for. Ultra. The price scale on one of the executive screens is fifteen dollars to $100,000. We're currently getting two to three of these a week right now. That would go that's by. We can handle smart. 10 a week. So be With the existing smart. staff in this office, we can actually do brainless? seven more of those screenings a week. So we looked at it from the perspective of how do we help you build a bucket more? What does this actually mean in revenue to the business? $105,000 additional revenue a week that we can drive at minimum. And we can drive in here without increasing any staff. So, I mean, the guys in the building might have a little harder job, but from, from a medical perspective, you know, based upon what I've talked with Bruce and Dr. B, this is what our opportunity is, and this is what we're going to be striving for. That's over five point five, close to five and a half million dollars worth of billing revenue. Think about the, the difference in the entire environment of this organization. And that's the current debt of the office, about five million. Right. So we can, we can wipe out in a year in a year, the deficits, uh, and we can concentrate With solely. the existing staff, without adding to staff, right. we have the capacity, because we're yeah, only I, I think that you'd have to add at least another PA, well, our doctors, for that. You and I, as we to grow, do this, I don't agree that we could make that. 
You're telling me you can't do one more EHP a no, day? No, no, he's talking about seven more a week. <laughs> okay, so let's make it five, okay? Make it five, go 3.5. So, yeah, and go 4.2 million right. instead of 5.8. Right. Right? So look, the, the reality is, is we have a gap, and we have a way to fill it. We, there's a, there, and the great thing about it is it's not like there's not, there's not a, a missing audience. If you look at this, and this is one of the areas we're attacking, and this is just in the New York City market. There's over 3,000 people a month searching for executive health programs right here. And we're not getting it. And we haven't been getting it. We haven't been entertaining. We haven't been going after it. Zero. That changes today. Well, January today. 1st. January 1st. Yeah, we're still doing the back end. January 1, we're going to be appearing here and going directly after that. We're not going to let Scripps and Montefiore and the rest of these, these hospitals that are now entertained is the more we research, the more we find out New York Presbyterian is in the executive health business. They know people are coming from around the country, to your point, Doc, or around the world, to come to New York for care like this. So we're going directly at them. We're also going here. We're going to social. We're driving engagement with people who have been corresponding, talking about getting executive health screens, about wanting to get health here. But we're not just doing it to anybody. We're identifying the consumer we want to go after who has a net worth of over two, three million dollars that can afford to come in and do a fifty thousand dollar out of pocket screen. And when they look up Dr. B and Path and his staff, all he's gonna see is glowing reviews about what an amazing place it is and how we can how we can change their life. We're gonna talk, we're gonna do a little brand monitoring. We're gonna be tracking the brand monitoring up against actual social data that's gonna allow us if this I'll just point a couple things out real quick. You see the circle? That circle represents how many people understand and know that PATH is in the business of executive health screenings versus the competitors? And I'll actually show you right now what your your percentage of the pie is. Then we can see what the the data flow is. What are is in that pie in your piece? Is it is there a lot of good messaging? Is there a lot of bad messaging? And then here's where it gets better. You see this over here? We can actually identify people who have come in and made comments. And it'll give us, I might, and it might, and not, it's not something about Dr. B. It could be a glowing review about anybody. It could be Susan. Someone did a screening, they say, their business is amazing. I sat with Susan, she did my pre screening. I felt wonderful. She made me feel really good about going into my. Now I'm going to have to say, Susan, here's this person, here's Rich Campanaro. Reply to them right now and say, I'm so happy you love it here. Won't you refer us to a couple of friends? That's how deep we're going to be going with this thing, guys. And that's why it's important everything that is being said in the, by the individual, by doctor. Could even it could be even about the guy who's walking around with a push cart, you know, and, and walking in with charts. You'll see the feedback coming in in real time. And it's gonna help all of us. There might be things that we go, man, I should have done that a little different. I think that's the point Dr. B was trying to make before. We all have room for improvement. Everybody does every day. So we're just gonna we're gonna help you guys, help yourselves, help the business and help us all get better. To the point is that we have to also stress what makes this executive health program better than Columbia Presbyterian mm -hmm. and Montefiore and the and Einstein. Why are we better? We might not have the name Einstein. We don't. Oh, we have really Einstein. is, but we have an Einstein <laughs> right here. And maybe that's the saying we, we should use. Yeah. Right. You know that we. You know we don't have to go to Einstein to find an Einstein right. here in Park Avenue yeah. South. So we have to really look to differentiate why come here versus a hospital that has a, a worldwide reputation. And that's the key to, to pushing us up. Why should they come here? Yeah. Do you think that? You know, I met with Martha why, Stewart. What, She's what? got a program at Mount Sinai, and she was telling about it, and it's a joke. It is a joke. Right. Here's I why. did the research. No, There's nothing we got the stem cells that are in one place. There. We got the growth hormone in the brain. We have a, a osteoporosis program in one place. Right. We have the ability to stop height. Right. We have a bariatric how the, program. How about the brain, Doc? They don't no, even know the, the Right. They the don't even know what 3T MRI is, half these people. Right. All right. 3T MRI sees damage in 14 year old kids. I mean, Alice, man, how many years have you been in pediatrics, Alice? How many brain 3T MRIs did you see with these kids that are on drugs having damage? Zero. Right. So how many have you seen that? Dozen. Right. So the kids are damaged. They're all damaged from the drugs on the 3T MRI or damaged prior to the drugs. Right. And on the beam. Right. So these there's nobody the doing beam and 3T MRI. They're doing it, but you have to go to seven places to get what I got here. We got to get this message. 18,000 square feet, Light seven here. places. Okay. Seven yeah. places to get here. In fact, it cannot be found. Plus, I was doing executive health ideas 
20 years ago before all the hospitals realized that the system was broken. Right. So on that note, what we're going to be looking at is how we take the base and, and, and all valid points. I mentioned the base test before, here's, here's ours. So we just looked at overall who's dominating in the market right now. It's Scripps, it's Mount Sinai, it's, and our little sliver of the pie is what we have to roll off. So these are the things that we're going to be watching and reporting back to the office and certain individuals in this room, you know, sometimes weekly, more likely in a, in a, in a total summary report every 30 days, to show we want to get that sliver growing, but more importantly, we want the sliver and the sentiment to be positive. We want it, we want it to be positive 72% of the time and a little bit of negative. Right now, we have a reverse model. Okay, so we're going to be working on correcting a lot of things. A lot of it is going into the past, getting rid of all the, all the negative data, filling it with positive data, leaning on everybody in this room to help and contribute and get content, get some information out there. It could just be you have a great story to tell for a day. You saw a patient that came in and they left exuberant, they felt better, they just had, they didn't want to put anything out. Put it out yourself. I can't believe we, we had another great patient come in today and they felt better than they ever did. It's such a great great place to work. It's a simple thing like that. And think, think about how many people are in this room right now. We have about 20 people in here. If everybody just put two or three positive things out a month, hmm. that would take all five minutes, right? Before you know it, the negative's gone. Because there's not that much. I mean, look, Dr. B, I've spent a lot of time with him in the last month and a half, and the guy's brilliant. The problem is that brilliance isn't out there. We need to bring that brilliance to the street, and that's what it's all about. Okay, and I'm gonna end on that. So it's it's really about, it's a team effort here. You know, I'm, I'm accessible to everybody. Me too. You know? Me and Diane, we're, we're, we work together three to four days a week. Probably spend two to three hours a day working on, on, on this account and getting, make sure that we have the right message going out onto the street. So what it was, guys, give us the stories, give us the information. If you're mad at Bruce or Dr. B or somebody else, call me, vent, I don't care. I, I love the stories. It just, it, 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 it makes it fun. So just bring it to us, don't bring it out there. Okay. And the other thing is, if you would email us or text us that a patient came in, is what Rich said, and they left, you know, a new competent uh, person and safe, and feeling safe, and not to tell us their illness, but what made them feel safe. Those are just words, unless we can document. Okay, you want to tell them what email? What emails do you want this sent to? And Carol, did you okay. take a copy, take down the email? Carolyn will distribute it. What emails do you want? Okay. Where do you want it sent? Okay. You want to send to your assistant or you want it to no, no, you? No, no, to me. To what email? Oh, to Carolyn Derek. Derek, Derek uh, is Derek. It, it should go to both of us, you and me. Carolyn's writing it all down. All right, so Derek, you want to give it to him, to them, and he'll write and it And Rich, what down. email do you want? Uh, use R Campanaro, and that's C-A-M-P-A-N-A-R-O, at NJ Advance Media. Com. Send them to me, and I'm going to distribute them out directly to everybody on the team uh, from, from the uh, Conde side. And what we'll do is, I'll also give you my cell. Uh, it's 914-815-4845. Because if you want to send a text, or if you want to call me for anything, just, just sometimes it's hard to get me something out of meetings. Shoot me a text, and just tell me who you are, and I'll get back to you right away. The best I, thing I, is that we have a great foundation, right. and that's that we're not starting from scratch. We have a, a foundation here that has a history. We've got a doctor here that we know is brilliant that has a history. Now we just have to take all these ingredients like a cake and put it out there. And everybody's word is vital to this messaging that we want to get. And it's taken us a while to figure out the system and how it's going to happen, but we got it. So let's just make it sing. It's very exciting. Mm. I'm excited. And they have to handle my eccentricities. How many doctors are eating green beans raw at the staff meeting? Uh, a little weird, right? I think, I think it's, it's healthy. Phenomenal. It's healthy. Diane said the word foundation. Okay. I have to say that you people here are part of that foundation. And I've been honored to know you, you and work with you folks you're some of the best in the in the medical field and it's about time the world found out about it in my opinion dr Bajaj is miraculous in his healing Vanessa handles every detail any chart anything medical like a 
So you can take a complete mess, I call her Rapunzel. Yeah. And, and what I will say is that pretty Dr. Braverman has, has lauded pretty much every... Yeah, well, I wanted a lot of them right here. Well, wait a minute, but I, I want to say that you've done it on radio, on live radio, pretty yeah. much everybody. Yeah, I'm Sudan, you've done it. <laughs> Dr. Bajaj, you've done it. Dr. Yeah. Smitty, you've done it. Vanessa, you've done it. We Ellen, have too you've much going Susan, on for it. most people to keep up with because they don't hear the radio shows. We have well, two a week. I just like to make that point. All right. So, so, you know, so look, Susan, how many years have you been taking care of the new patients? 17 years? Yeah. Dr. Josh, how many years? 14. 14. Dr. Smith and I have been working how many years? 30. 30 years doing and better and better and better. Carolyn, six. Dennis, what, 15? By the way, those Tip, numbers. How many years have you been here? 12. 12. How many years have you been here, Glenn? These guys are in the trenches battling insurance companies. Unbelievable. All right? It's like trench warfare, like World War I warfare. It's not the same as World War II. I think that that's... I think that thank you for doing that because this is something we have to bring out My there. normal pattern of how I treat myself is I give myself 10 kicks and uh, maybe 50 kicks a day with no compliments of myself. Right. You want to hear this, Diane? Yeah, the bottom line is I try to give this message before to everybody. There's a the silver rule giving everybody what they want. You know, like you want to help your baby, you give them a lollipop and they want it. And there's a golden rule. You treat people the way you treat yourself. That doesn't work because I don't give myself one compliment in a day. I don't need any compliments. I do. A, I knock myself a hundred times a day. I should have done that better. I could have done that better. I knock myself. Unfortunately, most of the people I work with don't want to be criticized a hundred times a day. The rule is uh, five, uh, one, you know, one criticism for five or ten positive right. interactions. Right. Because I don't function that way inside, it doesn't, I, I have to do the extra. So here's the plutonium rule so we don't blow the whole planet up. Love people the way they need to be loved. So I have to figure out each employee, something like Dr. Shaw doesn't need as many compliments as other employees. He just doesn't. Some do. I don't want to say pretty gets, pretty gets really down by my criticism. Other people don't. So I have to figure out how, how to get the ratio right for each individual for what they need for their own optimum function. Now, some of them need to be shoved. But anyway, I, you know, I'll tell you the good side. Alice can take care of any, sit with any problem patient and comfort them. She's like a, I don't know, your pacifier, living pacifier. So it's very nice. And Glennon and, and uh, Tip have been in the trenches a decade and pretty, put, has put up with a lot of vitamin chaos once we lost John, right? And Diana has had more legal experience than she counted on, all right, and unfortunately. And Dennis has had more of a slop mess. Right, Dennis? How bad? Dennis' opinion is I should have a $50 million lawsuit against the city for fraud, correct? Roughly. Right? That's your opinion. That, is a, that we should be suing the government for all the nonsense that they put us through. Yeah. Well, I love that. <laughs> right, and Andrew's uh, done things like Battle MX Black XL. Remember that one? Uh, Andrew's done some. Um, uh, what do you got? Your fourth year now, Andrew? Uh, going on six. What? Six. Going on six. Oh, hey, poor guy. Six years. <laughs> Pretty how many years are you? Eight. Oh my God. Vanessa, how many years? Yeah. Oh my God. Twelve years. Twelve years, and we're all growing to see that no bariatric, how many people have seen patients come in knowing about the Bariatric Society of Medicine and weight loss? <coughs> what percentage of patients do their doctors tell them? There's an approved board of how to lose weight and not one, almost never, right Vanessa? How many years, in 12 years, any doctor has told them how to lose weight with these techniques that we have here? How many people come in with 3T, a really quality MRI, Dr. Prashad? Yesterday's 3T MRI from NYU the was what? The one that came in, we couldn't use it. Well, useless. Why? It didn't meet our standards. It didn't. It didn't. It missed five other five places in the brain. They didn't do it. We had our three T. Uh, our three T guy is from Yale, and, and he, he does it. it was useless. Place. He'd rather do it over for free than use it. Next man, how many people come in with diabetic medicine properly placed or pulmonary medicine properly placed? Hold on, Doctor Jaws, I need you to repeat that. Uh, well, we have it on film about that. What was that about the test? We had a 3T MRI of the brain come in from NYU Langone, and we had our radiologist read it. 
he did it as a courtesy. And uh, he said he'd rather redo it as a courtesy for free than waste anyone's time trying to make some more value out of it. So he said, please send the patient over to me. I'll redo it for free so we can do the job the right way. What was wrong with it? The, the interpretation or the way the, the test was administered? It didn't meet the standard for the analysis that we do, the neuroquant analysis that I can't explain. It's, yeah, it's the hippocampus, which is the memory center of the brain, wasn't properly analyzed. Amygdala, was thalamus, it, was, these are sections. Was it properly or was it analyzed properly? Their equipment does not have the programs okay. that analyze properly. Okay. They probably have the ability to scan properly, but they are not connected to the quality of life issue. These are tumor centers. Hospitals are dealing with 3T MRI. They want to know, are you going to croak or not croak today? And so they're looking for big lumps and bumps in the brain. We're looking for the first beginning of calcification, of blood flow change, the first beginning of memory death in the person's uh, brain chemistry, the first beginning of atrophy, which we see in 21-year-old kids that have used a lot of dope and have had all sorts of problems and uh, smoke, you know, basically cocaine addiction, and they've had concussions. And we see at 18 years old, brains that look like they're 70 years old, all right? Because we have alpha 3T, A to T, alpha to omega brain scanning. And that alpha to omega brain scanning is just that superior. And it's superior, and so is the beam superior, all right, than any EEG. I mean, I just heard that one of our patients went to the hospital, and the first thing they did was routine EEG. I mean... It's like routine EEG would be if you saw me instead of with this iPhone, it would be uh, if I was like licking envelopes at the so staff what, what meeting. What should they have done, at, let's say, at NY? What, would, what should they have done? They have to improve. For the hospitals to improve their care, they, don't have the they, they do. They, they, they have the resources. They don't have the drive. They're, they're living off of guaranteed payments. They become socialists. And the problem is they have no drive. But to improve the care in the hospital would be very complicated. You'd have to start to retrain a whole new brand of primary care doctors that are like generals that are, can be in charge of the specialists. The problem is the specialists all want the big money for operating on your kidney or operating on your heart or operating on your knee and your hip. They are not under any authority or control. So the specialists are like, instead of goodwill hunting, they're, going, they're doing good gallbladder hunting. They want good hysterectomy hunting. The neurosurgeons that's doing those three T MRIs, he's interested in one thing out of that radiology center in the hospital. He wants tumors to come to him for surgery, meningiomas, growths, bumps. He doesn't care that that patient has a memory disorder and has MCI and has a, a, you know the depression around menopause because she's not an estrogen. They don't care. It's not a quality of life center. It is a surgical end stage muffler. And, you know, AMCO transmission place where people are looking for very specific income driven hospital procedures. Excuse me, but even though the co payments from Oxford, um, Medicare, United, they're all so low that there's nothing really. So then you get even more panic. Here's what happens the, the medical system doctors are in panic, they're not used to selling care, so they get into more panic to the point where, you know, a woman could die in a hospital and they could continue and do the bypass and bill and say she died four hours later. They're desperate because they don't know how to shift the public back to personal health care responsibility. Right now, we are still 90% a cash office. And 90% means that people take responsibility. When people put their money where their mouth is, it turns out they listen to advice, right? But what I was asking you is, I know that the doctors want to sell whatever surgery it is, right. but their reimbursements are so low, and also the hospital is so So then they need to sell more. So, they, the, so their answer is to sell more and more and more. We see thyroidectomies that they need to be done. Women had a huge scar across her neck. All right, PET scan was negative. You know, she doesn't. She didn't have thyroid cancer, but they took the whole thyroid out. It's more and more. It's you go in the hospital, you slip on a banana peel, and you, you're visiting someone. They say, let's take out your appendix, and they take out your uterus. Say, you, why do you need a uterus? You're 60 years old. We're there. Why not grab your ovaries? you got 40 feet of intestine. You only need 30, 20 feet. Why don't we take an extra 10 or 20 feet? 
Why don't you take out your gallbladder? It's got a little sludge. Let's take the spleen out. It's not that necessary. And then you wake up, you have a heart attack, you get, you know, basically stents and a bypass. That's how the system is operating now. Right? It's a scary system. Yes. Very scary for people. I mean, you got coverage for taking out half a woman's brain, but no coverage for a memory test. That, right? What else you want to know, Diane? I'll take your questions all day. Is enough, like taking a sip from a fire hose? Speaking of the questions, Dr. Pichaj, you know, are Dubai patients coming back today? Are they scheduled? Because I left a little early last night. I didn't see them after the pet scans. I'm nervous about it. I thought they were coming back, and I didn't see them. So we need your help there of tracking them down. Hmm? Right, well, yeah. we'll, we'll, let's track them down. Okay, we done? Anything see. else? Everything else? Oh, good. Well, oh, and you want to go around fast and see if anything on everyone's mind? Anything on your mind, Dr. Josh? Fast? I wrote a lot of notes. I'll share them with you afterwards. Okay. Anything that you want to share with the group? It's 1030. We're all in here. Anything? Yeah. I, you know, I appreciate that. Anything that anyone feels overwhelmingly desired to work on the share phone now, answer. it's a critical problem. No? Do you want personal uh, yeah. stuff? Are you on, um, Are you cool here? It's more. Yeah. Last question of the day, Diane. No, no, no. That's what is a statement. Um, we said before that we don't think uh, we are going to need any additional staff. I you said that. I, I, I disagreed with that. Well, you said a doctor and a PA, but what about a permanent um, front desk? Person, Melissa's interviewing. We, we have Gabe coming for two weeks, three weeks on his vacation, which he helps out in Lorna. Good. But the bottom line is, I I liked the person the other day, and unfortunately, she was chased away by the interview process. Melissa says she thinks she's going to fix it. Um, I would love to see you involved in it. I would love to see you bring someone from your church group. All right, all right. I would really love that you and Doreen found someone, one of your sisters, to come out because you have greeted my patients, Carolyn, better than anyone I've ever seen. I wish I could spare you and put you at the front, but I can't spare you. I mean, you greet everyone with such love. I mean, we sing, uh, she and I sing the seventh verse of Amazing Grace that I wrote, right? Now what's, the, what's the verse, right? Can you sing it for us, Carolyn? Amazing, come on, sing it for us. She sings in church. Amazing peace, how sweet the sound that brought two brothers love. They once were two, but now they're one. Or hawks, but now they're doves. Yeah, I wrote. The, there's six verses. Just bug me that there's only six verses. In Amazing grace. So I had to come up with the seventh. Come on, sing it. Amazing peace. Come on, you're amazing. Amazing peace, how sweet the sound that brought two brothers love. They once were hogs, two. but two, but now. So that was meant, that Amen. verse was written, Diane, by me, to, and everyone, to apply to Jews and Christians, alternative medicine, conventional medicine, communists, whatever enemy we have that we want to turn them uh, around. All right, in other words, it was meant to turn people, I got it. the whole world, it was meant to turn the whole world around towards more love. So... Yeah, I bet you didn't know that side of me and I try, that we sing yeah, songs really at the knew. end of the day. Oh, well, that, 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 you knew the chauffeur side, but you didn't know that I write songs. I, I knew that there was a heart. But I write the songs. I have other songs. Like I you and Manilow could be a team. I write those songs. <laughs> I, I'll let everyone go, but I can have her sing the new version of The Rose, and I also rewrote Forever Young. We'll do that. Tighter agenda. All right. From within. It's not somebody else outside singing our praises. It's how we care about people and what goes on here and the spirit and the enthusiasm of 
an entire team working on a patient. And nothing can be better as a testimonial on Facebook or wherever we decide the best channels are, then this, this will really help put us up there instead of groping to get to the top. So we really need a team effort here. We can go into more detail yep. about that. Later. Individually, if you, anybody have, wants to go deeper into what we're doing, feel free. I mean, I'll, we're all we're all available to to you at any time. Give me a second. Everybody here pretty much knows. I think J John Cerrone, the director of, of the uh, hello everybody infomercial video and our TV commercials, and S.A. Barron, cinematographer. How are you? <laughs> Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Thank you. Um, what they're doing here today and next Tuesday, right? Are we yes. On for next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to just shoot. Cin cinema verite, I guess. You know, we Reality it, you know, show. We're just going to take it as it is. No take setups. it as it is. See Dr. B in his element. You guys dealing with patients. Dr. B dealing with patients. The interaction of staff. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get some little snippets that Rich can get out to YouTube and maybe it goes viral. So, Dr. B will say one of his crazy things like every erection has a resurrection uh -huh. and it'll be to a patient or something and that's crazy. But it's hot and it's, it's the kind of thing that can go viral and all of a sudden Path Medical is all over the world, okay? So John is going to be capturing these moments and just so you guys know that he's around and you don't get... Did you mention the hot oil, oil wrestling? Uh, the hot what? The hot, hot oil, oil wrestling. wrestling. Yeah, we are going to be sure. Yeah, we need some volunteers well. for the hot oil wrestling <laughs> later on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he'll be shooting a little bit now, just catching some, some video and... Uh, Great. So, in the end, what, what's going to happen is every what's that? every month there will be a high level document oh, that certain team members in the room will be sitting in on to see. We, we everyone knows concussion protocol in this room where you get like a base test. Uh, not everybody in this room is medical. Everyone's everyone's medical, right? Yeah. Not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody. Okay. So base test. So I, my kids are, are, are football players. They take a base test. A base test says this is where you're 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 starting before you step onto the field mentally, physically. So and then if they get hurt, they get a concussion, they go back to the base test, and they run back on the field until your base test matches. In a sense, what we did here is a base test. And anybody who wants to go into the details of it, I'm happy to share it with you. It's a long presentation, but. It's one of those things where we had to, we said, okay, we're, we're starting at baseline zero right now. And over the first 15, 30 days, we're, we're taking the baseline and moving it up. Outside, with, you know, different from the concussion protocol where you bring it back, we're taking baseline and going here. So we're going to be monitoring every day, in a sense, what's going on, what are the sentiment around it. We're going to be what we call listening and lurking. Everybody knows that Edward Snowden? Who heard him, right? The guy was hiding out some beer or somewhere, right? I do the same thing he did. No, he's in Moscow. He's in Moscow, so yeah. <laughs> Except for the government's not looking for me. It's we are we have the ability to listen in on every conversation going on across the internet, and understand specifically what people are talking about about this particular brand, and then making the corrections. So a lot of things are happening already where we're able to correspond directly to patient inquiry on behalf of Dr. Braveman and Pat. We can respond back, have a conversation, and maybe turn the negative into a positive. So. That's kind of a baseline of what we're doing. The audience, this is what we're going after. Patient targeting, I ignore the misspelling on this, on this slide. Uh, I was look, wondering. Yeah, you know, we just see if everybody's awake. Uh, <laughs> 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 we'll be looking, we'll be, including myself. Uh, we're looking at the seven stresses, the physical, the chemical, the mental, the emotional, the nutritional, the traumatic, and the psycho-spiritual. And taking each one of those things and breaking it down to find an exact audience for that or somebody who would want to engage with us. Uh, we're going to look at competition uh, and who's out there. This isn't that important, so I'll fly through it. You know, Dr. Raj used to be one. I was with Hearst Media prior to working for Conde. He was one of our guys, so now I love going being able to go against him and putting Dr. Braveman up above Dr. Raj. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he won't like that. If you've ever seen him, he'll come. I'm involved with you guys. Uh, we, we work pretty well with him. Uh, our focus, executive health screens. This is the bread and butter of the organization. This is where the money is going to sit for us. We're going to be looking at brain health, brain and mind assessment, total body valves, integrated care, but really focusing on who that consumer is, driving them in here so we can get those 10, 1,500. What, what countries are you going to focus it on? Do you know what my countries of people well, come here right, for right, and crazy about us? Right, right now, we're going to be concentrating on with what we have to do first, we're concentrating right here. Okay, so I grow, need to let you know that our biggest success has been things Italy. like Dubai, Dubai yeah. Paris. Uh, but there's Belgium. 10,000 
We're 20,000 people right here within we're going, a mile we're going of this for the building fruit building first. That, that get to right. come in here. If and you want them in China, we'll put you on Ren Ren and Baidu, which is the Google and the, and the Facebook mm -hmm. out there. We can, I like Dubai. We, we can find the audience. So, okay. Does anyone want with fruit? You desperately hungry and we're ready to pass out? This is, this is what the office is tasked with. It's not particularly my no, arm. This is part of our goal, Diana, Diane, and ours together to work on doing this. Something? This is probably the most important Ooh. slide because this is what the opportunity in this office is, with the executive health screen. All right, everything else is charity care. I need, I've told that to stop, and I, I love right. doing charity care. Right. I got the energy for charity care as long as we set up properly. We do this, we can do all the charity. I'll, I'll, put it this way, we get here, I'll take them out of the office every day doing charity work across the country. That's my promise. Well, we, we do it here we, now we, we all the time. You see, pay, there are patients that have been SCCs on a regular yeah. basis that pay $90. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's a loss of $800 per visit. Right. Which is which is goodwill, and that's the message you want to get out. But this is what our goal is. And this is everybody in this room. This is what we're striving for. Okay. The price scale on one of the executive screens is fifteen to hundred thousand dollars. We're currently getting two to three of these a week right now. That would go by. We can handle right. ten a week. So that'll be With the existing staff in this office, we can actually do seven brainless. more of those screenings a week. So we looked at it from the perspective of how do we help you fill the bucket? What does this actually mean in revenue to the business? One hundred five thousand dollars additional revenue a week that we can drive at minimum, that we can drive in here without increasing any staff. So, I mean, the guys in the building might have a little harder job, but from, from a medical perspective, you know, based upon what I've talked with Bruce and Dr. B, this is what our opportunity is, and this is what we're going to be striving for. That's over five point five, close to five and a half million dollars worth of billing revenue. Think about the, the difference in the entire environment of this organization. And that's the current debt of the office, about five million. Right. So we can, we can wipe out in a year in a year, the deficits, uh, uh, and we can concentrate With solely. the existing staff, without adding to staff, right. we have the capacity, because yeah, we're only I, doing... I think that you'd have to add at least another PA, well, our doctor, for that. You and I, as we to grow, do this, I don't agree that we could make that. You're and telling me you can't do one more EHP a No, day? no, he's talking about seven more a week. Okay, so let's make it five. Okay, make it five. Go three so, point five. Yeah, and go four point two million right. instead of five point right. eight. So right. look, the, the reality is that we have a gap, and we have a way to fill it. We, there's a, there, and the great thing about it is, it's not like there's not there's not a, a missing audience. If you look at this, and this is one of the areas we're attacking, and this is just in the New York City marketplace. There's over three thousand people a month searching for executive health programs right here, and we're not getting. Them. We haven't been getting them. We haven't been entertaining. We haven't been going after them. Zero. That changes today. Well, January first. January first. Yeah, we're still doing the back end. January one, we're going to be appearing here and going directly after that. We're not going to let Scripps and Montefiore and the rest of these these hospitals that are now entertaining this. The more we research, the more we find out. New York Presbyterian is in the executive health business. They know people are coming from around the country. To your point, Doc, or around the world come to New York for care like this. So we're going directly at them. We're also going here. We're going to social. We're driving engagement with people who have been corresponding, talking about getting executive health screens, about wanting to get health care. But we're not just doing it to anybody. We're identifying the consumer we want to go after who has a net worth of over two, three million dollars that can afford to come in and do a $50,000 out-of-pocket screen. And when they look up Dr. B and Pat and his staff, all he's going to see is glowing reviews about what an amazing place it is and how we can how we can change their life. We're going to talk. We're going to do a little brand monitoring. We're going to be tracking the brand monitoring up against actionable social data. That's going to allow us. If this, I'll just point a couple things out real quick. You see the circle? That circle represents how many people understand and know that Path is in the business of executive health screenings versus the competitors. And I'll actually show you right now what your your percentage of the pie is, then we can see what the the data flow is. What are is in that pie in your piece? Is it is there a lot of good messaging? Is there a lot of bad messaging? And then here's where it gets better. You see this over here? We can actually identify people who have come in and made comment, and then they'll give us. I might and it might and not. It's not something about Dr. B. It could be a glowing review about anybody. It could be Susan. Someone did a screen. They say their business is amazing. I sat with Susan. She did my pre-screening. I felt wonderful. She made me feel really good about going into my. Now I'm going to have to say, Susan, here's this person. Here's Rich Campanaro. Reply to them right now and say, I'm so happy you love it here. Won't you refer us to a couple of friends? 
That's how deep we're going to be going with this thing, guys. And that's why it's important everything that is being said in the, by the individual, by doctor, could even it could be even about the guy who's walking around with a push cart, you know, and, and walking in with charts. You'll see the feedback coming in in real time. And it's going to help all of us. There might be things that we go, man, I should have done that a little different. I think that's the point Dr. D was trying to make before. We all have room for improvement. Everybody does every day. So we're just going to, we're going to help you guys, help yourselves, help the business, and help us all get better. To the point is that we have to also stress what makes this executive health program better than Columbia Presbyterian and Montefiore and the other, and Einstein. Why are we better? We might not have the name Einstein. We don't. Well, we he Einstein. really is, but we have an Einstein <laughs> right here. And maybe that's the saying we, we should use. Yeah, right. You know, that we, you know, we don't have to go to Einstein to find an Einstein right, well. here in Park Avenue yeah. South. So we have to really look to differentiate why come here versus a hospital that has a, a worldwide reputation. And that's the key to, to pushing us up. Why should they come here? Yeah. Do you think uh, that? I, you know, I met with Martha why, Stewart. What, what, She's got a program at Mount Sinai, and she was telling about it, and it's a joke. It is a joke. Right. Here's I why. did the research. No, no, nothing we got the stem cells at the right in one place. There. We got the growth hormone in the bridge. We have a, a osteoporosis program in one place. Right. We have the ability to stop height. Right. We have a bariatric how the, program. How about the brain, Doc? They don't no, even know the, the Right. They the don't even know what 3T MRI is, half these people. Right. Right? 3T MRI sees damage in 14 year old kids. I mean, Alice spent how many years have you been in pediatrics, Alice? How many brain 3T MRIs did you see with these kids that are on drugs having damage? Zero. Right. So how many have you seen that? Dozen. Right. So the kids are damaged. They're all damaged from the drugs on the 3T MRI or damaged prior to the drugs. Right. And on the beam. Right. So Visual. there's nobody doing beam and 3T MRI. They're doing it, but you have to go to seven places to get what I got here. We got to get this message. 18,000 square feet. Why seven here? places. Seven yeah. places to get here. In fact, it cannot be found. Plus, I was doing executive health ideas 20 years ago before all the hospitals realized that the system was broken. So on that note, what we're going to be looking at is how we take the base and, and, and all valid points. I mentioned the base test before. Here's, here's ours. So we just looked at overall who's dominating in the market right now. In scripts, it's Mount Sinai. It's in our little sliver of the pie is what we have to roll off of. So these are the things that we're going to be watching and reporting back to the office and certain individuals in this room, you know, sometimes weekly, more likely in a, in a, in a total summary report every 30 days, to show we want to get that sliver growing, but more importantly, we want the sliver and the sentiment to be positive. We want it, we want it to be positive 72% of the time and a little bit of negative. Right now, we have a reverse model, okay? So we're going to be working on correcting a lot of things. A lot of it is going into the past, getting rid of all the, all the negative data, filling it with positive data, leaning on everybody in this room to help and contribute and get content, get some information out there. It could just be you have a great story to tell for a day. You saw a patient that came in and they left exuberant, they felt better, they just had, they didn't want to put anything out. Put it out yourself. I can't believe we, we had another great patient come in today and they felt better than they ever did. It's such a great, great place to work. It's a simple thing like that. And think, think about how many people are in this room right now. We have about 20 people in here. If everybody just put two or three positive things out a month, hmm. that would take all five minutes, right? Before you know it, the negative's gone. Because there's not that much. I mean, look, Dr. B, I've spent a lot of time with him in the last month and a half, and the guy's brilliant. The problem is that brilliance isn't out there. We need to bring that brilliance to the street, and that's what it's all about, okay? And I'm gonna end on that. So it's, it's really about, it's a team effort here. You know, I'm I'm accessible to everybody. Me too. You know? Me and Diane, we're, we're, we work together three or four days a week. Probably spend two to three hours a day working on, on, on this account and getting make sure that we have the right message going out onto the street. So let it know us, guys. Give us the stories. Give us the information. If you're mad at Bruce or Dr. B or somebody else, call me. Vent. I don't care. I, I love the stories. It just it, it, it makes it fun. So just bring it to us. Don't bring it out there. Okay. And the other thing is, if you would email us or text us that a patient came in, is what Rich said, and they left, you know, a new competent uh, person and safe, feeling safe, and not to tell us their illness, but what made them feel safe. Those are just words, unless we can document. Then you want to tell them what email?
What emails do you want this sent to? And Carolyn, if you okay. take a copy, take down the email, and Carolyn will distribute it. What emails do you want? Okay. Where do you want to send? Do you okay. want to send to your assistant or you want it directly? No, to no, you? to me. So what email? Oh, to Carolyn, Derek. Derek, uh, is it, it should go to both of us, you and me. Carolyn's writing it all down. All right, so Derek, you want to give it to him, to them, and he'll write and it Rich, all down. And Rich, what email you want? Uh, use R Campanaro, and that's C-A-M-P-A-N-A-R-O, at NJ Advance Media. Dot com. Send them to me, and I'm going to distribute them out directly to everybody on the team uh, from from the uh, Conde side. And what we'll do is, I'll also give you my cell. Uh, it's 914-815-4845. Because if you want to send a text, or if you want to call me for anything, just, just sometimes it's hard to get somebody out of meetings. Shoot me a text and just tell me who you are, and I'll get back to you right away. The best I, I, thing is that we have a great foundation, and that's that we're not starting from scratch. We have a, a foundation here that has a history. We've got a doctor here that we know is brilliant that has a history. Now we just have to take all these ingredients like a cake and put it out there. And everybody's word is vital to this messaging that we want to get. And it's taken us a while to figure out the system and how it's going to happen, but we got it. So let's just make it sing. It's very exciting. Mm. I'm excited. And they have to have my eccentricities. How many doctors are eating green beans raw at the staff uh, meeting? A little weird, right? I think, I think it's, it's healthy. It's healthy. Yeah. Diane said the word foundation. Uh -huh. I have to say that you people here are part of that foundation. I've been honored to know you, you and work with you, you folks. You're some of the best in the in the medical field, and it's about time the world found out about it, in my opinion. Dr. Bajaj is miraculous in his healing. The national that handles every detail, any chart, anything medical, like a she can take a complete mess, I call her Rapunzel. And, and, and what I will say is that pretty Dr. Braveman has has lauded Pretty much every. Yeah, I wanted a lot of them right here. Well, wait a minute. I want to say that you've done it on radio, on live radio. Pretty yeah, much everybody. Yeah, I'm Sudan, you've done it. Doctor Bajaj, you've done it. Doctor yeah. Smitty, you've done it. Vanessa, you've done it. And you have too much going Susan, on for it. most people to keep up with because they don't hear the radio shows. We have well, two a week. I just like to make that point. All right. So, so, so you know, look, Susan, how many years have been taking care of the new patient? Seventeen years. Yeah. Doctor Bajaj, how many years? Fourteen. 14, Dr. Smith and I have been working how many years? 30? 30 years doing and better and better and better. Carolyn, six. Dennis, what, 15? By the way, those Tip, numbers. How many years have been here? 12. 12. How many years have been here, Glenn? 10. These guys are in the trenches battling insurance companies. Unbelievable. All right? It's like trench warfare, like World War I warfare. It's not the same as World War II. I think that that's. I think, the, thank you for doing that, because this is something we have to bring out My there. normal pattern of how I treat myself is, I give myself 10 kicks, and uh, maybe 50 kicks a day with no compliments for myself. Uh, you want to hear this, Diane? Yeah, I do. The bottom line is, I try to give this message before to everybody. This is the silver rule, giving everybody what they want. You know, like you want to help your baby, you give them a lollipop and they want it. And there's a golden rule. You treat people the way you treat yourself. That doesn't work because I don't give myself one compliment in a day. I don't need any compliments. I do. A, I knock myself a hundred times a day. I should have done that better. I could have done that better. I knock myself. Unfortunately, most of the people I work with don't want to be criticized a hundred times a day. The rule is. Uh, five, uh, one, you know, one criticism per five or ten positive right. interactions. Right. Because I don't function that way inside, it doesn't, I, I have to do the extra. So here's the plutonium rule so we don't blow the whole planet up. Love people the way they need to be loved. So I have to figure out each employee, something like Dr. Josh doesn't need as many compliments as other employees. He just doesn't. Some do. I don't want to say it pretty gets, pretty gets really down by my criticism. Other people don't. So I have to figure out how, how to get the ratio right for each individual for what they need for their own optimum function. Now, some of them need to be shoved. But anyway, I, you know, I'll tell you the good side. Alice, 
can take care of any, sit with any problem patient and comfort them. She's like, a, I don't know, your pacifier, living pacifier. So it's very nice. And Glennon and, and uh, Tip have been in the trenches a decade and pretty put, has put up with a lot of vitamin chaos once we lost John, right? And Diana has had more legal experience than she counted on, all right, and unfortunately. And Dennis has had more of a slop mess, right, Dennis? How bad? Dennis' opinion is I should have a $50 million lawsuit against the city for fraud, correct? Roughly. Right? That's your opinion. That, that, they, that we should be suing the government for all the nonsense that they put us through. A lot of luck with that. A lot of luck with that. Right? And Andrew's uh, done things like Battle Amex Black XL. Remember that one? Uh, Andrew's done some um, uh, What do you got? Your fourth year now, Andrew? Uh, going on six. What? Going on six. six. Oh, my God, you poor guy. Six years. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty how many years are you? Oh, my God. Vanessa, how many years? Oh, my God. Twelve years. Twelve years. And we're all growing to see that no bariatric... How many people have seen patients come in knowing about the Bariatric Society of Medicine and weight loss? <coughs> what percentage of patients do their doctors tell them? There's an approved board of how to lose weight and not one, almost never... Right, Vanessa? How many years? In 12 years, any doctor has told them how to lose weight with these techniques that we have here. How many people come in with 3T, a really quality MRI, Dr. Prashad? Yesterday's 3T MRI from NYU the was what? The came in, we couldn't use it. Well, useless. Why? It didn't meet our standards. It didn't, it, didn't, it missed five, other, five places in the brain. They didn't do it. We had our 3T. Uh, our 3T guy treated. is from Yale, and he, he doesn't. He said it was useless. He'd rather do it over for free. Dr. Spain, how many people come in with diabetic medicine properly placed or pulmonary medicine properly placed? Hold on. Dr. George, I need you to repeat that uh, while we have it on film about that. What was that about the test? We had a 3T MRI of the brain come in from NYU Langone, and we had our radiologist read it. He did it as a courtesy, and uh, he said he'd rather redo it as a courtesy for free than waste anyone's time trying to make some more value out of it. So he said, please send the patient over to me. I'll redo it for free so we can do the job the right way. What was wrong with it? The, the interpretation the or the way the, the test was administered? It didn't meet the standard for the analysis that we do, the neuroquant analysis that I can't explain. It's, yeah, it's the hippocampus, which is the memory center of the brain, wasn't properly analyzed. Amygdala, was thalamus, it, was, was these are sections. Was it properly or was it analyzed properly? Their equipment does not have the programs okay. that analyze properly. Okay. They probably have the ability to scan properly, but they are not connected to the quality of life issue. These are tumor centers. Hospitals are dealing with 3T MRI. They want to know, are you going to croak or not croak today? And so they're looking for big lumps and bumps in the brain. We're looking for the first beginning of calcification a blood flow change, the first beginning of memory death in a person's uh, brain chemistry, the first beginning of atrophy, which we see in 21-year-old kids that have used a lot of dope and have had all sorts of problems and uh, smoke, you know, basically cocaine addiction, and they've had concussions. And we see at 18 years old, brains that look like they're 70 years old, all right? Because we have alpha 3T, a to T, alpha to omega brain scanning. And that alpha to omega brain scanning is just that superior. And it's superior, and so is the beam superior right, than any EEG. I mean, I just heard that one of our patients went to the hospital and the first thing they did was routine EEG. I mean, it's like routine EEG would be if you saw me instead of with this iPhone, it would be uh, if I was like licking envelopes at the now staff what, what meeting. What should they have done, at, let's say, at NY? What, would, what should they have done? They have to improve. For the hospitals to improve their care, they, don't have the they, they do. They, they, they have the resources. They don't have the drive. They're, they're living off of guaranteed payments. They become socialists. And the problem is they have no drive. But to improve the care in the hospital would be very complicated. You'd have to start to retrain a whole new brand of primary care doctors that are like generals that are, can be in charge of the specialists. The problem is the specialists all want the big money for operating on your kidney, or operating on your heart, or operating on your knee and your hip. 
They are not under any authority or control. So the specialists are like, instead of goodwill hunting, they're doing, they're doing good gallbladder hunting. They want good hysterectomy hunting. The neurosurgeons that's doing those three TMRIs, he's interested in one thing out of that radiology center in the hospital. He wants tumors to come to him for surgery, meningiomas, growths, bumps. He doesn't care that that patient has a memory disorder and has MCI and has a, a, you know, the depression around menopause because she's not an estrogen. They don't care. It's not a quality of life center. It is a surgical end stage muffler and you know amco transmission place where people are looking for very specific income driven hospital procedures excuse me but even though the co-payments from oxford um medicare united they're all so low that there's nothing really so then you get even more panic here's what happens the, the medical system doctors are in panic they're not used to selling care so they get into more panic to the point where you know a woman could die in a hospital and they could continue and do the bypass and bill and say she died four hours later. They're desperate because they don't know how to shift the public back to personal health care responsibility. Right now we are still 90% a cash office and 90% means that people take responsibility. When people put their money where their mouth is, it turns out they listen to advice. Right. So, but what I was asking you is, I know that the doctors want to sell whatever surgery it is, right. but their reimbursements are so low, and also the hospital. So then they need to so sell more. So they the, so their answer is to sell more and more and more. We see thyroidectomies that they need to be done. The woman had a huge scar across her neck. All right, PET scan was negative. You know, she doesn't. She didn't have thyroid cancer, but they took the whole thyroid out. It's more and more. It's you go into hospital, you slip on a banana peel, and you, you're visiting someone. They say, let's take out your appendix, and they take out your uterus. Say, you, why do you need a uterus? You're 60 years old. We're there. Why not grab your ovaries? you got 40 feet of intestine. You only need 30, 20 feet. Why don't we take an extra 10 or 20 feet? Why don't you take out your gallbladder? It's got a little sludge. Let's take the spleen out. It's not that necessary. And then you wake up, you have a heart attack, you get, you know, basically stents and a bypass. That's how the system is operating. Uh, it's a scary system. Yes. Very scary for people. I mean, you got coverage for taking out half a woman's brain, but no coverage for memory testing. Right. <laughs> that, right? What else do you want to know, Diane? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your questions all day. Is that enough? Like taking a sip from a fire hose. Speaking of the questions, Dr. Pajaj, you know, are Dubai patients coming back today? Are they scheduled? Because I left a little mm -hmm. early last night. I didn't see them after the PET scans. I'm nervous about it. I thought they were coming back, and I didn't see them. No, we need your help there of tracking them down. Hmm? I just said you didn't see them after the PET Right, well, let's track them down. Okay, we done? Anything else? Everything else? Well, good. Well, oh, and you want to go around fast and see if anything on everyone's mind? Anything on your mind, Dr. Josh? Fast? I wrote a lot of notes. I'll share them with you afterwards. Okay. Anything that you want to share with the group? It's 1030. We're all in here. Anything? Yeah. I, you know, I appreciate that. Anything that anyone feels overwhelmingly desired to work on the share phone now, answering. it's a critical problem. No? You want personal yeah. stuff? Are you on? Um, Are you cool here? It's murder. Yeah. Last question of the day, yeah. Diane. No, no, no. That's what is a statement. Um, we said before that we don't think uh, we are going to need any additional staff. You I said that. I, I, I disagree with that. Well, you said a doctor and a PA, but what about a permanent um, front desk? Person, Melissa's think. interviewing. We, we have Dave coming for two weeks, three weeks on his vacation, which he helps out in Lorna. Good. But the bottom line is, I I liked the person the other day, and unfortunately, she was chased away by the interview process. Melissa says she thinks she's going to fix it. Um, I would love to see you involved in it. I would love you to see you bring someone from your church group. All right, all right. I would really love that you and Doreen found someone, one of your sisters, to come out because you have greeted my patients, Carolyn, better than anyone I've ever seen. I wish I could spare you and put you at the front, but I can't spare you. I mean, you greet everyone with such love. I mean, we sing, uh, she and I sing the seventh verse of Amazing Grace that I wrote, right? Now what's, the, what's the verse, right? Can you sing it for us, Carolyn? Amazing, come on, sing it for us. She sings in church. Amazing peace, how sweet the sound that brought two brothers love. They once were two, but now they're one. We're hawks, but now they're doves. Yeah, I wrote the, there's six verses just bug me that there's only six verses in Amazing Grace. So I had to come up with the seventh. Come on, sing it. Amazing peace.
Jeez, come on, you're amazing. was meant, that verse was written, Diane, by me, to, and everyone, to apply to Jews and Christians, alternative medicine and conventional medicine, communists, whatever enemy we have that we want to turn them uh, around. All right, in other words, it was meant to turn people, I got it. the whole world, it was meant to turn the whole world around towards more love. So... Yeah, but you didn't know that side of me and I try, that we sing yeah, songs really at the knew. end of the day. Oh, well, that, 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 you knew the chauffeur that. side, but, but you didn't know that I write songs. I, I knew that there was a hard But I write the songs. I have other songs. Like I you and Manilow could be a team. <laughs> I, I'll let everyone go, but I can have her sing the new version of The Rose, and I also rewrote Forever Young. We'll do that at another time. Day. I okay, at another time. Can I ask a question? The people who went to NYU. Yeah, what do you think of our boy? That would be this girl's voice. She probably is better about the situation. Please chase down the Andrew, I need your much tighter agenda. All right. Okay, can you go see him? Where is he? All right. Dr. Benny, you're on TV today, too. Excellent. They don't work. This is a separate company, which is an old friend. Do you think you're going to do anything? Has good feedback. Um, Who's this? I think they have a good point that everyone needs to increase. Oh, this is their, Kathy from yesterday. Everyone needs to increase and strive to the next level. Okay. I believe that, um, you know, we well, have to work But here's the thing. If Alice just walked by, mm -hmm. look at this. Ten people walk by your office, and what do you have on your uh, exam table? I just put those there. They weren't there. Okay, whatever. They should have walked by and seen them when they kind of put them back out at the front. Well, no, they put them in here thinking that... In um, health stations. All right, fine. You had said to leave them in Yeah, the you're right. Everywhere we got it. Okay. So we need... Um, so let's go call these... The we had directors. incredibly HP just so Let's go call them. Come with me. Can we go um, get the blood? I, right now, you're having... You're not sound focused. Your directives you? need to be um, laid out. Exactly. Yeah. Whether these go in the offices or not, but... Well... Even, no. It kills us. You, I agree with you. What you Sometimes said I change my. Forget about it. Just you, you know asked what? me. You got through it. Okay. <clears throat> I got right. one feedback. Okay. Listen, I'm concerned that you don't realize the international markets. My market. Dex made it stay with me. That is my market. Yeah. All right. The New Yorkers think because they're in New York that Cornell, Wild Cornell, is good. Right. I and they that. think Mount Sinai is good. Right. They are mistaken that yes. the current practice is built around cardiac medicine. We have rebuilt medicine around the brain. They are mistaken. Their whole thing is going to be CT angiograms, like I do, stress stallions, which we have those people, but they are not going to do brain checkups. They're not going to integrate. They don't have 40 years experience of doing nutrition, diet. They have no anti-aging hormone training. And so they're mistaken. I'm with you, doctor. All right, do you yeah. understand? I understand. Yeah. No, I understand completely. We're doing, remember, everything we're doing socially, and back end is seen worldwide. There's no restrictions on it. Once we get to the point of the marketing through the search engines, mm -hmm. then we'll sit down and talk about our geographical reach, where we want to put it, because we can put it across the world. We can, like I said, even in China, where Google's right. locked out, we can set your okay. You know, I don't like to listen to things, so what you need to do I now is now give me a short written agenda, yeah. and then you're leaving, right? Um, I'll be here for a little while. What, an hour? An hour, two hours. Yeah. Can, I'm you, come back. can you give me a fast back. impression of everything, staff, just boom, staff, PR, uh, LOI, yeah, the works. Sure. Right. Yeah. 
right. and, and, and go right down the whole list. ABC's got my book right now. Do you know the whole story? ABC's got a book, Christ and Medicine. Pediatric book is at Benny Hinn. No one tells you anything. I'm sure you don't even know these two books are on and publishers. Right. There is, what else? Um, supposedly, appearances on TBN coming up. TBN's Trinity Broadcasting. Yeah, right. And he's supposed to what buy time. Bruce is going to buy time on WY. What did you that. think of that? I saw that. I want to see the media schedule up. He has to meet his kids. You go we'll grab it. We'll look at the Too little stuff. communication. Yeah. I had to do the email for Bruce okay. to tell you about it. Okay. So can you just write those things down for me, and I'll see you on the next round. Moni, you're gonna wear my white jacket. You look beautiful, though. This is our stem cell room over here. So we got to get people into that stem cell room. Can you remind Henry Dexter to stay here? Stem cell. Yeah. Come on. Let's rock together. And a list of, pay, of employees who didn't come, all right? Also, when this comes in, I find when you say- I, Excuse me, I don't want to be filmed. Okay. Okay. We, we'll make, what we'll do is, you know, what's that? I'm afraid. Uh, uh, there's no, no need for me to get you filmed. I'm going to get you filmed. I'm get shot later. No problem. Why not? You died for a big cause yet. Yeah. I got a couple years left. <laughs> You made your permanent mark with Excel and your comment on faith. You got a wire hanging there. And they're, 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 it's not getting first. They want to stick it in your back pocket. Hmm? They do need to be aware of it. Yeah, he doesn't want to be in the, the yeah, video. Sure. Uh, Dennis, what did you think of that meeting? Meeting was good. Okay, this check, unsigned. She can take it there and then I'll come over and sign it if I have to. All right? So she can have it. Tell her to have it. Um, last time she forced me into doing something I didn't want to do. Um, Larry Frankel's concerned about Mr. Lumtavis. I have very good faith. This is my friend John. He's not going to let things go into. Uh, they want me to close the door for one second. Okay. Uh, anything you want me to talk about uh, with me right now? I don't want to send a check. Okay, let's go. Oh, that was good. Well, he wanted information. He came from the front. So oh, how you doing? I'm Dr. Braverman. Well, you've had a lot of sun damage, huh? I heard you. Yeah, over here. All over the place. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to save you from uh, nonstop cuts? I'll show you. If you use enough retin-A on this face, I can get you to the point where you won't be spending your whole life in front of Durham getting cancers taken off. you got to come see me. It's that simple. You're going to waste your time. Plus, you're going to get short on staff. You know, you, you know the white population at 90. Everyone's going to their wedding. Right? So you're going to slump into the. You're going to slump into a dump. Right? Because I've been using Retin A for 30 years. You need to follow. They sell it on the corner. No, it's not strong enough for you. If they sell one, it'll be okay. But it's much stronger by prescription. You have to see me to get a prescription. It's a minimal fee. You just do it now, and I'll whip through it, and I'll save your face from looking like, you're gonna look like Frankenstein. You wanna look like Frankenstein? That's all right. I don't really care what people look like. How do you know? Can I have a few minutes to mull it over? Yeah, talk with her. I do everything like a, you ever see the show The Rifleman? Yeah, years ago. Yeah, every time the guy, remember Chuck Connors, right? He would kill a bad guy, like boom. Yeah. Right, that's what I am. So the staff will prepare you. They were very nurturing, very loving. It's a small cost visit. I don't care what he pays. Susan, I just want to save his face. All right, your face is going to be ruined by that conventional approach. You're going to hate what happens to you. You noticed right away my skin. Yeah. I'll tell you how it's done. All right, come on, now. Yeah, let's go. Okay, what's going on here? You want to talk to me? Anything you got? Listen, I need the half paragraph after this to Goldman Sachs. All right, it's yeah. on your email, and Bruce needs to work on it right now. So I don't know what the story is, but I need that help. Not a Marissa, you have your your list for me of things you're going to get me? Yes, I have. All right, this, this is it. Holy mackerel. Dr. Schmader. Come here. Most of this is nonsense. This is the whole system slowing us down, Melissa. Call her now, get her in. 
What's colonial? This is the next phone call. But what I need you to do is separate the nonsense and go right to the phone calls that count. Let me do this too. This has to patients be called. Yeah. Right away. Okay. Dial them up. You got a pen? You got a phone? Sure. Did I already lose all my phones? Looks like I lost them. Hear this one too? Not covered. You tell her to come in, I'll give her an alternative. Only a visit though, okay? Elizabeth, why don't you just whip in here for an appointment and we'll fix this for you. So hold on one sec. Put on hold. Here's the story. Yesterday there's a woman named Kathy. This was in Dr. Smeda's office. That's going her chart. I don't know where her chart is. I don't hey, remember Richard, her last this name. This is Richard, Dr. Okay. Smeda. I'm with Dr. Braverman. How you doing? I saw the name Shane. She's coming up. I saw the name Shane, and uh, Shane was the guy who killed the bad guy. Yeah. How come you're not seeing me? Well, hold on one second. Oh, I can't today. Your sinuses are all puffy. They are? Yes. I can't see you today. I have to go downstairs. Your okay. health's more important whenever you're doing. I will um, meet with you some other time. Should we get a time? Let me get someone out to talk to you for 10 seconds. You want a book? I can't do it right now. Oh, let me grab, you don't want me to grab anybody? Dr. Spain, why don't you grab her name and number? How's that? All right? I know, but you're so swollen over here. Come on, and you're getting hunched. You're gonna. No, you're a blonde. You're gonna be. You're not gonna be straight. I'm not naturally a blonde, so right. I will be straight. Sorry, they're filming me, but they won't put you on. If they don't know you. Here, I'll give you my business card. Yeah, I, I just talked to Henry. He knows me very well. Yeah. All right, you Shane, don't... Dr. Braverman, how are you? It's actually me personally. We know what to do with every bipolar patient. Don't worry about it. They're bipolar patients all end up on one drug. What are they? Seizure medication. Seizure medication. So the whole story of bipolar is brain waves that are disturbed, like a seizure, that we fix. If you do not fix bipolar, just like heart attacks, the patients progress from heart attacks to heart failure, the patients go from bipolar to schizophrenia. Right? That's what happens all the time. Right? So that's, that's our problem. Simple as that. So I need. It. So I'm willing to treat you, but I got to get. Uh, you want to talk to Susan for a second? Hold on. You think it's Susan? Yes, or you talk to her? I will. Wait, where's my blood work from yesterday? Yeah. What? Do you want any? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want the people from the day before, the Dubai people. The Dubai guy. Yeah. Okay. Right, you print right now, right? Who are you waiting for? Hey, Dr. Braverman, how are you? Good to see you. What are you doing today? Good. Uh, I'm a QOL, a supplement from the healthcare professional. So I have some information, a couple of formulas, and I thought I'd just drop off from human research so you can see what's going on. The nutrition department pretty over there is the person who knows. Okay. Thanks. Good to see you. Henry, can you fix that TV? Yes, sir. How are you, ladies? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. All right. Well, welcome. Can you? You don't mind, your, uh, Carolyn, would you mind ha helping them get started and hanging their coats and everything for me? All right, in a couple minutes? Thanks. All right. I don't know why they were bare, but let's see. Alice, can you get some of the people on the phone here? Start with this. She has very low iron and dial that number. That's her blood work from today. You're eating pediatric endocrinology, very good. But you could just ask me. I know it all while, I'm, while I'm with the patient. <laughs> no, I, I, I uh, that guy's supposed to be. I don't uh, literally know it all, but I know a lot. No, I know it. you do, but I wanted something that had like a baseline. Who are you worrying about? I'm worrying about um, Jones. Jones kid. Yeah. Because, so where's the oh, why? Why? Because 
because his um, IGF-1 was uh, over the limit. Uh, uh, the limit. I doubt it. That's a problem. I know, but it, show but it, it to was me. way... I have to get Let me talk to her. Okay. You show it to me in a minute. All right. Why don't you bring yeah, it up on your It's just ringing. It's just ringing. Okay. I wonder if you should pull the blood up of Jones. And you should be speaking to me on that, you right? You have reached this the voicemail box. This is the issue I talked about in staff meeting. Nine, one, seven, you should have a list. Nine, four, Dr. Braverman issues. Zero, five, six. Hey, Amir Nalani, your iron is very, very low. You're in too anemic. So any program you're on, you're too anemic. It, it, it's not going to work. So you have to increase your iron. Call Ellie at 646-367-7327. You call me back when you have it, okay? I don't know where uh, the team is, but we'll deal with it. How are you doing? Okay. You look, and, and who's fun, Dr. Josh, who's getting everyone that's in the office, patient-wise, to sign those documents? I don't know. Melissa had me sign. I assume she's doing the same. Melissa, are you signing the patient sign? Patients? No. Employees first. Well, they're filming patients all over the place right now. Well, here. Okay. You want me to have them sign too? I would think so. You have to. Oh, oh my God, you're waiting for me. Okay, that's not good. Point this out that no lamictal, all right? It's amphetamine, but no lamictal. Esther said she doesn't mind being on TV. Good, Esther. All right, where is Esther? Esther's in the HP. Everyone, know Javier knows what happened to Javier. He disappeared, been shot. I don't know where he is. You only do one thing at a time. I don't know where he is. That's the problem. So is that my top priority to find him? No, it's our top priority to put Esther in a big room where I can actually work with her. Mm. Then that's what everyone knows. That, that's the kind of thing of, is that her chart? No. Yes. Uh, hold on a second, Esther. I'll be, uh, Dr. Uh, Bajaj, Dr. Bajaj here. Yeah, this is what I've told. Remember, the HPs, yes, if you can, that mm -hmm. big room. It's 150. Well, there's five EHPs here right now. So, so Wait, but no one's, one's in that room. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I don't know. That's why I'm walking around. I can't find any HPs. Where are the patients? I have Melissa right here. Is your phone or Dr. Smith? It's always my phone, dear. No, I have Melissa going out there to give them to the patients. Okay. How are you? How long are you waiting? If you want a miracle, you have to tell me what really changes your life. Right here. What makes a huge change? That's minimal. Go bigger. Think bigger. That's not enough. Arthritis and improve asthma? Come on. I can do much more than that. Thicken your hair. Be more energetic. Come on, okay. start dreaming. You're not. You're, you're. You're coming to a doctor for you know for two little things. It's ridiculous. This is an office that changes everything. Okay. Susan A. Bali, this is the patients who flew in from Dubai. This is their new blood work. Go get the two charts with Melissa Ace or whatever's over there. Ms. Yaka, are you going to start helping me? I, I just found out. All right, get the two charts into the executive health suite so I can work with the patients. She knows. Susan A. Bali knows. Dr. B? Yeah. I would like to repeat the sequence if we could with the lab coat. We got you we'll this way. We'll do that. If we'll do that. You want me to go do it? Go so get the lab coat. Hey, John, so just bring me the lab coat, coat and I'll get well, rocking. We'll get you to the end. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just grab. There's something really I, cool I'm gonna you. right now. I'm gonna do it all again. Just give me the lab yeah, coat. It's very cool. You sort of. You whatever you want me to wear, come bring it to me right now, and I'll change. I'm not slowing down for you, John. I'll change in any room. I don't want you to slow down. 
Okay. That was one that was a little less white, I guess. I'm not really sure. Come on, here. You promised me something. Yes. Wait. Sit okay. over here. This chair. Did you promise that you didn't yes, move this I, back like I told he, you? He, it's very, it's very heavy. What's wrong? It's very heavy. It's very heavy. Javi's going to do it. Javi, call 336. Where are these patients on the phone for me? I, I have to go get them. Javier, we need to move Alice's chair so we have more room to talk with patients in there. Alice's room. Look, this patient's got seizures, he's back in the hospital, and I still have no blood levels. These are being, I don't want to, I don't have any way to say it other than these are irresponsible parents who spend their entire life babysitting and not helping the child. You're a babysitter, not a helper. I think at this point I need to tell him that. I'm sorry. You're acting too much like a babysitter and not allowing me to help your kid. No, 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 Javi. How do I say it? Javier. Javier, come to 336. This is what we're doing. We're moving this back. Can we do it or not? You want to move the... the do what? What are you trying to accomplish? I want to put this all the way to here. Two more inches. Six more right there. I want to get this up and I want to get this where I can actually work. So that way I can get this chair in. You understand? I need to be here with not bumping into this every day. Let's take a breather. No, I'm trying to move the chair. Okay. Carolyn, can I steal you for a second? Yeah. Dr. Smith, what happened to those two that family oh, members? They ones that Alice is calling or yes. the two that are coming back today? Can we cinch your tie up a little bit? Sure, you can. Alice? Um, Alice. 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 Or you're going to have to, your brain, to do all the things you have to do for your health. Or you get a shot of stem cells from your own body. I call it the Johnny Appleseed cell. We pull it out of your your blood vessels. Your it's wrapped like that. said 80% better in one year. Well, I did a miracle. Uh, tell them about your daughter. You don't mind being shot? We say that, yeah? Just say about your daughter. Your yeah, daughter said to me, she wanted to be beautiful for the wedding. She wanted to lose weight and fast for the wedding. And what happened? Well, she looked beautiful and she did How much weight did I get off her in like four months? A lot. 40 pounds? I think so. Yeah, and how did she look in her white dress? Gorgeous. Right, so that was fun, right? Yes, yes. And that was miraculous. And she's back. She's happy. She, she wants to maintain Her it. whole health has uh, been yes. changed. Yes, her whole attitude has been okay. changed. And you want to know how it happened? She came in, Dr. Smeda. Mm -hmm. I twisted the daughter to be a patient. She didn't want to be. Like, you she didn't come brought in. me in. Right, the daughter brought her, her she, mother she, in. She brought me and in. And she's done much better than her mother. And she's done much better, mm -hmm. yes. And I'm doing very well. And I came back, and here I am. And okay. I'm continuing Good. to do the That's a great testimonial. Everything. I love that testimonial about your daughter. Yes. Okay. I need to steal here. <clears throat> this is going to be, you're going to laugh at me on this. I should get rid of this in a second. But this is a, pa a package. Say it's, it's, you want to know what this package is? Save your ass. We, sing, we literally save your ass. Because it wears out. All these people have hemorrhoids and they're all coming in with like burn, you know, yeah. with butts that have diaper. It's like treating diaper rash. She has, she has five kids. Having an old ass is like being having it's like a child. Remember your two year olds? Now you put the desitin on. You have this is this stuff really takes the pain away from the hemorrhoids. Calmoceptin. It's much it's it's basically desitin with menthol. And this straight shrivels it all up and then the preparation H everybody knows about. And these are, what are these? Uh, wipes. So we're going to go to Pretty and we're going to make the Save Your Ass program. Oh. Uh, pretty and go to Save Your, save your Ass program. Oh, I'm sorry, man, but that's the way I operate. Oh, that's the lady that I asked Pretty to see an hour ago. Come on, can you get to see her? Peekaboo, you ready for me yet? Or Dr. Smeda? Can I see how you look, handsome fella? Yeah, I gained a few pounds. No, just the, the medical so pretty to please stay on this side? You look gorgeous, you look handsome. Okay. But I gained some weight. Okay, what do you think? You look good. I gained four pounds over th Thanksgiving turkey. I was eating turkey on the beach. Smell the turkey. Float again at the beach. Turkey to go. One of the big ones. Come on over here. See that patient for me. Dr. B, I'm Tobias here. Carolyn was supposed to be following me. You go get them in my office then. My office is clear. Carolyn, please come, Dr. Braverman, to the nutrition side.
having fun. Well, I sure loved your singing. What did you think of her singing, John? You got patience? Hi there. We're, we're filming today. You gonna let let us film you? Yeah. Well, Who wants to be on TV? Well, uh, not today. Not in this. Not in this makeup. <laughs> in this You're so beautiful, though. Can we film you from the neck down? Because the <laughs> scarf is stunning. <laughs> Are you gonna do the stem cells? You're staying another week? Uh, we are staying another week. She's staying. Okay, if now we're talking. Okay, I want to ask you some questions. Okay. okay. All right. I'll throw in, I'll take, uh, I can take you and her son to dinner one night next week if she stays okay. with me. Okay, and then we really talk about, but remember, the enemy of death is every little detail. You know, I'm going to embarrass you for a second, but you know what this is? We created, we have so many patients with hemorrhoids, right? Yes. So I'm trying to figure out how to shrink them, stop them, get rid of them because they end up in surgery, they get irritations in the rectum. So this is a new cream that has menthol in it and it kills the discomfort. This is the witch hazel, this is the preparation age. And we put it all together for patients and we just say, leave seven of these and it's called the Save Your Ass Program. Leave, put one in every bathroom. Fantastic, that's a great thing. I know, it's funny, it's like same thing with the toothbrush. Look, there's not enough time in the day until we all have robots. We're gonna eventually have a health robot and a health home. Your home's gonna read your skin. You never should have gotten this sick. You never should have been allowed. Your urine should have been tested by the toilet. The toilet and it should have, and the thir 20 years ago, they should, should have prepared you for menopause. It's, it's my mistake. I have told you for 40 years. It's not. I've been stubborn. You were stubborn? No. I don't, it's not your mistake. I'm telling you it's aging. It's gravity. No, it's ignoring myself. To some degree, but you would have still gotten old. We're all fighting aging. The real enemy of mankind is not one another, it's death. Aging is just a sweet yeah. word for death, right? Yeah, aging is, you're I, I, croaking. I, I the word aging is croaking. I love talking to you, really. You are well, today I'm in a great inspiring. mood. We're going to have fun. Great. Okay. Thanks. Here, hey, Mito, will you sit there for me? You're an amazing guy. Richard Jr., you're here? I am. Oh my God, I didn't know you were here. Come on. This is your Save Your Ass program. You, you want to get a laugh? This is our Save Your Ass. And you have to figure out with Vicky what you want to sell it for, but this is how it should be done. Every bathroom for these, I guess they had terrible hemorrhoid patients. They just put these in four bathrooms in their house and pressed them. So you add it to this with Fran, we're done with this issue. Yes. All right, and you know how often it's happening? Once a day with patients that they're coming in. And so you help them out. This is my hunch, Richard, that this is something like that. Now, you have patients from Dubai and all over the world today. All right? Something like that. Here you go. Great. All right, you're going to be coming out. you got to call the Musclemans. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a new technique. You have to uh, get her stem cells injected right into the brain, the ventricles. And I have to find some, a neurosurgeon that will do it, which I will. All right, here we go. Go, go. One more round and we're rocking. Do I need to, does that man didn't want to do that? Uh, no, stage? but I have a good patient coming in, so. Okay, very good. This should be there at 11, it should be there by 1 p.m. Somebody just wrote me, I should be here. Sit on. You want to come out and do and help us? Oh, you already got a patient. All right. And it's Yako. You know Yako's here. So you know. And you've done your, your home alarm checks and everything? Okay. All right. Hello? Okay. Okay. I'm coming. Uh, I'm going to do two rounds with you. I'm going to check on two people. Hold on, John. Hey John, so we're gonna keep going over everything, right? You there? Okay, so the big findings on the blood right off the bat are homocysteine levels. Hold on one second. Richard Jr. or pretty, you need you to 336. Richard, if you're sharp, come to 336, if not pretty. I'm right here. All right, here's the situation. This is John and Kathy. They need your attention now that we have the blood. Homocysteine levels are very high, 12.9. Mm -hmm. CRP is 3.8. He has got, that puts him set up, sets him up for the heart attack, which I told him, that he, he reminded me too much of Gandalfini and Tim Russert. 
So by giving him 325 ecotrums and lots of fish oil, you save his life. That's my opinion of this blood work. And, he, and this has to change, obviously, when we repeat it. All right, what else do we got? His growth hormone level is 152. Love to see him get a level of 275. Did you see testosterone yet? No. By the way, they're filming me talking to you, but your name will not be used, John. Is that okay? Just, yeah, good. Thanks, man. All right, your wife's, but I don't see testosterone. Show me that. What do you have there, pretty? Only executive health patients? Oh, okay. You, no, that's not for you to do, dear. You have to stay here. Just put it on the floor. No, no, no. Just put it there. We'll get, I'll get it when I come out. His, the wife's blood work is terrible for also cardiac disease cholesterol over 300. How many times you see that? Cholesterol 300 in a woman? Not that often. Wow, very uncommon. She also growth hormone deficient. And your testosterone's a joke, right? If I cut my testicles off, I'd have a, lo a blood level of yours. Thank God, in fact, I did get two cut off today, but I have 12, so I'm okay. Okay, so here's the situation. You're a man, really tough guy. I have taken every, just imagine, take all the Nobel laureates I know, scientists, generals, knowledge, doctors, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, and put it all in one place to beat back becoming fat, sick, and dying, like you and your wife. You and your wife are such an incredible loving couple. Oh my God, though, your health? I mean, pretty, what do you think of their health? How do they look? Mm. Tragic. So I'm nervous about your motivation, and ha and you have to think like, haven't you put ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars into a bathroom to remodel it, or uh, into a kitchen? You ever, right? How much? Twenty thousand? Probably fifty thousand. And what did it cost? That's what I figured. Sometimes you know what? I really don't have a good money IQ. I just know that our value system is destroyed. One of our greatest admirals, Stravitas of NATO, said, said a country that loses its sense of value will lose the value of its currency. With the value, to put $100,000 in a snapshot into kitchens and, and repair of homes, but to think that uh, the U.S. government with its insurance policy is going to repair your bodies is a big mistake. All right? So you're going to, and Alice really knows what the journey. The journey can you fix that for her? Please. The journey includes the bariatric medicine of weight loss, which can be make people anxious typically, which always is solved with Xanax. The problems with taking the supplements to repair and, and get the nutrition better, which frequently is associated with like reflux or GERD or has minor side effects of stomach. Then there's the whole internal and cardiac medicine. Let's sit there now. All right, this should not be done by her. All right, all, you know, the whole medical, then there's the hormone medicine, hormone medicine. The hormone medicine is her, your testosterone, which I don't remember what dose I prescribed yesterday, but I knew it right away because you, from your gut, that's what kills these men, the low testosterone. Can you show me FSA jelly channel? All right. So $100,000, you know what? I had a, a patient come in the other day, you know what they said to me, John? They go, uh, I almost died, and they brought me to the mortician. And they said, well, what does it cost to do a good funeral for my family? $10,000. I said, this is ridiculous, so expensive, I'm not dying today. Yeah, yeah, why, what do you think? That's not, not, tip, that's, not tip, that's typical for funerals, 10 grand. That's information and a quick service. the whole How much is it, 25,000 to bury someone now? Forty grand for a good funeral? Yes, it's good. Oh my God! You see, I'm totally out of touch with present reality because this is my cocoon where I go to war for you. All right, your wife's in perimenopause. She's about to lose her ovaries, about to croak, but they're not dead yet. They're right on. They're, they're getting on the edge, yeah. But she's got a period, huh, apparently, still. Does she? All right. Is she around? He's in Atlanta. Okay. All right. Well, we'll call her separately. But here, you know what? I, I've really forgotten. Remember I told you you have my personality? I'm really going to get a lot of benefit. They, they call it a medical practice. You know why? 
because a guy like me gets to learn from you. I just learned that it's a $40,000 funeral to die, and it's really expensive. In fact, now I'm going to tell my joke again, you know, to a patient. And so a guy died, and they brought him over, and, they hear, and he heard his wife was going to have to pay 40000 So he said, forget that. I'm not dying today. I'm going to go to Dr. Braverman for an executive health checkup for 10000 yeah, <laughs> and that's my new commercial. We're gonna put it on TV. You know, the guy. We actually we have a, a mortician who wants to have a, like a little section in my waiting room. So we'll have him there. We'll have people crawl in and get used to it. All right. Uh, we're filming right now. We're filming like um, I don't know what we're filming. To be honest with you, I haven't paid attention to it. I gave it to Bruce Scully to figure it out, not me. All right. So I don't know what we're filming, but we're having fun. All right, so here's the story. Pretty and, and Alice are here to adjust your testosterone. That alone will change your life. But you can never forget when you fly aspirin. Remember, people, blood clotting occurs in airplanes more than any place. So Pretty's got a whole anti-clotting program. Ginger, onion, garlic, fish oil, aspirin, willow bark, all right? So she, you got two people who are going to take care of you. Thank you for your trust. Thanks for joining the executive health program. And remember my other prescription. You have to have sex three times a week. I thought it was every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. John, you're funny. All right, here you go. Hey, John, hold on a second. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he has my personality. He has no knowledge of health. Nothing. Like zip. Is he like 60 pounds overweight? Uh, 50. Yeah. Okay. 50. Carolyn, I need people to follow me, Javier, or anybody. No, I need you in the THN uh, too. Yeah. Not, no, no. We, we're taking care of patients as they come. We have the whole day. Okay? I'll get there. This is Diane. Now, Diane doesn't want to be filmed, does she? I don't know. I, I think that I'm too much of a public image. To, uh, you can use the back of my head. Yeah. And they can film me talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I, as long as you don't get my okay. face, because I'm too public and too private. So, hey, Ellie, can you pop in here too? Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Why don't you, do you mind I need one second. Way? I need one second to clear my glasses. I can't see. Or you're going to have to, your brain, to do all the things you have to do for your health. Or you get a shot of stem cells from your own body. I call it the Johnny Appleseed cell. We pull it out of your your blood vessels. Our it's wrapped like that. said 80% better in one year. Well, I did a miracle. Uh, tell them about your daughter. You don't mind being shy? Will you say that? Yeah? Just say about your daughter. Yeah, your daughter said to me, she wanted to be beautiful for the wedding. She wanted to lose weight in a fast for yes. the wedding. And what happened? Well, she looked beautiful. And she How much weight did I get off her in like four months? A lot. 40 pounds? I think so. Yeah, and how did she look in her white dress? Gorgeous. She right, was, so that was fun, right? Yes, yes. And that she, was miraculous. And she's back. She's happy. She, she wants to maintain. Her it. whole health has uh, been yes. changed. Yes, her whole attitude has been okay. changed. And you want to know how it happened? She came in, Dr. Smeda. Mm -hmm. I twisted the daughter to be a patient. She didn't want to be. Like, you she didn't come brought in. me in. Right, the daughter brought her mother she, in. She brought me and in. And she's done much better than her mother. And she's done much better, mm -hmm. yes. And I'm doing very well. And I came back, and here I am. And okay. I'm continuing Good. to do the That's a great testimonial. Everything. I love that testimonial about your daughter. Yes. Okay. I need to steal here. <clears throat> this is going to be, you're going to laugh at me on this. I should get rid of this in a second. But this is a, pa a package. Say, it's, it's, you want to know what this package is? Save your ass. We, sing, we literally save your ass because it wears out all these people have hemorrhoids and they're all coming in with like burn you know yeah. with butts that have diaper it's like treating diaper rash she has, she has five kids having an old ass is like being having it's like a child remember your two-year-olds and you put the desitin on you have this is this stuff really takes the pain away from the hemorrhoids calmoceptin it's much and it's it's basically desitin with menthol and this shrink shrivels it all up and then the preparation h everybody knows about and these are, what are these? Uh, wipes. So we're gonna go to Pretty and we're gonna make a Save Your Ass program. Oh. Okay, Pretty can go to see you. Save Your Ass program. I'm sorry, man, but that's the way I operate. Oh, that's the lady that I asked Pretty to see an hour ago. Come on, can you give me see her? Peekaboo, are you ready for me yet? Or Dr. Schmeda? Can I see how you look, handsome fella? Yeah, I gained a few pounds. No, just the, the medical clothes. Can you tell Pretty to please stay on this side? Stunning. You look gorgeous, you look handsome. Okay. But I gained some weight. Okay, what did you do? I gained four pounds over the Thanksgiving turkey. I was eating turkey on the beach. Smell the turkey.
boat again and beach. It's her to go. One of the big ones. Come on out of here. See that patient for me. Dr. B, I'm Tobias here. Carolyn was supposed to be following me. You go get them in my office then. My office is clear. Carolyn, please come, Dr. Braverman, to the nutrition side. Yeah, but boy, I sure loved your singing. What do you think of her singing, John? You got patience? Hi there. We're, we're filming today. You gonna let let us film you? Yeah. Well, Who wants to be on TV? Well, uh, not today. Not in this. Not in this makeup. <laughs> You're so beautiful, though. Can we film you from the neck down? Because the scarf is stunning. Are you gonna do the stem cells? You're staying another week? Uh, we are staying another week. She's okay. Now we're going. From now to next week. Okay, yeah. I wanna ask you some questions. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll throw in, I'll take, uh, I can take you and your son to dinner one night next week if she stays with you. Okay, and then we really talk about, but remember, the enemy of death is every little detail. You know, I'm going to embarrass you for a second, but you know what this is? We created, we have so many patients with hemorrhoids, right? Oh, yes. So, I'm trying to figure out how to shrink them, stop them, get rid of them, because they end up in surgery, they get irritations in the rectum. So this is a new cream that has menthol in it, and it kills the discomfort. This is the witch hazel. This is the preparation H, and we put it all together for patients. And we just say, leave seven of these, and it's called the Save Your Ass program. Leave, put one in every bathroom. Fantastic! That's a great thing. I know it's funny. It's like same thing with the toothbrush. Look, there's not enough time in the day until we all have robots, or we're going to eventually have a health robot and a health home. Your home's going to read your skin. You never should have gotten this sick. You never should have been allowed. Your urine should have been tested by the toilet. And it should have, and 30, 20 years ago, they should have, should have prepared you for menopause. It's my mistake. I have told you for 40 It's not. You were stubborn? Yeah. I don't, it's not your mistake. I'm telling you it's aging. It's gravity. No, it's ignoring myself. To some degree, but you would have still gotten old. We're all fighting aging. The real enemy of mankind is not one another, it's death. Aging is just a sweet word for death. Right? Yeah, aging is, I, you're I, croaking. I, I love, Where aging is croaking. I love talking to you, really. You are well, today I'm in a great funny. mood. We're going to have fun. Great. Okay. Thanks. Here. Hey, Mito, will you sit there for me? Okay. You're an amazing guy. Richard Jr., you're here? I am. Good morning. Oh, my God. I didn't know you were here. Come on. This is your Save Your Ass program. You, you want to get a laugh? This is our save your ass. And you have to figure out with Vicky what you want to sell it for, but this is how it should be done. Every bathroom for these, I guess they had terrible hemorrhoid patients. They just put these in four bathrooms in their house and pressed them. So you add it to this with Fran, we're done with this issue. Yes. All right, and you know how often it's happening? Once a day with patients that they're coming in. And so you help them out. This is my hunch, Richard, that this is, Something like that. Now you have patients from Dubai and all over the world today. All right. Something like that. Here you go. Great. All right. You're going to be coming out. You got to call the Musclemans. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a new technique. You have to uh, get her stem cells injected right into the brain, the ventricles. And I have to find some, a neurosurgeon that will do it, which I will. All right. Here we go. 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 One more round. We're rocking. I mean, that man didn't want to do that? Uh, and save his no, face? but I have a good patient coming in, so. Okay, very good. This should be there at 11, it should be there by 1 p.m. Somebody just wrote me, I should be here. Sit on. Yeah. You want to come out and do and help us? Oh, you already got a patient. All right. And it's Yako. You know Yako's here. So you know. And you've done your, your home alarm checks and everything? Okay. I took the last hour. Right. Hello? Okay. Okay, I'm coming uh, I'm gonna do two rounds with you. I'm going to check on two people. Who do you want? Hold on, John. Hey, John, so we're going to keep going over everything, right? You there? Okay, so the big findings on the blood right off the bat are homocysteine levels. Hold on one second.
Richard Jr. or Trudy, you need you to 336. Richard, if you're sharp, come to 336. If not, Trudy. I'm right here. All right, here's the situation. This is John and Kathy. They need your attention now that we have the blood. Homocysteine levels are very high, 12.9. CRP is 3.8. He has got that puts him set up, sets him up for the heart attack, which I told him that he, he reminded me too much of Dan Delafini and Tim Russer. So by giving him 325 Ecotrins and lots of fish oil, you save his life. That's my opinion of this blood work. And he and this has to change obviously when we repeat it. All right, what else do we got? His growth hormone level is 152. Love to see him get a level of 275. Did you see testosterone? Yes. No. By the way, they're filming me talking to you, but your name will not be used, John. Is that okay? Just, yeah, good. Thanks, man. All right, your wife's, but I don't see testosterone. Show me that. What do you have there, Pretty? Only executive health patients? Oh, okay. You, that's not for you to do, dear. You have to stay here. Just put it on the floor. No, no, no. Just put it there. We'll get, I'll get it when I come out. His, the wife's blood work is terrible for also cardiac disease, cholesterol over 300. How many times you see that? Cholesterol 300 in a woman? Not that often. Yeah, very uncommon. She also growth hormone deficient. And your testosterone's a joke, right? If I cut my testicles off, I'd have a, lo a blood level of yours. Thank God, in fact, I did get two cut off today, but I have 12, so it's okay. So here's the situation. You're a man, really tough guy. I have taken every, just imagine, take all the Nobel laureates I know, scientists, generals, knowledge, doctors, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, and put it all in one place to beat back becoming fat, sick, and dying, like you and your wife. You and your wife are such an incredible loving couple. Oh my God, though, your health? I mean, pretty, what do you think of their health, how they look? Tragic. So I'm nervous about your motivation, and how, and you have to think like, haven't you put ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars into a bathroom to remodel it, or uh, into a kitchen? You ever, right? How much? Twenty thousand? Probably fifty thousand. And what did it cost? That's what I figured. Sometimes you know what? I really don't have a good money IQ. I just know that our value system is destroyed. One of our greatest admirals, Stravitas of NATO, said, said, a country that loses its sense of value will lose the value of its currency. The value, to put $100,000 in a snapshot into kitchens and, and repair of homes, but to think that uh, the U.S. government with its insurance policy is going to repair your bodies is a big mistake, all right? So you're going to... And Alice really knows what the journey. The journey, can you fix that for her? Please? The journey includes the bariatric medicine of weight loss, which can make people anxious typically, which always is solved with Xanax. The problems with taking the supplements to repair and, and get the nutrition better, which frequently is associated with like reflux or GERD or has minor side effects of stomach. Then there's the whole internal and cardiac medicine. Let's sit there now. This should not be done by her. All right, a whole, you know, the whole medical, then there's the whole hormone medicine, hormone medicine. The hormone medicine is her, your testosterone, which I don't remember what dose I prescribed yesterday, but I knew it right away because you, from your gut, that's what kills these men, the low testosterone. Can you show me FSA jelly channel? All right. So $100,000, you know what, I had a, a patient come in the other day, you know what they said to me, John? They go, uh, I almost died, and they brought me to the mortician. And they said, what does it cost to do a good funeral for my family? $10,000. I said, this is ridiculous, so expensive, I'm not dying today. Yeah, yeah, why, what do you think? That's not, not, tip, that's not tip, that's typical for funerals, 10 grand. How much is it? Twenty-five thousand to bury someone now? Forty grand for a good funeral? Oh my God! You see, I'm totally out of touch with present reality because this is my cocoon where I go to war for you. 
All right, your wife's in perimenopause. She's about to lose her ovaries, about to croak, but they're not dead yet. They're right on, they're, they're getting on the edge, yeah. But she's got a period, huh, apparently, still. Does she? All right, is she around? No, I'm Okay. All right, well, we'll call her separately, but here, you know what? I, I've really forgotten. Remember I told you you have my personality? I'm really going to get a lot of benefit. They, they call it a medical practice. You know why? Because a guy like me gets to learn from you. I just learned that it's a $40,000 funeral to die, and it's really expensive. In fact, now I'm going to tell my joke again, you know, to a patient. And so a guy died, and they brought him over, and, they hear, and he heard his wife was going to have to pay 40000 So he said, forget that. I'm not dying today. I'm going to go to Dr. Braverman for an executive health checkup for 10000 yeah, <laughs> and that's my new commercial. We're gonna put it on TV. You know, the guy. We actually we have a, a mortician who wants to have a, like a little section in my waiting room. So we'll have him there. We'll have people crawl in and get used to it. All right. Uh, we're filming right now. We're filming like um, I don't know what we're filming. To be honest with you, I haven't paid attention to it. I gave it to Bruce Scally to figure it out, not me. All right. So I don't know what we're filming, but we're having fun. All right, so here's the story. Pretty and, and Alice are here to adjust your testosterone. That alone will change your life. But you can never forget when you fly aspirin. Remember, people, blood clotting occurs in airplanes more than any place. So Pretty's got a whole anti-clotting program. Ginger, onion, garlic, fish oil, aspirin, willow bark, all right? So you got two people who are going to take care of you. Thank you for your trust. Thanks for joining the executive health program. And remember my other prescription. You have to have sex three times a week. I thought it was every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. John, you're funny. All right, here you go. Hey, John, hold on a second. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he has my personality. He has no knowledge of health. Nothing. Like is, he, is he like 60 pounds overweight? Uh, 50. Yeah. Okay. 50. So, Carolyn, I need people to follow me, Javi, or anybody. anybody. No, I need you in the THM room, too. Yeah. Not, no, no. We, we're taking care of patients as they come. We have the whole day, okay? I'll get there. This is Diane. Now, Diane doesn't want to be filmed, does she? I mean, I don't know. I, I think that I'm too much of a public image. To, uh, you can use the back of my head. Yeah. And they can film me talking to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, as long as you don't get my okay. face, because I'm too public and too private. So. Hey, Ellie, can you pop in here too? Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Why don't you, do you want to sit I need one second. Way? I need one second to clear my glasses. I can't see. Mrs. Ellie, she's our menopausal uh, missionary. She's actually in the official position yeah, she I'm has. Is, no, no, you're not being filmed there. Menopausal, she's not being filmed either. Menopausal missionary position. No, don't worry. I'm not being filmed either. They can use the back of my head. Right. They're not getting you in. All right. They're only listening to me. I just wanted you to help her. She hasn't, her thyroid's bad. Where's her FSH and LH? It's on, I resist this yeah. Okay. Show me. Okay. 106. So I just wanted, because she's you know, trying to give me her heart, you've spent more time on just this area than Vanessa. Right? What do you think of an SH over 100? What's over 100? That's really into the menopause. Yeah, Ellie will tell you. It's, uh, it's, you're not being filmed there. Just it's tell fine, her. Fine. Tell her what a follicle stimulating hormone is and what the levels are. You can tell me anything living. and I'd say yes. It's your marker of menopause. Okay, so as we age and our estrogen drops, the number rises. And it has a lots of different effects on the brain and the body. Tell her what level it starts at. Usually two or three. And what's mine? 106. Six. In my opinion, you're 106 that. years old right now. Well. In some areas. In other areas, you're 20. So let me ask you a question. How come other doctors hadn't picked this up? Probably because uh, it's the thought of you're older now. So, but how that impacts quality of life is a whole other story. Okay. All right, I'm going to explain it to you. There was a seven billion dollar industry. Hold on. Can you say no paging? Just go say it over. Eric, fix it. Make it even. What do you want me to do? That's fine. That's good? Yeah. Get this off? No. Now put it on me. Okay. Hit the no paging. You have to hit all on the top right. Top right, man. No paging, please. Please hold all paging today. So that you just go through 381 so it doesn't come on the camera. Please. 381, Bruce and Melissa, please go around and hold all paging with 381. 
All right, so here's the story. And she'll understand the story, and I want them to practice it. There's a $7 billion industry called Premarin. was built around Feminine Forever, starting in the 60s. There was a way to get a drug rather than estrogen, which was horse urine or mare urine. That became a big business every year on top of medroxyprogesterone, an artificial progesterone on top of an artificial testosterone, methyl testosterone. So instead of giving bioidentical hormones, they gave animal hormones to women because they thought women are basically animals. And if you would have gotten animal skin transplants, you wouldn't have been happy with your plastic surgeon if he did, let's say, you know, he took like baboon skin, he put it on your face, or mare skin. But instead, because it was going, well, marriage skin might go with you nicely. But so the point being, it should be obvious that human bioidentical hormones, no one is the right way. No one goes around placing organs. We look for human livers for what? For human beings. We look for human kidneys for human beings. All of a sudden, they make this hormone business. That becomes the business for 30, 40 years. And then all of a sudden, of course, no one cared what the long-term effects were and what were the long-term effects. Blood clots, breast cancer, side effects galore. So then all hormone therapy got what? A bad name. It's like Judas with Jesus. All Jews got a bad name. Judas turned over Jesus. The Jews killed Jesus. That's it. Jews are bad people. Right? You got a bad, that's it. What's happened? All right. So hormones got a bad name. Then all of a sudden, out of that chaos became a what movement? bioidentical hormone movement. And patches came out, and natural testosterone was compounded. Women put it on the clitoris, they found that they could have sex at what age? They have orgasms with you. 80-year-old women have an orgasm a day to keep the doctor away, growing neurons with the orgasm. All right, progesterone, antidote the side effects of the estrogen so that women didn't get breast cancer with us, and, they, and we got natural, it came out with Prometrium. There's no money in it, though for the pharmaceuticals. So we bypassed the whole pharmaceutical industry with almost, I guess the patch and the estrogen cream is from the companies, but the Prometrium is like peanuts, costs nothing the progesterone, and the testosterone is compounded, and women don't take the methyl anymore because it effect caused liver cancer. So this fell into the category of seven non-bioidentical hormones that are in my book, Younger You, that kill people. They were Premarin, Hydroxyprogesterone, Cadaver Growth Hormone. Then when I was a kid, it was, di it was DES. All right, DES was the miracle fertility pill. And then women got, I never heard of vaginal cancer except until DES came out, diethylstilbestrol. So they came out with a lot of examples. They came out with uh, modified thyroids. And every time they modified a hormone in human beings, it didn't come out, it didn't go well. So then the doctors, the labs, don't want us to do a lot of lab work in New York because it brings the costs up. They uh, stopped doing FSH and LH. They used to do TSH. So everyone does a TSH now, right, for thyroid, but they didn't do any of the brain hormones for women. And so they don't test that hormone. Your gynecologist doesn't do it. No. He doesn't do it. She or she. And the reason why you is... Has anybody taken, you know, any issue with some of these, you know... Anyway, go ahead. No, I had an all-out war on this issue in 1996. I've had all-out wars with conventional medical doctors in the medical board. Then I finally published with the head of the medical board, the commissioner, of the current commissioner, two years ago, Governor Cuomo. But I've had all-out wars over this. I mean, she knows there's 10,000 doctors that practice it, and we hear horror stories all the time there. But most of them are getting them fine. Here's how it works, though. When you give thyroid, your TSH goes down. You're smart enough to know that, right? So then what happens to her FSH and LH when she gets treated? Right, so what's the, what's the point of doing the blood test? How low does it go sometimes with Kathy D and other people? 22 goes back down to a woman of 40. So mine should be... 22, 25, it depends on the person. 106. Right, my 106. Thyroid, is that right? No, FSH. All right. You're good. You met Ellie, I wanted you to meet Ellie. We'll, we'll talk later. No, you're not actually. Right. 22. Let Vanessa do it. Right. Let's keep going. Who's in here? Who's done? I asked Pretty to come here. I'll see her. Um, she has nothing written do down here. Can you put. Um, I'm helping her. Ms. Jaco, you do it. Do that form for her. All right? I mean, look. How's your dog doing? 
My good dog. doggy. My dog mm -hmm. is okay. better than me. I need to know what she thinks a miracle is, mm -hmm. and I need Miss Yako to write it, not you. Sure. I need okay. Carolyn well, doing other things. Okay. What's the blood pressure? Right. Follow me. 132, 63. Right. Miss Yako, you can do this for her. Yeah, sure. You doggy's a cute Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming to us for All so right. long. Come on. Yeah, Come on, Carol. How do we get her to really do what her uh, what her daughter did? Hey, Carolyn, can you get me the forms, like the, this kind of form that you have with all three? She just had to step back because she was traveling abroad and she was having a lot of okay. stress. She didn't use her Xanax. That's you are a woman about. of great empathy, but her setback is due to the fact that her brain has got severe cortical atrophy and she does not have the drive or brain fire to implement. She lost 52 pounds. Right, but she does, she has too much injury. I'm telling you that. Everybody loses weight in this society and they regain it because they don't understand her brain is injured. Your brain is too injured for you to succeed long term of weight loss. It will not succeed unless I'm able to do chelation, stem cells, growth hormone, repair. You have an injured chimney, injured engine, your brain engine does not have sufficient fire. That's why I grabbed your daughter and made her a patient. I grabbed your daughter and made her a patient because I knew I could change her life like boom. She was young. Her metabolism was fixable. She wasn't as damaged. Obesity recurs because the three T over and over again, everything. You don't want to be shot, Carol? Over and over again, the person is worn down. For you to exercise right now, your knees and hips and joints will be damaged. So we want to do as much as possible to show you, but if you do not, you got to pull out a cortical atrophy. It's terrible. Pull out the brain test and let her see it. And look at the P300 on her. It has no voltage, right? All right, you have no voltage. Your voltage is supposed to be 10. you like, got no fire. 1.3 is your voltage in your brain out of 10. All right, I'll take even out of 7. I'll, you never, no one ever has 10, so we'll pick 7. All right? No, you're fine. You turn it is it? No. No, it should be here. No, no, no. Anyway, we're going to do the. Um, Carolyn, come back to Alex. Yes, should go to the patient. Hold on, Carolyn. We need K 3 T M R I. I prefer you look through this. And if you don't find it, you I know what to do. I just need to schedule. I'm going to do it. No, no, she's done it. And she did it already. Of oh, the brain, she did. No, I didn't. You didn't do the three TMR on the brain. We're scheduling it. Is that right? Yes, I am scheduling. I did today. And what about the other parts? Yes. What? The brain you've, you've never done now. a three T? She's never been there. We're scheduling. Okay. It. Well, so it's going to show today. a lot of abnormalities. You'll see, and then you'll know. But I need you here every week for a while, and I'll train your whole life. Also, Ellie Gretna, please for her face. Uh oh, does this come across? Yeah, yeah. We got to fix your mic. That's all. All right. We're rolling. She wants it. Dr. Josh, who's someone's calling me? Was it you? You? No, you good? I do. Very good. I'm Dr. Braverman. We met on the phone. Yes, we did. No, he's going to go great methodically through everything, okay. and I'll see you. Were you paging me, Dr. Schmidt? Um, no. Okay. You having so, fun? The main thing is uh, I'm nervous about him getting his growth hormone so he can lose this and the testosterone. Well, she's going to be staying here right. for another him. week. Right. Him. Worry about it. Remember, ball, uh, are you okay with him filming? Yeah. All right. Balding men get prostate cancer. Right. Stomach men get heart attacks. Wait, and exercise. His shoes are not good enough for support and arches. Right. That's going to hurt his back. Right. So I need you, the main thing is we have to order all that before he goes. He's the main problem because he's going to go. Right? Yep. Well, Iman. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. You're so beautiful people. Thank you. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you. You're really good. I mean, we are. We're, so happy we're adopting you. Really, yeah. Really. I am. Now, but you so think we can really set up something like this in Dubai? I think this would make a killing in Dubai. But you understand all those machines should be in one place. Yeah. That's scanning them. Right, of course. Right. Oh, you, 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 need to have, you need to have yeah, a but I require, To do that properly, you have to have capital in the range of $20 million. Or at least. At least. Right, at least, if not $40 million. And then you build a center that only people do the executive health program. And then it'll be like Ronald Reagan. It'll trickle down eventually because everything gets more efficient. The stem cells 
cost ten, twenty thousand dollars. Eventually, it's going to be easy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Doctors are going to learn the techniques, and everything gets Absolutely. perfected. I think I right. Think everything gets. We'll get be, everything. Uh, pet scans will become cheaper. Be, uh, You'll uh, end up. Uh, someone's uh, going to make a pet MRI. Like you had to go to two places. It's going to go, foop, like a computer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big, it could be the biggest thing that ever happened in Dubai. Dubai well, yeah. it's going to be the biggest thing that happened to the world when we break yes. the aging barrier. Well, once again, you, you know, right now we're at, we're we're in, right Dubai. now the whole world is under tension in a world war with each other, spying Absolutely. on each other, looking at each other, weapons right. all over the place. Absolutely. So guess what? What's the answer? Break the aging barrier, live everyone longer, and change the way humanity is. Wow. So we do it. That is a fantastic uh, right. uh, you know, uh, Yeah, well, it's the thought uh, of the Mahdi. I, uh, so I you know what the Mahdi is? The Mahdi. The Mahdi. 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 Mahdi is, a, is it like a religious thing? Mahdi in Islamic culture Alice. was the belief that there would be uh, a transformative individual or what, groups what, 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 that would Mahdi. 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 I, I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. No, I don't know. I don't know. Mahdi, Mahdi is, is what? It's like, uh, like a scientist, isn't it? No. Is that, is that it may be in uh, more Sunni culture, the, uh, Shi Shiite culture. Shiite, Shiite, Shiite. Shi I'll, I'll look it up. Well, I mean, you are the expert. You, no, no, no. no. Yeah. But, uh, how'd you like my Islamic pastor? <laughs> Better than ours, I tell you. Did you well, how'd you think of that? Yeah, it's very. Wasn't good. that shocking? Did you get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Dr. Schmader is an amazing communicator. He's going to go through. Dr. Schmader, just focus on them. Go through everything here. I got to go through growth hormone dose, teach them everything on the wall about stem cells, Fantastic. get them a schedule, well, she right? She I need she a she practical do schedule. Do yeah, it. good. Do it. And then ways that we're going to keep up. You have my cell phone, mm -hmm. like you called me. Yes. But you also should text. Right. So of that course. anywhere. Well, she would, she would, or if you want to use WhatsApp, you. I have yeah. WhatsApp. Okay, good. Well, so well, I will use WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. WhatsApp is no charge and it goes around the world. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay. All right. Great idea. Yeah, so we'll do what's that. That's All right, good. Good. Thanks, All right, good. Thank you, Doctor. Right. More than happy to be on camera. He's an EHP guy. Okay. Looks good. Susan Scally or Susan Igbali? Susan Igbali. All right. I just I need a second in here with Esther. Okay. Hi, Esther. Esther's willing to be filmed. Oh. Stem cell looks good and improved. All right. So tell us about the stem cells. What do they do for your knees? You can film her right up front. Can I shut this off for you? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, well, I had no cartilage in my right knee, but then after stem cell, a lot of cartilage I can have in my knee without feeling bone against bone. It was great. So you're able to walk now with the stem oh, cells without pain? Yes, yes, without pain. Had, did you try any of the hyaluronic acid injections or any or orthovisc or any of that? No. Okay. I straight to stem cell. All right, and you, your stem cells did a miracle for oh, you? Oh, they did a miracle, yes. All right, and you understand that what happened to you is that you were osteoporotic probably as a child. You never absorbed the calcium and your bones and knees were all damaged, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll go again from my, from my left knee, which is not so bad, but it's getting weird. Alright. Let me see. You didn't put, did you put down a wish list here? What, you wanted to fix sinuses? Yeah. Let me see what's going on. Pretty Richard Jr., we really need you to the medical side. Let's see what I can do here. You, you got to come over here and meet the Dubai patients. They're going to do a center in Dubai. You like doing, doing that. You got to be hang out with your father for a second. All right, and where's Pretty? Is it Meredith here? All right. Pretty call 323. Three. Are you doing chelation today? I've been doing chelation. I did chelation. You did it already? Last time. Where? I have I'm going to get the results oh. before I go in. All right, you're going to get it all organized and I just yes. sign off. What's the TSH? Hi, my You can do two. Two grains. No big deal. Two grains is perfect. Very, very difficult name. I signed it All right. Oh, you did? Yes. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't that? aware of it. Maybe somebody had you sign it. Yeah, the uh, woman came in. Oh, oh, she did. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. 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 I like your hat. Yeah. Really? I don't. She wasn't supposed to take it. Just take it every day. Make it simple. She's not going to get sick from doing thyroid. I'll let her take it every day. All right, and move on. Take her to vitamins and have Richard or someone else. Meredith takes. Well, Meredith loves pets. She loves. Which of the things on this list have you done so far? Okay. And how do you feel in 
about the fact that the PET scan showed that the brain lost metabolism. Did that freak you out? No. But the stem cell fix that too. Stem cells will fix that. We don't know how far we can get yet with that. Remember, it's also your hormones. Are you on the whole hormone yes, program? I'm, I'm, yes, I am. And you feeling younger and better with that too? Yes, I am. You have a sex life yet? Yes, I do. And you're a retired English professor? Yes, I'm English professor. So what's your favorite book in English? Well, I'm writing books. Hmm? I'm writing books. Give me five books that you like. The Crown of Loss, hmm? of The Giver, Dr. Love and His Party Girl, which ones? The ones that I wrote. <laughs> what, no, I want the books that you haven't written. Um, I was I was in more of the basic level. You mean you like Separate Peace? Do you like uh, Kill a Mockingbird? Or yeah, Kill a Mockingbird is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So you were more basic English, like third grade or something? No, not college. Not. College. Yeah. Well, you taught books then. No, we taught textbooks. Textbooks on English. Twain, you like Mark Twain? Yeah. Sort of. All right. Bruce, you want me to do these phrases, huh? Find your oldest part before it finds no, you. Just, just as a reminder, you know, when they, when they situation. What do, you, what do you think your oldest part was? The bones. The bones, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, when I met you, you had 88 year old, you know, 75 to 80 year old bones, and you're 66. 67. Okay. The brain starts shriveling up at 40 to 50. Did Ellie give you testosterone for the clitoris? Yes. Okay. And it works? Yes. You don't think the dose needs to go up? No. I'm going to keep my hair, thank you. You like your hair? 66? Men lose their hair because they have testosterone. Too much? I don't have Okay. I like my hair, thank you. Why is your voice so hoarse today? I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you have reflux? No. Sinus problem right now? Yes. Do it, hold your nostril and breathe in and out on one side. This side's fine, this side's not fine. Javier, can you come in and help me with Esther? Where are you? With who? Why isn't the lab doing that for you? They will print. If you tell me, I'll get them to print everything for you. All right, early in the day. All right, you have a patient you want me to see? Right, Esther, here's my recommendations. That you go up on the testosterone just a tiny little bit, but that's up to you if you don't want to do it, okay? Your voice right now sounds like GERD to me, and your sinuses sound chronically infected. Yes. So you need a course of a Z-Pack. i got to go find someone to do all this for you, all right? All right, go do it. My pleasure. I, I like that testimonial. You want to say it one more time for him? Film that the stem cells uh, changed my whole life. Stem, Have you take your, could you mind taking your hat cells, off there? No. Sit up a little bit. Sit up a little bit. I can yeah. sit up. Want, the stem cells sit. changed my whole this life. Knees not grinding against bones, not grinding against bone. Sure and I feel like my head is better because I used to go, I used to get in the car. Now where am I going? But now I got in the car and I know where I'm going because the brain's fixed. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. Awesome, thank you, Esther. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. Yeah. Let's go. Yep. Okay, he's in the bathroom. When he's done, we're going to go to Susan's office. You board, so every time you're called, you're in charge of helping the staff out on this call line. Then you get away from this crowd. All right? In other words, they're going to call you and say, I need help in room blank, and you go there and help. All right? Especially if you. That way, it won't be torture. I am. I'm that version. Of water. Water. Mm -hmm. Well, the general. Yeah, water. Be right there, John. In the past two years, <coughs> I've, uh, I've noticed a big uh, yes. decay in my uh, yeah. outlook of life and uh, sexually and uh, interests and what have you. Uh, okay. Whereas I normally mm. see someone in the street that I know and I would go, hey, how mm. you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Now I well, sort of avoid them, you know? Uh, so I become a bit. Disinterested, this I don't know uh, why how to describe. Sit. I lost some zest. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't have do, to hear. Do you, are you married? Do you have a yes. relationship? Right. So well, both. Okay. <laughs> so it, it takes a lot of effort. You know? Okay. And that's uh, not that I want it for that, but I mean, I've read that the uh, hormonal replacement uh, addresses osteoporosis, heart issues, and 
So many yeah, others, so I should want to take one. Uh, yeah. Most directed kind of approach. And then based on the results of that, pet scans cost uh, whatever. Look at other things. I, I didn't pay for your pet scans. You open a big Pandora's box of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, issues of the osteoporosis and the uh, testosterone <coughs> issues were uh, primary. Primary, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm but focused on that. But if Dr. Braveman said uh, he, he noticed you have a major heart problem, you'd want to know about oh, that, of right? Of course, of course. Okay. Well, that's what Dr. Braveman does. Yes. Yeah. He looks at you, <coughs> and sometimes he can, just by okay. looking at you, detect some things that are going on that, well, you, that I, you need I, to know about. Now, I'm you look pretty healthy, though. I'm, yes, you, thank I'm, you. I'm not a doctor, but yeah. you do look healthy and whatever. Yeah, well, but everybody I ages. I did this for you. Know, different uh, 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 level and what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, I, I'm very this, fortunate. I mean, right. the, the genes nowhere. have been good. You got, you guys, you can uh, come in and catch this one line. Yeah, you know, I've gained some weight. Where's the I'm camera, saying, guys? I've changed my lifestyle hey, a little bit. I'm a little more sedentary than I, I was, you know. And because you don't want to be sedentary. Well, I want to know. Yeah, I sedentary, I, was I was right more focused in my business and my job, and that, that's a little physical, but yeah, as flat time went on, you know, Thank God someone had you pass a little of the air air pump this one and a little right to that one, and you're, you're not so physical got anymore. Me right back to life. Um, problem with and, you know, that's I walk a lot, I ride a bicycle, not tremendously, but I don't find tremendous amount, but I try to. So we got to make sure the right. bus doesn't hit you. It's coming you, in first. Yeah. What you said about your mood. Dr. B, you ready? Yes. Is it, is I need you actually here for one second. You feel uh, depressed? Or you're not uh, a little you're depressed, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have any right, let, me, let me come back to that. Why? Can I feel Vanessa for a well, second? I think that here. because we did uh, testosterone test because, because of my, my, because okay. of my uh, curiosity. Five minutes, whatever. And it was in the mid-200s. and. And well, the range is 200 to 1,000, so you want to go. if an 80-year-old has 200, a long time right <laughs> yeah. where am I? You stay so it was, uh, uh, help uh, too, all right? You know, shot in the dark that was right on, <clears throat> I think. Now, about 15 years ago, I had uh, uh, done a uh, testosterone team, uh, not Andrew Jellin, it was uh, also bioidentical. And in, and in weeks, I felt like a tiger, you know what I mean? I was doing push-ups, for instance, and every morning I would do 10. So all of a sudden, I'm doing 11, 12. You know, every day, virtually, I was doing one more. So I, I fell off the boat, off the wagon, with it, and I never went back. But I was happy enough for life. Okay. You know? I mean, at old? that time, I was about 50 plus or something and like that. how old was I? 15 years When you stopped? Years when you stopped? Oh. Yeah. In other words, I wasn't on it for years. I was on it for a couple of uh, months. Maybe, yeah. Excuse me. Yes, sir. That's my son. Yes, guys. I got it, son. Thank you. And if this is um, a Russian doctor, what was his name? Uh, he was on the radio, too, at that time. Uh, and he moved from... Oh, on 29th Street here, between Park and Lexington. Uh, the Kapiski. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that name? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he moved from here, they threw him out to make a candle over there, candle, and he wound up way down in Brooklyn, I mean, by, by Coney Island. Right. So that was like a trek. So over here, as a matter of fact, I have a client on 28th and uh, and Lexington. So, I mean, if I made him my last stop, I just walked in and I said, I got whatever I wanted. Got him? So, you see, life is like that. It's what she has in the Changes on the wood and the dime. So, let's put the one before they're a catastrophe. So, I want to look at the. Really, at one time or another. Just so we know, we're not going to do it today. All right? You will get me there. I started in alternative yeah, you interest in alternative medicine probably started in my mid forties. And the first doctor I saw well, was back from about six thousand dollars. You recognize that. 
<laughs> yes, yes. I mean, uh, um, and it worked for me. Yeah. You take you take supplements every day. Yeah, I had everything. Mm -hmm. But but it, but also, you know, I read a lot. Life Extension magazine. Who's participating in all of them? And you know, the, with the development, you, know, you pull out one thing and you can another. Can't, what I was taking uh, 20 years ago, I no longer take. Yeah, I thought that's an old one. That's an old one. Was it, it was there, how long ago was that? Ah, that's <laughs> what. And what do you? I did a lot of. I did a lot of. I don't want to use the word uh, pushing <laughs> or just promoting. Yeah. That's Should my name. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not only doing radio. Yes, 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 yes. I do some of his articles. I work on his books. Good. It's a terrific thing. It's a terrific thing. It is. Yeah. You know, I, um, I live right next to the place in Florida. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah the local one. Right? Not anymore. Ah. Uh, they moved to US one. They have a, a facility on Commercial Boulevard. Maybe a lab. Uh, perhaps. But the retail outfit is on US 1. So, uh, yeah, so uh, oh, I said, right here, so, uh, the old 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 man, man, yeah. 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 You see how old it is. But yeah, they're an uh, excellent outfit. But they have good products there. Is, is this one? Uh, yes, that's what I was going to say. Okay. What word was it? Do that. Okay. So concerned about my book. I do all this stuff, right? As a matter of fact, this is what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Today, you know, why is it so important to get the I told you that's what. Uh, <laughs> and that's not because of any medication. It's not. actually, if you were to give the credit to something, you would you would have to give it to. Uh, it's not a match. Blood, it's not a match. Uh, uh, what do you call pressure? You keep filming. This is Mr. Fullerton. That's what I Where is his radiology is report? Yeah, the life extension yeah. blood pressure. I'm going to put you on with Susan. Whatever. Go with Glenn okay. and go to Melissa um, and get his final report. Way. Here you go. Yeah. Okay, All right? so I do want you... Hey, listen, Mr. Well, let's wait. No doctor in the plan answers 10 messages for me, but I'm answering. I just want you to work on a couple things before Dr. Raymond comes in. And explain it to her and Glenn now, okay? Here last time, right? Well, I I okay. I sense, but I don't know if it's because uh, I sense it or otherwise. Uh, the the brain energy we call brain. Mm -hmm. I I kind of like that. I look forward to seeing that uh, rather mm -hmm. than uh, the other supplements that don't really uh, want to chair. No, no, I get it. I get you. One second. Pass that. Hold on. Also. Which one? Yeah. The the brain? brain energy? Yeah, sort of. You know, you can't be positive, but I look forward to taking it. So, does that mean? Improvement or not improvement? All right. All right. But your mood came out better or no? So, what's helped, what's gotten better so far? The only thing I, well, better uh, because of the supplements or because I don't know why. We don't need to know why, but we need first what's changed. I, I sense. The brain energy is it called that you offer me? Yep. What is it? Brain, the brain energy. energy. I sense that that has gotten uh, somewhat better, and I right. I look forward to taking it. Let's say I don't. And you took uh, okay, and you're taking the tenuate and aldactone. The tenuate is what the weight uh, loss pill. No, no. Okay, that's just going to correct this. You we know, have to get clarity on what you're actually doing. What, Here's the real story about medicine. Yeah. Almost no doctor really knows what his patients do. Yes. Okay. So he prescribes and the actual compliance is 19... 20 percent. Yeah. 20 percent. All right. So one in five, one in five things that the doctor prescribes, only one in five is done. So we have to constantly come up with simple systems and explanations and motivations. The whole name of the game is coaching. All right, teaching. We know how to fix everything. You know, except dead people, basically. If you're dead for three days, you still can come in, John. They'll bring me in. Yeah, yeah. If you put it in your will, 
that please bring me to Dr. Braverman for the first three, for three days. days. Yes. But if you're Jewish, you've got to go the next day. No, I'm a Christian. No, a, <laughs> I'm a Jewish Christian. All right? All right? So I believe in the resurrection in the kingdom of God and the stem cells as your, uh, as the Jesus cell. I right? just tell him. Dr. Braverman calls it the God cell. I call it the Jesus cell because it's the second Adam. Grows your whole part, parts of your body back. What were you telling Bruce? I was telling Bruce, uh, I, I ever heard a conversation about stem cells that my wife has done that elsewhere. So, uh, you haven't done your brain testing, but you did your bone density and you were a minus three. You had a horrible bone density. Your whole back's curving like a pretzel. You know what? Perhaps. I'm going to say it again. Your whole back is curving like a pretzel. I mean, I've been to these weddings and, you know, it's like white people are like this. Hello. Who are you going to be? Hello, my name is John. Perhaps. <laughs> You got a disaster here. You got a disaster. How much vitamin D did you do for him? All right. Now you're going to do the executive health program now today. I'm, you I'm got not to. Sure. You got to. Only if you, only if you break my arm. But I'm going to break your arm. I wasn't interested in that today. You I have to. I mean, can I explain need. why? Yeah. You're going to have tons of side effects and needs. I just gave my phone away because somebody has an important need. How many phones do I have? Three. I actually have four now. How many times do you think I get called in a day by patients? Guess. 35. Yeah. You can't. Look, I'm an ab. You know, ever see the Justice League guy named Flash? He, he, I'm a Flash. You're not going to handle this. As you get older, you have bones to fix, you have blood in your urine, you're slowing down no, still. No blood in the urine. No, whatever, but you're slowing no. down, you're not that sharp. Yes. Your, your eyes are saggy and yes. sleepy. Oh, you got strange. heartburn, you got, you know, you're not as. Uh, Difficult. You have trouble staying asleep at times. Come on, I gotta remake it. Testosterone? Was he taking it? Uh, two I forms of testosterone. It. I ordered it. Yeah, it's coming from California. Right. You understand? Yeah, but I also have a uh, Androgel tube, which you're right. You put it down only because you didn't have the. Uh, yeah, that's a backup. Right. Right. We I call it. You know, like Androgel in the compounding pharmacies are great. You know, what we call it balls on sale. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's I have good... twelve. I implanted twelve of them, <laughs> so that way when Vanessa cuts my testicles off, I have extra. All right. That was good. Yeah. Right. He, we're going to twist his arm. His A1C is 6.3. Did you know you were diabetic? Uh, you your sinuses? He's taking metformin too. Okay. Staff. Bruce, my problem is I still need more staff. Melissa, anybody, anybody, anybody. Anyway. All right, helping us out with the because uh, nutrition department should be over here helping him. I need to get you an injectable. I can save you a lot of money with an injectable. What's an injectable? There's an injection that can resurrect your pancreas. Your pancreas is dying. Your pancreas is dying. You can't manage sugar anymore. Officially, American medical system would say what about him? He's a diabetic. Six, they, they used to say that you had to be 6.5 on this test to be a diabetic. Then they lowered it to 6, and they call prediabetes 5.7 to 6, right? 6.2. Am, am I wrong? 6.5, diabetes, 5.7 yeah. to 6.5. Yeah, no one lowered it to 6 yet? No, you did. I lowered it to 6. It'll probably happen. It'll happen. She's been around me enough to know that when I say something should happen, it happens. But 6.3, so you're like, some doctors would say you're pre-diabetic, others would say you're diabetic. I say you're diabetic, essentially. What is this pre, I mean, uh, injectable? The, uh, here's the, the injection goes in here and resurrects your pancreas and gets rid of this. This is this one time, you mean? No. One time injection? I'd say that you need about eight. The shots are expensive and part of the executive health program. So we're, we're going to talk to you about that. All right? So once you actually, Vanessa right. will explain it. Okay? You explain it, Vanessa. I mean, you might get He has no coverage for it, does he? Medicare Part D doesn't cover it. Does I don't not think cover so. it. What? Does not cover it? I don't think so. She's going to write it as a prescription. Which one you want? Trulicity? Really He's got to get rid of the belly? He's, uh, he's die obesity. No, write the prescription and then we'll talk to him more. Pretty well. Okay, good. Follow me, pretty. Is Doreen here? That's my biggest problem. Okay, I saw one at 4 p.m. Do you know if Doreen's here? Do you know how to call Doreen? Do you know her number? Why is Richard not meeting the patients from Dubai? Richard went downstairs. Is he again just a zombie? Is he a zombie? I asked you a question. Did he do anything for you? 
He's been sitting at the desk. Doing anything? I don't think so. So put him at the front desk if that's where zombies go. Maybe he can be in the No. Oh. Uh, Maybe not. Front desk. When he comes back, I'll come no, we can put him in billing until. Come here, There's a reason you're here. Yes, I know. Okay, I need these people. This is just go to the manager office. They need to be called right now. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so you can call them and yeah. see what's going on with them. Susan, you have anyone you want me to meet? They want medical Who does? Yes, she was supposed to do it. So, um, this is what we're doing. Go bring it to Melissa at the front. Give me a pen, please. No, no way. Babysitting. Babysitting the kid and not treating him. They don't even give me drug levels. You know how many times I told them? 50 times request drug levels from the parents. 50 times I've asked for a drug level. Kid is permanently disabled and I can't get one little blood test. Listen, Dorian, we need to have you here. I miss you. All right, get this out quickly, though, Tim. Okay. Walk to the front desk and okay. get it out fast. Yes. And then you tell Alice that you took it when you see her. Yes. Because we can't. And look at this. She's got all this here. Leave it here for her. Just take care of that for her. Don't get lost now. Keep coming back to me. Uh, Richard Jr. is getting lost. That's when our you problem. Come back, I'll send him. No, no, you come back. You have to talk with him. Or you have to have Andrew have a talk with him. Okay? Let me see the waiting room. See what we got out here. No, I want to do the uh, THN with uh, Karina too. Well, I need to make oh, yeah, sure. Do the, yeah, right through the working. That's good. That's good to see. Are you impatient today, Jerry? Why not? Do you want to lose weight? I would love to. They know not to break them in. Really think, think this through. Okay. Right. Of what the miraculous is. You got any improvements yet? Yeah, it's starting to feel better. Yeah. Oh, a lot better, huh? 60% better, I like that. Um, Bruce Will has a release for you. So you so you'll be carrying a release that just allows you to be filmed as we go. 60% better and how long will it take? Uh, it's been almost a month now. That's a pretty fast change, right? Yep. Okay, I mean, you just talk to me for a second. How are you, sir? Hi, I'm from Ghana. You show me on Benny Hinn? 10,000 miles. You show me on Benny Hinn? What's it? Who is she on TV? No, no, I've been here. This is my third time of coming here. Oh, good. Yeah, I was here last year. All right, so you're going to come with me for a second. I should follow you. Oh, I'm sorry. I follow you. Thank you. My dear, cheers. I'm very happy with you. Thank you. Yes, and uh, I've, I've come to register with uh, the lady here. God bless her. Okay. So so leave me out. Uh, Susan, <laughs> she, uh, he's come here before. This is my test time. I met you first time one of the trips. Yes, are you, you giving me a book? But I want you to redo the executive health program. Oh, yes, executive health And I'm going to be doing more with Benny Hinn now. So you know, I have a new book. I told her what to say. She's getting it. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, you were supposed to come with your Yes, you Well, I, I want her to come out first, be the student to lead the You're going to be. <laughs> then you, you promised me that when I read her for the executive program, there was another young man who took me through what are, what are the benefits. And he did say that I will, after this, I'll be happy to do more think, visits. I apologize, but uh, I have I a sick person was, I'm texting uh, to. Maybe it was Andrew that spoke with you? Yes, Andrew. of course, I came to he you for the He went over your finance. package that you decided to do? Yes, okay. executive ed program. And he did register me, and we did agree on an amount. Okay. I was here last year, I think, or oh, this talk, year, you would, you did around it with July. Dorit. I came in black, black. But does yes, he have a chart or anything? Yes, he has a chart. You did so can you call the front Dorit. and get it? Yeah, I did make a deal with you. No, right. not me. It was Doreen. I, I prefer, Doreen is sick today, dear. So it has to be you. I, I don't yes. have to go to you can get Car No, no, please don't. Carolyn, Carolyn or you? All right, just talk with him a little bit. Okay. He's a good man. Find out how long he's going to yeah. be here. Okay. Get the chart out. He, he and I have worked yeah. together well, before. Let's, yeah. let's get his Two stomach times. in shape. And, uh, I, I want to lose a little bit of weight over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all the things ready and help out because Doreen is ill. Thank you. Doreen will come in shortly, though, hopefully. God bless you. So million did times. Did you okay. want to finish? And, oh, and we need him to sign the release, too. Yes, uh, and by the way, we're, we're doing a Pastor Benny show, so you're going to sign a release to be on. I can. Producer, his producer. Okay, good. Good TV. Good. And we would like you to be with him on your TV. That's fine. Good. I need you.
what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Today, you know, why is it so important to get the I told you that's what, uh, <laughs> and that's not because of any medication. It's not. Actually, if you were to give the credit to something, you would, you would have to give it to uh, the it's life not a extension map. blood. It's not a map. Uh, uh, what do you call pressure? You keep filming. This is just pressure. important. The li that's what I would Where take. is radiology is important? Yeah, the life extension, yeah. blood pressure. I'm going to put you on with Susan. Whatever. Go with Glenn okay. and go to Melissa um, and get his final that report. That Here you go. Yeah. Okay, All right. so I do want you... Hey, listen, just, I just want wait. no doctor in the plan answers mm -hmm. 10 messages for me, but I'm answering. I just want you to work on, the, on a couple things before Dr. Susan comes in. And explain it to so her and Glenn now, okay? Here last time, I sense, but I don't know if it's because... I sense in a right of life, uh, the, the brain energy we call brain, mm -hmm. I, I kind of like that. I look forward to seeing that uh, rather mm -hmm. than uh, the other supplements that don't really uh, want to the chair. Down. You just, no, no, I'll get it. I'll get it. Sure. One second. I'll pass you the think that supplement helps? I got to sell them Which one? Yeah. The, the brain? brain energy? Yeah, sort of. You know, you can't be positive, but. I look forward to taking it. So, does that improvement or not improvement? Wow. All right. All right. But your mood came out better or no? So what's helped? What's gotten better so far? The only thing I well, better uh, because of the supplements or because I don't know why. We don't need to know why, but we need first what's changed. I, I sense the brain energy. Is it called that you offer me? Yep. What is it? Brain, the brain energy. energy? I sense that that has gotten uh, somewhat better, and I, right. I look forward to taking it. Let's say I don't. And you took uh, okay, and you're taking the tenuate and the aldactone. The tenuate is what the weight uh, loss pill. No, no. Okay, that's just going to correct this. You we know, have to get clarity on what you're actually doing. What, Here's the real story about medicine. Yeah. Almost no doctor really knows what his patients do. Yes. Okay, so he prescribes. And the actual compliance is 19... 20%. Yeah, 20%. Yeah. All right, so one in five, one in five things that the doctor prescribes, only one in five is done. So we have to constantly come up with simple systems and explanations and motivations. The whole name of the game is coaching, all right, teaching. We know how to fix everything, you know, except dead people, basically. If you're dead for three days, you still can come in, John. They'll bring me in. Yeah, yeah. You put it in your will that please bring me to Dr. Bradbury for the first three, three days. three days. But yeah. if you're Jewish, you've got to go the next day. No, I'm a Christian. No, a, <laughs> I'm a Jewish Christian. All right? All right? So I believe in the resurrection and the kingdom of God and its stem cells as your uh, as the Jesus cell. All right? I just tell him. Dr. Bradbury calls it the God cell. I call it the Jesus cell because it's the second atom. It grows your whole part parts of your body back. What were you telling Bruce? I was telling Bruce, uh, I, I ever heard a conversation about stem cells that my wife has done that elsewhere. So, uh, You haven't done your brain testing, but you did your bone density and you were a minus three. You had a horrible bone density. Your whole back's curving like a pretzel. You know what? Perhaps. I'm going to say it again. Your whole back is curving like a pretzel. I mean, I've been to these weddings and, you know, it's like white people are like this. Hello. Who are you going to be? Hello, my name is John. Perhaps. <laughs> you got a disaster here. You got a disaster. How much vitamin D did you do for him? All right. Now, you're going to do the executive health program now? Today? I'm, you I'm got not to. Sure. You got to. Only if you, only if you break my arm. But I'm going to break your arm. I wasn't interested in that today. You I have to. I mean, can the, I explain why? Yeah. You're going to have tons of side effects and needs. I just gave my phone away because somebody has an important need. How many phones do I have? Three. I actually have four now. How many times do you think I get called in a day by patients? Guess. 35. Yeah. You can't. Look, I'm an ab. You know, ever see the Justice League guy named Flash? He, he, I'm a Flash. You're not going to handle this. As you get older, you have bones to fix, you have blood in your urine, 
you're slowing down no, still. Blood in the urine. No, whatever, but you're slowing yeah. down, you're not that sharp. Yes. You, your eyes are saggy and yes. sleepy. Oh, you got strange. heartburn, you got you know, you're not as uh difficult. You have trouble staying asleep at times. Come on, I gotta remake it. Testosterone, was you taking it? Uh, There's two I forms of testosterone. It. I ordered it. Yeah. It's coming from California. Right. You understand? Yeah, but I also have a uh, Androgel too, which you're right. You put it down only because you didn't have the. Uh, yeah, that's a backup. Right. Right. We I call it, you know, like Androgel, the compounding pharmacies are great. You know what we call it? Balls on sale. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's I have 12. I implanted 12 of them. <laughs> so that way when Vanessa cuts my testicles off, I have extras. All right. Sounds good. Uh, he, where did twist his arm? His A1C 6.3. Did you know you were diabetic? Uh, your sin sinuses, you see sinuses? He's taking metformin too. Okay. Staff. Bruce, my problem is I still need more staff. Melissa, anybody, anybody, anybody. All right, helping us out with the because uh, nutrition department should be over here helping him. Seven, eight, twenty-one. You can go down and see. I need to get you an injectable. I can save you a lot of money with an injectable. What's an injectable? There's an injection that can resurrect your pancreas. Your pancreas is dying. Your pancreas is dying. You can't manage sugar anymore. Officially, American medical system would say what about him? He's a diabetic. Six, they, they used to say that you had to be 6.5 on this test to be a diabetic. Then they lowered it to 6, and they call prediabetes 5.7 to 6, right? 6.2. Am, am I wrong? 6.5, diabetes 5.7 yeah. to 6. Yeah, no one lowered it to six yet? No, you do. I lowered it to six. It'll probably happen. It'll happen. She's been around me enough to know that when I say something should happen, it happens. But 6.3, so you're like, some doctors would say you're pre-diabetic, others would say you're diabetic. I say you're diabetic, essentially. What is this pre, I mean, uh, injectable? The, uh, here's the, the injection goes in here and resurrects your pancreas and gets rid of this. This is this one time, you mean? No. One time injection? I'd say that you need about eight. The shots are expensive and part of the executive health program. So we're, we're going to talk to you about that. All right? So why don't you actually, Vanessa right. will explain it. Okay? You explain it, Vanessa. I mean, you might get, he has no coverage for it, does he? Medicare Part D doesn't cover it. Does I don't not think cover so. it. What? Does not cover it? I don't think so. She's going to write it as a prescription. Which one you want? True listen, he's got to get rid of the belly. He's, um, he's di-obesity. No, write the prescription, and then we'll talk to him more. Okay, good. Follow me, please. Is Doreen here? That's my biggest problem. Okay, I saw one at 4 p.m. Do you know if Doreen's here? Do you know how to call Doreen? Do you know her number? Why is Richard not meeting the patients from Dubai? Richard one downstairs. Is he again just a zombie? Is he a zombie? I asked you a question. Did he do anything for you? He's been sitting at the desk. Doing anything? I don't think so. So put him at the front desk. If we, that's where zombies go. Maybe he can be in the middle. No. Okay. Oh. Uh, Maybe not. Front desk. When he comes back. I'll no, we can put him in billing until. Can, come here, pretty. There's a reason you're here. Yes, I Okay. I need these people. This is just go to the manager office. They need to be called right now. Okay. So you can call them and yeah. see what's going on with them. Susan, you have anyone you want me to meet? You want medical reports? Who does? Yeah. Yes, she was supposed to do it. So um, this is what we're doing. Go bring it to Melissa at the front. Give me a pen, yeah. please. No way. Maybe sitting. Babysitting the kid and not treating him. They don't even give me drug levels. You know how many times I told them? 50 times request drug levels from the parents. 50 times I've asked for a drug level. The kid is permanently disabled and I can't get one little blood test. Listen, Dorian, we need to have you here. I miss you. All right, get this out quickly, though, Tim. Okay. Walk to the front desk and get it out fast. Yeah. And then you tell Alice that you took it when you see her. Yes, Because we can't. And look at this. She's got all this here. Leave it here for her. Just take care of that for her. Don't get lost now. Keep coming back to me. Uh, Richard Jr. is getting lost. That's our problem. Back, I'll send no, no, you come back. You have to talk with him. Or you have to have Andrew have a talk with him. Okay? Let me see the waiting room. See what we got out here. No, I want to do the uh, THN with uh, Prudy, too. 
Well, I need to make oh, yeah, sure. The, yeah, run through the working. That's good. That's good to see. Are you impatient with it, Jerry? Why not? Do you want to lose weight? I would love to. They don't have to break them Really think think this through okay. right. of what the miraculous is. You got any improvements yet? Yeah, I'm starting to feel better. Yeah. Oh, a lot better, huh? Sixty percent better. I like that. Yeah. Um, Bruce Will has a release for you. See, so you'll be carrying a release that just allows you to be filmed as we go. Sixty percent better, and how long will it take? Uh, it's been almost a month now. That's a pretty fast change, right? Yeah. Okay. Then you just talk to me for a second. How are you, sir? Hi, from Ghana. You show me on Benny Hinn? 10,000 miles. You show me on Benny Hinn? What's it? Who are you see me on TV? No, no, I've been here. This is my third time of coming here. Oh, good. Yeah, I was here last year. All right, so you're going to come with me for a second. I should follow you. Oh, I'm sorry. I follow you. Thank you. My dear, cheers. I'm very happy with you. Thank you. Yes. And uh, I've, I've come to register with uh, the lady here. God bless her. Okay. She's so leaving me out. Uh, Susan, <laughs> she, uh, he's come here before. This is my test time. I met you first time one of the trips. Oh, yes, uh, are you, you giving me a book? But I want you to redo the executive health program. Oh, uh, yes, executive health And I'm going to be doing more with Benny Hinn now, so too. You know, I have a new book. I told her what to say. She's getting there. Oh, She's good. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. Yes, you were supposed to come with your Yes, you might say, yeah. Well, I, I want her to come out first, be the uh, student to the well, the guinea pig. <laughs> then you, you promised me that when I read her for the executive program, there was another young man who took me through what are, what are the benefits. And he did say that I will, after this, I'll be happy to do more think, visits. I apologize, but uh, I have I sick think person was, I'm texting uh, to. Maybe it was Andrew that spoke with you? Yes, Andrew. of course, I came to he you for the He went over your package that you decided to do? Yes, okay. executive ed program. And you did register me, and we did agree on an amount. Okay. I was here last year, I think, or oh, this talk year, with, you did around it with July. Doreen. I came in black, black. But does yes, he have a chart or anything? Yes, he has a chart. You so can you call the front and get it? Yeah, I get, make a deal with you. No, yeah. not me. It was Doreen. I, was I prefer, there. Doreen is sick today, dear. So it has to be you. I, I don't know. Yes. To you can get, no, 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 please don't. Yeah. Carolyn, yeah. Carolyn or you? All right, just talk with him a little bit. Okay. He's a good man. Find out how long he's going to yeah. be here. Okay. Get the chart out. He, he and I have worked yeah. together well, before. Let's, yeah. let's get his Two stomach times. in shape. And, uh, I, I want him to lose a little bit of weight over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all the things ready and help out because Doreen is ill. Thank you. Doreen will come in shortly, though, hopefully. God bless you. A million times. Did you okay. want to finish? And, oh, and we need him to sign the release, too. Yes. And by the way, we're, we're doing a Pastor Benny show, so you're going to sign a release to be on. I can't. Yeah. So she would never travel without Cipro. People are supposed okay. to travel. I have a travel guide. Uh -huh. Right now she has to go. So, so the travel right guide is okay. over on the nutrition side. So she has okay. to go to the nutrition side okay. now, and then you get someone to get her the travel guide and All take right. her over there. Okay. All right, where's your treatment sheet? Okay. So bring her over. We need this office, and she's right. been here for hours. All right, so we're treating her now with Cipro for Salmonella and the UTI? She doesn't have it now. She's well, she, what happened was... Before Thanksgiving, She's gotcha. giving her Cipro to hold. Okay. As a, a as so that she has it at all times. She, okay, she treated herself partially with the moxicillin incorrectly. One she, day. So you wait for her blood test. Have okay, her come back on good. Thursday. Okay. Next minute we'll see her. All right. She comes back Thursday. Right, Cipro okay. for seven okay. days, five hundred. Bring her over to nutrition okay. and get the travel guide. Right. Yes, that's what has to be done, dear. Okay. That's where I wanted to go. Oh. Man. Okay, you really gave her about two hours or an hour and a half? Unbelievable. About 45 minutes. Anyway. My, uh, I have no sense of time, I guess. You wanted the update? 
Um, sure, I can look at it too. That would help. So we uh, are you okay being filmed here? I do ray uh, yeah, TV. Fine. Good. He has a release for you to sign. <laughs> A little bit shy. Can, she says no problem. Block it out. <laughs> no, she says no problem. But her brain is very quick. Huh? You got a quick sharp brain and an old body. Oh. Well, not completely. <laughs> well, the brain part doesn't have it, it, part of your brain is quick. Yeah. Right. That's the deception of aging. A lot of people feel young, and they at moments, and they have like a split. They're like 20 years old in one part. You're only as young as your oldest part. Right. They're 20 years old in one part. They're 100 in another, and then they fall over dead. Right, that's the problem. One part breaks. Have we done any organizing yet? That's pretty good. I bet you enjoy Dr. Bajaj, right? He's a oh, master master teacher. Master, master, master teacher. Sure is. Thank you. Or loss of muscle, it's asthma, it's weight yeah. gain, no, hearing loss. Most people don't pronounce it. I know that. I know a little <laughs> bit about it. How did you say it first? That it's, it's, it's Norwegian? Yep. Uh, I, I speak German, Norwegian, which so. is close <laughs> enough, you know, it's like, you know. You speak German? Yeah. No ambition, then it will be no an So this is a new belt and chunk. Wolf and Jung. Belt and Yeah, the world view. So what do I do, Dr. Josh? You tell me, I don't want you to go yet. I want you to sit. No, I don't want to uh, sit. No? No, you got to do that. It gets me in different positions, that's all. Man is never so tall as when he kneels. We have three questions. Well said, please. Okay, go ahead. So uh, she was recommended to go back into the donut for the heart exam mm -hmm. because of a coronary aneurysm. That you was say identified. donut PET scan or? I don't Sounds know. like I don't CT. Remember. Yeah, CTA. Yeah. But with a low m metabolism score on the brain map, mm -hmm. my assumption would be you'd rather see new information through the 3TM. Or do it all. I mean, yeah. That's the whole thing. I mean, okay. Look, how old are you? 72? Mm -hmm. 72 is what in life? 72 is a march to 80. Eight seven six five four three two one, and you crawl back into this earth, not your mother's womb. Right? You know, that's the reality. Fifty percent of the people are dead or demented. Today, you know, the ones that are alive. I don't demented. want to get dementia. That's one thing I don't want. Hey guys, to quiet, quiet back I want to take care of myself until the end. I don't want. I understand. It. So that's your biggest risk here is the dementia. But I'll say it again to you. It's eight seven six five four three two one crawl back not into your mother's womb but the womb of this earth and the reality is that it's a terrible slide it's the equivalent of trying to talk to a one-year-old and say to the one-year-old I'm going to tell you about puberty all right it's a march towards death where everything just keeps breaking subtly in a lot of people I apologize but you got my phone number too right yes I do hello All right, right now what we need to do is locate Ms. Spence. That's my big problem. Oh, that's fantastic. I will do that shortly. If they want to go to lunch, that's fine. Cause, uh, or So then let them stay in my office and I have more videos for them. But then you can move that. No, no, but Melissa Dispenza is not as helpful. I mean, we could, we could get her out of that other office and put a video on in my office. Put her in my office watching a video unless she wants to stay for her husband. It's up to you. All right? Oof, too many people. Hearing loss. Do you understand what hearing loss is? Hearing loss is relates to osteoporosis. Really? Dr. Bajaj, tell you how your bones oh, actually the is? Because bones in the ear, yeah. you mean? Yeah. yeah. So the hearing loss progresses, generally but when speaking. They, when I went, he said it was just age-related. Right. Look, the whole medical structure is not at age. It's to fix and surgically or repair broken parts while the whole system is breaking. So it's like falling down a flight of stairs. Agent, falling down a flight of stairs where they collect a toll at each spot, but you still just keep falling. So we have a new strategy to go up the stairs. Otherwise, at 72 years old, you're a march downward. Now, you are a very practical, smart woman, and I need your whole medical history. Your spine is curving like a pretzel. It's a great deal of arthritis. Right, your breasts are dropping. It depends how much. You're actually a little bit of a man in a woman's body. Are you always that, you know, uh, logical and strong? Yeah. Hmm. Well, well so that's that, why I always like math. I taught math, so that's I logical. see it. Yeah. I was a math, I was a math merit scholar. Uh -huh. I did 19 numbers backwards, and I, you know, I won the national whatever merit scholar award in math. My brother's an actuary. We're all math wizards. Uh, actually, Norwegians are famous for the best science programs in the world for yeah, in the women. I'm not Norwegian, my husband was Norwegian. Okay. 
All right, you're not. What are no, you? I'm Ukrainian. Ukrainian. Okay. Well, whatever. Your <laughs> math is math. Well, I mean, how 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 young do you want to be? How motivated are you? Me, I, how young I want to be? I yeah. want to feel like I felt like I was at, at fifty. I've always okay. felt younger than right. I was. Most okay, so let's, I was. so let's talk about that reconstruction. I, I need to see the treatment sheet. To be that way, without doing the facelift, the retin-A, you see my skin? I have, to, I have a whole technique to make your skin younger. Then I have to get you on estrogen, and then your body fat is, I can figure this number out, is it 40%? 41. If that's that, we're gonna redo that because we're having a little <coughs> calibration thing, it could be 35, but whatever it is, it's way up. You're gonna have to, to do. That's related to your height, right? No, it's related to the rotting of your muscles with age. Aging is a scar in which the muscles rot into sarcoporosis and turn to fat. Well, and everybody loses muscle. See this that man's why. frame? Look at this frame of a young man. I don't know, 40? 41. 40, 40 year old frame. This is my 60 year old frame. We know how to build a frame. You have your frame and infrastructure uh, geometrically is a sh is like breaking Should rectangle. Yeah. Your geometric rectangle sagging into the ground. Since you're a math student, okay? <laughs> That's what you are. A rectangle going thump. And on top is a genius head, and uh, all of a sudden you're up against something you have no experience with. I have 40 years' experience. 40 years. It's actually 41 years. I worked for Carl Pfeiffer, German scientist who was in charge of torturing people in the, in the Nazis in World War II. And he was like a brain doctor, all right? And uh, 41 years ago, I didn't know he was a CIA doctor until years later it was published that he was in charge. But he was the director of the program that gave LSD to get people to talk and then he taught me about lithium and brain. He was the first guy to teach me that the brain was the most important organ of a woman, that it, not her breasts and not her vagina. Can you imagine? I, 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 and guess who worked with him? Leo Zillard and Abe Spinell, the ones who built the bomb yeah. in uh, Princeton. And then I had George Gallup. So I had an incredible, I landed in an incredible intellectual feast that altered the course of my life, which I decided to get the MD but not listen to these people, right? right? I, I thought their health was terrible, the doctors, they smoked, they drank, they were using ketamine, the anesthesiologists were stoned. I said, it's not for me, all right? And they, they were unprotected sex. My, one of my guys died of, one of my medical students died of AIDS, all right? I believe this. I've been so trying guys, to be the best okay. for years. You can't. Okay, so here's the reconstruction. On a total body MRI, all your joints are now rotting away a little bit. So your exercise, you'll have trouble doing exercise without Tylenol and Ecotrin. Exercise is critical. It's the West Point model, and I'll show you in the back my meetings with McChrystal, Petraeus, and the best generals of the United States. Without a seven hour a week exercise regimen, and you cannot do it with this body. All right, you're not going to get as far as you want. Changing, I can change your face. I mean, it's almost like a TV show. We'll change your whole face. Your hair is going to thicken enormously over time. The saggy eyes here, I have to figure a way to get water out of you. All right, you're not you're holding your water. Changing triceps. They change right now. Your joints are all starting to get osteoarthritic uh, deviations. You can yeah. see them. They're yeah, all I turning know. and they're turn right. Your hands are turning yeah. to claws. Okay, not, they're not human hands, they look like claws, right? Mm -hmm. So you look down, I, I have a reversal claw reversal program by building muscle back into those hands. What you have, see, see how the skin's like falling off? Mm -hmm. And then the deviations, and it's all osteoarthritis, muscle loss, collagen. People don't do facial surgery. They do, you know, plastic surgery on the hands, but the hands really basically become skeletons <laughs> because of the, such a terror, they, they show right away what others don't see. But the amazing thing is you have the spirit of such a young woman. I mean, is this really 297, Dr. Or 247? No, 297 and she went to, up right. to 330. Your brain is as quick as 20 year old kids at yeah. times. Well, that's something that one, you're one trapped, thing, right? <laughs> you're, you're trapped in an old, old machine. <laughs> You are really trapped. The, the promise of the Bible is this body will corruptible be raised well, incorruptible. That's one of the reasons I came here, I, I don't feel like I did years ago, and I want to feel young again. Well, you will. You will. Feel but, it, but, 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 feel it. Okay. It's a massive, uh, massive amount of work to help you. 
All right, so you're gonna get, I need someone like Vanessa to write all the MRIs, all the PET scans, I wanna see her see Sayer, so I can hear how exercise goes and I'll come back. He's actually, this is actually your kind can of you patient. Sign this? Yeah, I'll sign everything. And you can keep going. <clears throat> this is fantastic what you're doing for her because you'll soften the blow when I go through, which is basically that she's in a slide to help. Right? Let me see what they want. Hold on. And just so you know, even if I sometimes am gruff, this is what's behind everything I do. Patient, leave that for me. <laughs> Let me see what we got out there, Dr. Josh. Uh, blow out vein? Yeah, no. <laughs> Did we get a testimony from him? We didn't. Testimony? Did you? From her? Well, she's just starting out. Well, let's call Dr. Beverly, future two. Yeah, so 500 milligrams okay. so no, she, for three she days. May, she went back to she the should day. never travel without Cipro. People are supposed okay. to travel. I have a travel guide. Okay. Right now she has to go. So, the so travel have, guide is okay. over on the nutrition side. So she okay. has to go to the nutrition side okay. now, and then you get someone to get her to the travel guide and All take right. her over there. Okay. All right, where's your treatment sheet? Okay. So bring her over. We need right. this office, and All she's right. been here for hours. All right, so we're treating right. her now with Cipro for salmonella and the UTI? She doesn't have it now. She's well, giving she, what happened was before Thanksgiving. She's I've got giving you. her Cipro to hold okay. as a, a as so that she has it at all times. She, okay, she treated herself partially with the amoxicillin incorrectly one she, day. So you wait for her blood test. Have okay. her come back on Good. Thursday. Okay. Next minute we'll see her. All right. She comes back Thursday. Right, Cipro for seven okay. days, five hundred. Okay. Bring her over to nutrition okay. and get the travel guide. Okay. Yes, that's what has to be done there. Okay, okay. that's where I wanted to go. Oh, man. Okay. You really gave her about two hours or an hour and a half? Unbelievable. Yeah, about 45 minutes in. You My, want to uh, I have no sense of time, I guess. You wanted the update? Um, sure. I can look at it, too. That would help. So we... Uh, are you okay being filmed here? I do ray, uh, yeah, TV. Fine. Good. He has a release for you to sign. <laughs> A bit shy. You can, you can, she says no problem. Block it out. <laughs> no, she says no problem. So her brain is very quick. Huh? You got a quick sharp brain and an old body. Oh. Well, not completely. <laughs> well, the brain part doesn't have it, part of your brain is quick. Yeah. Right. That's the deception of aging. A lot of people feel young, and they uh, at moments. And they have like a split. They're like 20 years old in one part. You're only as young as your oldest part. Right. They're 20 years old in one part. They're 100 in another, and then they fall over dead. All right. That's the problem. One part breaks. Have we done any organizing yet? It's pretty. Right. I bet you enjoy Dr. Bajaj, right? He's a okay. master teacher. Master, master, master teacher. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Loss of muscle, Good asthma, it's weight yeah. gain, oh, hearing loss. Most people don't pronounce it. I know that. I know a little <laughs> bit about it. How did you say it first? Knutzen. It's, it's Norwegian? Yep. Uh, I, I speak German, Norwegian, which so. is close <laughs> enough. You, know, it's like, uh, you speak German? Yeah. No rendition. Then it will be no another one. This is the new Weltanschau. 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 Yeah, the world view. So what do I do, Dr. Josh? You tell me I don't want you to go yet. I want you to sit. No, I don't want to uh, sit. No? No, no you no, got to do that. It's, it gets me in different positions. That's all. And it's well, we have three, never so tall as when he kneels. We have three questions. Well said. Okay, go ahead. So uh, she was recommended to go back into the donut for the heart exam mm -hmm. because of a coronary aneurysm. That and say donut PET scan? Or? I don't Sounds know. Like I don't CT. remember. Yeah, CTA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But with a low m metabolism score on the brain map, Mm -hmm. My assumption would be you'd rather see new information through the 3TM. Or do it all. I mean, yeah. That's the whole thing. I mean, okay. Look, how old are you? 72? Mm -hmm. 72 is what in life? 72 is a march to 80. Right. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and you crawl back into this earth, not your mother's womb. Right? And, you know, that's the reality. 50% of the people are dead or demented. Right. You know? Yeah. The ones that are alive, 
Or I don't dementia. want to get dementia. That's one thing I don't want. Hey guys, quiet, quiet, back there. I don't want to take care of myself until the end. I don't want. I understand. So that's your biggest risk here is the dementia. But I'll say it again to you. It's eight seven six five four three two one. Crawl back not into your mother's womb, but the womb of this earth. And the reality is that it's a terrible slide. It's the equivalent of trying to talk to a one-year-old and say to the one-year-old, I'm going to tell you about puberty. All right? And it's a march towards death where everything just keeps breaking solidly in a lot of people. I apologize, but you got my phone number too, right? Yes, I do. Hello? All right. Right now what we need to do is locate Miss Spence. That's my big problem. Oh, that's fantastic. I will do that shortly. If they want to go to lunch, that's fine. Cause, uh, or So then let them stay in my office and I have more videos for them. Let the, you can move that. No, no, but Melissa Dispensa is not as helpful. I mean, we could, we could get her out of that other office and put a video on in my office. Put her in my office watching a video unless she wants to stay for her husband. It's up to you. All right? Oof, too many people. Hearing loss. Do you understand what hearing loss is? Hearing losses relates to osteoporosis. Really? Dr. Bichai, should I tell you how your bone no, density is? Because the bones in the ear, yeah. you mean? Yeah, no. so the hearing loss progresses, generally well, when speaking. They, when I went, he said it was just age-related. Right. Look, the whole medical structure is not at age. It's to fix and surgically or repair broken parts while the whole system is breaking. So it's like falling down a flight of stairs. Agent, like falling down a flight of stairs where they collect a toll at each spot, but you still just keep falling. So we have a new strategy to go up the stairs. Otherwise, at 72 years old, you're a march downward. Now, you are a very practical, smart woman, and I need your whole medical history. Your spine is curving like a pretzel. It's a great deal of arthritis. Right, your breasts yeah, are dropping. It depends how much. You're actually have a little bit of a man in a woman's body. Were you always that, you know, uh, logical and strong? Yeah. Well, well so that's that, why I always like math. I taught math, so that's I see it. Yeah. I was a math. I was a math merit scholar. Uh -huh. I did nineteen numbers backwards, and I, you know, I won the national whatever merit scholar award in math. My brother's an actuary. We're all math wizards. Uh, actually, Norwegians are famous for the best science programs in the world for yeah, but, in the I'm, I'm not Norwegian. My husband was Norwegian. Okay. All right. You're not. What are no, you? I'm Ukrainian. Ukrainian. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> math is math. Well, I mean, how, how, how young do you want to be? How motivated are you? Me? I, how young I want to be? I want yeah. to feel like I felt like I was at, at 50. I've always okay. felt younger than right. I was in most people okay, so when I was. Okay, so let's talk about that reconstruction. I, I need to see the treatment sheet. To be that way, without doing the facelift, the retin-A, you see my skin? Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have a whole technique to make your skin younger. Then I have to get you on estrogen, and then your body fat is, I can figure this number out, the way back, is it 40%? 41. If that's that, we're going to redo that because we're having a little <coughs> calibration thing. It could be 35, but whatever it is, it's way up. You're going to have to, to do... That's related to your height, right? No. It's related to the rotting of your muscles with age. Aging is a scar in which the muscles rot into sarcoporosis and turn to fat. Well, and everybody loses... Then I can understand See why this it's man's that frame? Why. Look at this frame of a young man. I don't know, 40? 40? 41. 40-year-old 40, uh, 40 frame. This is my 60-year-old frame. We know how to build a frame. You have your frame and infrastructure, uh, geometrically, is a sh is like breaking sure, rectangle. Yeah. You're a geometric rectangle sagging into the ground. Since oh, you're a math yeah. student, okay? <laughs> That's what you are. You a rectangle going thump, <laughs> and on top is a, a genius head, and uh, all of a sudden you're up against something you have no experience with. I, I have 40 years experience. 40 years. It's actually 41 years. I worked for Carl Pfeiffer, German scientist who was in charge of torturing people in the, in the Nazis in World War II. And he was like a brain doctor, all right? And uh, 41 years ago, I didn't know he was a CIA doctor until years later it was published that he was in charge. But he was the director of the program that gave LSD to get people to talk. And then he taught me about lithium and brain. He was the first guy to teach me that the brain was the most important organ of a woman, that not her breasts and not her vagina. Can you imagine? I, 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 and guess who worked with him? Leo Zillard and Abe Spinell, the ones who built the bomb yeah. in uh, Princeton. And then I had George Gallup. So I had an incredible, I landed in an incredible intellectual feast that altered the course of my life.
which I decided to get the MD but not listen to these people. Right? I, I thought their health was terrible, the doctors. They smoked, they drank, they were using ketamine. The anesthesiologists were stoned. I said, it's not for me, all right? And they, they were unprotected sex. My, one of my guys died of, one of my medical students died of AIDS, all right? I believe this. I've been so trying guys, to be the best okay. for years. You can't, okay, so here's the reconstruction. On a total body MRI, all your joints are now rotting away a little bit, so your exercise, you'll have trouble doing exercise with that Tylenol and Ecotrin. Exercise is critical. It's the West Point model, and I'll show you in the back my meetings with McChrystal, Petraeus, and the best generals in the United States. Without a seven hour a week exercise regimen, and you cannot do it with this body, all right? You're not going to get as far as you want. Changing, I can change your face. I mean, this is almost like a TV show. We'll change your whole face. Your hair is gonna thicken enormously over time. The saggy eyes here, I have to figure a way to get water out of you. Right? You're not you're holding your water. Changing triceps. They change right now your joints are all starting to get osteoarthritic uh, deviations. You can yeah. see them? They're yeah, all I turning know. and they're turning right your hands are turning yeah. to claws. Okay, not they're not human hands, they look like claws, right? Mm -hmm. So you look down, I I have a reversal claw reversal program by building muscle back into those hands. What you have, see, see how the skin's like falling off? Mm -hmm. And then the deviations, and it's all osteoarthritis, muscle loss, collagen. People don't do facial surgery. They do, you know, the plastic surgery on the hands, but the hands really basically become skeletons <laughs> because of the such a terror. They, they show right away what others don't see. But the amazing thing is you have the spirit of such a young woman. I mean, is this really 297, that percent? Or 247? No, 297 and she went to, up right. to 330. Your brain is as quick as 20 year old kids yeah. at times. Well, something that one, you're one, trapped, one thing, right? <laughs> you're, you're trapped in an old, old machine. <laughs> you are really trapped. The, the promise of the Bible is this body will corruptible be raised well, incorruptible. That's one of the reasons I came here, I, I don't feel like I did years ago and I want to feel young again. Well, you will, you will, feel but, it, but, okay. it's a massive, uh, massive amount of work to help you, all right? So you're going to get, I need someone like Vanessa to write all the MRIs, all the PET scans. I want to see her see Sayer so I can hear how exercise goes and I'll come back. He's actually, this is actually your kind can of you patient. Yeah, I'll sign everything. And you keep <clears> going. <throat> this is fantastic what you're doing for her because you'll soften the blow while I go which is basically that she's in a slide to help, right? Let me see what they want of this. Hold on. And just so you know, even if I sometimes am gruff, this is what's behind everything I do. Patient did that for me. Okay, so take a deep breath. Slow it down. Is that getting too loud? It's an airplane, I think. Why well, we have to say something? I said something. All right. All right. Um, you jinxed it. Yeah. So look at me. I'm going to talk to you. So, Ileana, tell me what, what was going on with you and why you came to PATH. Because. No. Uh, no Answer my question. That's right. That's Answer. right. I have to repeat, repeat the my question. question. No worries. <laughs> Start again. No worries. Ileana, tell me what was going on with you and why you decided to come to PATH. Well, I came to PATH because of hyperpigmentation. Um, I had gone to dermatologist prior with no results, and I even went to esthetician. And after several peels and laser treatments and everything else, she finally recommended that it might be hormonal. I was going to go to an endocrinologist. Um, 
when I made phone calls to make appointments, I wasn't all that thrilled on what they were really interested in. Um, so I just, I've heard about Braverman on the radio and I decided to give him a try. And when I came here, I've only been coming here since August of this year, which is about three months. And it's already cleared up about 90, 95%. And in addition to that, I mean, they examine everything. So he, he's even helped me out with like my hormones. I've lost a couple of pounds. Um, and what I really like about him is that he deals mostly with natural things, supplementation. It's not a whole lot of medication and chemicals or anything like that. So if you do have to take any kind of medication, it's like a very low, even like microscopic level of anything. Um, but mostly it's vitamins and minerals and lifestyle changes and stuff like that. Um, and this, this is only in three months and it's pretty much like 90, 95% clear. Right, it's a wonderful it's take. Just, it was good. It's just that, Check but, the level with that noise because that was well, wonderful. Well, we got a hiss in here. We got the noise. I'm mean, gonna have to put music or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Well, we can't put music, but it, I don't care if there's some noise in the background. Remember, this is yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Is she is she audible? Oh yeah. You want to do it one more time just for good measure? That's perfect. I could I couldn't have scripted it better. You'll say it differently. <laughs> You'll say it differently the second time. It's okay. We'll do one more and then you're done. I'll try not to sound nervous this time. You didn't sound nervous. Do you want to speak a little louder? Uh, yeah, I can speak up a if little. If you can speak up a little bit, it'd be good. Okay. Rolling? Yeah, roll. Another breath. It's always good. Blow down. Relax. Okay. Ileana, tell, tell us what was going on with you and why you came to PATH and what they did for you. Well, I came to PATH Medical basically mainly because of hyperpigmentation. I had spots on my forehead, my cheeks, everywhere. Um, really dark spots. Um, prior to that, I had tried dermatologists, they really couldn't do anything for me. Um, they recommended an esthetician. Um, I went to an esthetician, uh, they did peels, uh, chemical peels, um, laser treatments, nothing really worked and the lady finally mentioned that I should go check my hormones. Um, so I was going to go to an endocrinologist and I really, I really didn't like how they tried a couple of different places to make appointments and I really didn't like what they were interested in. It was more about insurance and bringing my blood work and I was trying to explain things to them. They weren't listening. Um, so then I remember about Braverman. I've heard his uh, show on the radio several times and I decided to give him a try and I'm so glad I came. I, uh, not only has he achieved results in, I would say, three months because I've been here since August, late August, and I'm about 90%, 90, 95% clear. He's also achieved results in other avenues. I've lost 10 pounds. Um, I feel a lot better. Um, I also like the fact that he doesn't deal with a lot of m chemicals and medicines. It's more natural things um, like uh, lifestyle changes and uh, supplementations, vitamins, minerals, and stuff like that. Um, if he does have to give you any kind of medication, he usually starts on a very, very minuscule, low level, so you don't get addicted to anything. And I'm very happy with the results. Okay. I mean, I like the second take. Yeah, it was good. Take two was great, because we can end it with where you ended. Um, that was great. Both takes were good. We can use them both. No, I'm serious. We can use them both. my mouth is cotton. <laughs> no, well, I get a drink of water. You're done. We can, we yeah, can right. unclip it. Uh, look, I'm running good on both of them, but maybe better in three months. I don't Please. like being on camera. That's all right. You I go can't just... be myself on camera. Oh, my God. Smoking. <laughs> what is that? Tommy. Uh, yeah. Tommy girl. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Look, right now, look at this girl. You have no idea what she looked like. Have you seen the picture of what she looked like before? Don't show them the picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll block out the eyes. How did you hear about Dr. Brady? On the radio. Oh, I did. I can't even see it anywhere right now. It's there. It's I know it's there, but it's tiny. Very little bit. Three months. The whole record. face was. I, I'll show you the picture. Yeah, yeah. I thought we did. We got to show it to everybody else. He called me a spotted owl, and I said no. Oh. I thought I was more of a giraffe. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, it was just really dark, but. Let's see who finds it faster. What's your number, your cell? Nine seven three nine. Nine seven three.
I can't find it. Can you find that picture? Can I find it? This is what I want you to say. Listen, Mona, again, someone has to take this Instagram and transport the medical pictures oh, of mine. This is the original one. Oh, uh, then, but you have to convince oh, her to thank come you back. For <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, she's got it. Yeah, but you have to have it on film. Oh, it's in there. You get it? You want me to move it back? I got it. Perfect. No, but you have to enlarge <laughs> it. You know what? You can't really even. You're going to help somebody else. Think of it. You're going to say. Okay. Yep. Okay. Doc, this is, this is what I want to say about it, this case. Oh, go back. Yeah. Uh, you gotta go back. This is where you use your doctor house routine. You know, only you're, only you're the yeah, doctor. I told her she was just spotted out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you figured it out, though. You're the medical detective. You're the doctor house. Oh, right? my God. The real life doctor house. Yeah, that's, that's good. I mean, not even makeup could cover it. I know. So, all right, so I came up to you and I said you were spotted out and you said you felt more like a giraffe. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I must have been crazy saying that to you, spotted out. I would have made other women cry. But you, oh, that's right, I went over that with you that your personality was very strong. Mm -hmm. So I had the personality test ahead of time so I knew you could take it. Yep. And that you would have to follow Ellie in my directions perfectly and that this would all fade. Yeah, so there were a lot of directions. There were a lot of stuff to things. It wasn't that easy to do, right? No. A lot of creams, a lot of pills, a lot of hormones. But it's changing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that incredible? So you're amazing for coming in today. I Thanks. Think really Thanks thankful. for all your help. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Great. All right. Excellent. All right, dear. You. I don't want to take room. The address okay. one. Okay. 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 Oh, I know. I was no. saying that. I just think that the fact that you addressed everything. You know, the hormones, the mind. Mood, I think and it just good. sped up. It just you know, was like a cascade. With, you exactly. could feel like you, you got what basically you, a um, cascade you addressed effect. Everything, everything got better, 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 better skin. You didn't just you give me a cream to put on. Right. You addressed everything. So when I was getting no results, because they were just giving me a cream, you, got you just sped it up in less than three months. One more thing. Yeah. We do internal plastic surgery. Okay. All right, hold this uh, one. We do internal plastic surgery here. That's right. And now you glow on the outside. Thank you. You can't, you know, look like you had a saran wrap facelift. All right? Good. Thanks. All right. All right, Dennis, what do you need me for? Hey, you film us going out. You got to go in here. Bless you, dear. Make All sure right. you have a good like two to four weeks. Yes, you can thank go. You. All right, thank you so much. Thank I'll you, guys. For this, thank thank you. For this. I'm trading. I'm terribly sorry we've given you a 19 inch. <laughs> we'll, work on it. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you Cialis to get more bang for your buck. And if it goes up to four, actually, you got to call him. If it goes three hours, four, 59 minutes. Call your doctor. Give him I'll a call. Him. Right. Call I got 30 seconds. Didn't hit the four on one yet. I ain't calling. Call 991. One of my clients said, for an erection, an erection lasts longer than the convention, right? Please contact In Vegas? I love to this guy. Right? Okay. What about you? All right. One of my clients well, would say that's that. the best disclaimer ever. If I, if I ever had one that would last four hours, I would call every girl on my phone. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Get my but, the, but the problem is that the one guy said he, his memory wasn't working. He couldn't so especially for you, we know that um, you came in and you're you're the top of the 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 heap as far as memory. You you got a great performance brain. That's the only reason you showed up because you knew that that you needed to do some tweaking and people that are aware and um, organized will they'll say you know I know I know I'm not at peak but when we do did some of your testing compared to the the average scores you were superior and so that can be missed by professionals because you look so good they say wow you're doing great for your age Right. Well, good. I don't want to be great for my age. I don't want to be great for 50. I want to be great for 30. Exactly. So, so we trusted you and we believed what you said. Then we did your memory testing and the one computerized test says, wow, you have all average scores and some above average. Only one score um, that, that we questioned. So then we did a more thorough test, a Wechsler test that you sat and we removed a computer testing um, possible errors that that can sometimes be lost when you do a computer test and we saw that 
your working memory was below average. Well, this is this is a high average superior guy. All of your other scores were um, superior, very superior. So comparing you to the rest of the population, you're fine. Well, I don't want to be fun. Okay, it was short term, and we want to know what it what it was over ten, and what it is now over ten. So what? improvement did you have from when the day you walked in the door till now? Well, Was it a two and now Dr. it's a Snyder, nine? Instead of just being subjective about it, mm -hmm. you have uh, mm -hmm. the proof. Well, that's the, the, the first the part test. of a medical consult is subjective and then we look at objective, the, the data, and then we t look to see if there's a correlation between what you think is happening, what you feel, okay. and what really is. And because sometimes there's a, a, a dysfunction and especially in people with cognitive problems, they have no insight in how much their I memory see. is improved. And they'll say, oh, it's 50% better. And then when you look at it, it's only 10 or 20%. And so then at that point, we'll increase their medicines and or nutrients and, you know, cognitive, um, you know, remediation. Okay. So just give us That's a subject a good idea. Uh, from, from, from wherever it was, and I didn't mm -hmm. think it was bad before, to now... I would say so far it's probably uh, 10 to 20 percent improvement. So if the it's 10, hard to figure that. If, I mean, if zero, you weren't a zero because we know that that couldn't be zero because we right. know you didn't. So you knew your name when you came. So in. if I said and six it couldn't out of be 10, 10, and, and then, I say eight out of 10 now. Okay. So would, we so we had a 20 percent improvement. Okay. I would say. And so, so then we want to know because. Cognitive, any we work with head injury, we work with cognitive dysfunction, we work with Asperger's, we work with um, Downs, polio, um, autoimmune Parkinson's, MS. We see people who um, will tell you that the cognitive function, memory, attention, concentration aren't as good, but because the sensors of the brain aren't working, they're, they can't objectively evaluate themselves because kind of like a computer that's supposed to reassess its problems. The computer's not working well because it's dysfunctioning. It can't really tell you what the sensors are saying. So um, most people have good insight into their memory and cognitive performance. But the people that have brain dysfunction are less likely to be able to tell you because of that um, tissue or parenchymal electrical changes in the brain. So if we look at originally, okay, um, we saw some some average scores on the CNSVS, okay. So now we have, we don't trust one test. What do, what do we want? We want what the person feels and believes because that's critical because they're living in that body. We have to trust that. And then we we want to correlate what they're experiencing as a deficit and then what the real numbers are. And then sometimes that insight about where they are um, on paper, the real numbers, um, the person will say, yeah, you know, I, I do notice that my auditory and my visual memory is not as good. I, you know, my one guy said, uh, my wife, I, I, she'll tell me things and I don't know what she said, but I'm a visual guy. It's the same thing at work. It's on paper. I never forget it. I write things down. Forget about telling me by ear. I don't know what you told me and and some of these people are like that their whole life but there are other people who acquire that problem and so part of this is getting the cognitive evaluation at a young enough age why like anything else checking a child for scoliosis well is the brain performance more important than scoliosis of course but developmentally we should have a baseline for everyone at a younger age so at some point in their 30s, 40s, 50s, they start saying, you know, I'm having problems me remembering things. We've seen people who we, we know that they had memory testing, they had, you know, some developmental problems when they were younger in learning and they got assessed and we saw their scores. They came in in their 30s and we assessed them again. We said, something's really weird here, okay? The one guy had Lyme disease. He had no fever, no chills, no joint pain, doesn't remember a tick bite. And what were we looking for? Infections, oh, yeah. inflammation, toxicity. We're looking at a full um, analysis of total body performance affecting cognitive performance. 
And so, and those are the things we see all the time. We see brain injuries. And so, especially for you, we know that um, you came in and you're, you're the top of the, the, the heap as far as memory. You're, you've got a great performance brain. That's the only reason you showed up because you knew that, that you needed to do some tweaking. And people that are aware and um, organized, will, they'll say, you know, I know, I know I'm not at peak. But when we do, did some of your testing, compared to the, the average scores, you were superior. And so that can be missed by professionals because you look so good. They say, wow, you're doing great for your age. Right. Well, good. I don't want to be great for my <laughs> age. I don't want to be great for 50. I want to be great for 30. Exactly. So, so we trusted you and we believed what you said. Then we did your memory testing and the one computerized test says, wow, you have all average scores and some above average. Only one score um, that that we questioned. So then we did a more thorough test, a Wechsler test that you sat and we removed a computer testing um, possible errors that, that can sometimes be lost when you do a computer test. And we saw that your working memory was below average. Well, this is, this is a high average superior guy. All of your other scores were um, superior, very superior. So comparing you to the rest of the population, you're fine. I don't want to be fine. So right. what's missing? And there it is. We saw some deficits in your hearing memory. So then, then we make sure you don't have any hearing problems. We make sure that um, this isn't some, some hearing issue. And there's no visual, eye visual problems. Some of the visual scores are a little lower than we want. And then if you look at the sum of all those scores, you'll see the working memory is l below average. The only thing that's below average is the working memory. So the good news is that these scores aren't in the toilet. This is remediable. This is, we can improve this. So what I would have been talking to you today about is um, what are we doing next? And so um, today I wanted to give you more information and show you that from June 2014, you repeat these memory tests and we have objective data that says, did I really improve or not? And if I improved, what improved me? And am, am I completely improved am I, at my benchmarks that I'm supposed to have? And then let's keep doing what we're doing. If not, then what is it that we need to enhance? What do we need to add? What do we need to um, get rid of and, and add a, a more um, beneficial substance or regimen? Even, you know, yeah. sometimes people will go on websites and do cognitive remediation, just like your, your weight training for your muscles, we're, we're cognitively training for our brain. And so they say if you don't use it, you lose it. So we want to keep the brain strong. We want to challenge the brain. And um, so, you know, there are some sites like Lumosity that, oh, absolutely. that we recommend. Positive science. Uh, so, uh, so we would, be, else, uh, we would be needing to repeat some of the memory tests because continuing to give you the same recommendations based upon old tests doesn't make sense. And so if you were a runner, we would keep checking how fast you ran a mile. And then we would tailor what you're doing to enhance your perform performance. So definitely um, superior intelligence, which would, the, the deficits would be missed because you, your, your scores are so high. But believing you and what you said and then seeing those incremental scores, we have, we have some um, follow-up testing to do for memory. Um, yeah, we did do a more, free, a more recent one uh, in, I think, in June of 15. Okay. So let's let's compare it now because um, the beauty is that we want to see improvement yeah. now. Now and this one's the only real lagger, but everything else is really well, like it's exploding. Well, this is this is beautiful because I here's my writing now. Yeah. The next test in in the 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 unveiling process is your next score of that particular test, in every parameter you're improved. Yeah. And the beauty is, my notes will tell us, working memory plus 11, uh, general memory plus 23, 
auditory recognition plus 15 plus 27 plus 12 plus 24 plus 12 plus 25 every index increased and so the what we did as of April 2016 was improved as you said the working memory is still laggy so from April 2016 we want to know what the next score is and just as we saw improvements we want to see continued improvements and so we know we know we've done very specific things for total body performance if you treat the whole body you treat the brain if you treat the brain you treat the whole body and then you have that that cascade of of health because as the brain is feeling better it's telling the body to do things more effectively if the body's healthier and doing things more effectively that cascade spirals back to take the duress off the brain the brain doesn't have to work as hard managing a healthier body so then you you don't in an, in physics we talk about entropy the things are wearing out so as we get better the body's healthier the brain's working better as the brain's working better it's telling the body more effectively what to do and so we have a a re-education of the cognitive uh, so, neuroelectric process so these were pretty dramatic increases yeah. uh, I'm happy to report but now the working memory even though it improved 11 percent it's still below where my other scores are well here's the thing. somewhat dramatically you're the it's predicting that you're your superior in many ways memory it's even picking up that your these memory scores right here are suboptimal for you yeah. so so we've seen a dramatic change which a, any any doctor may say wow that's great but we know that a bronze medal in the Olympics is not a gold medal right. and so you being the high performance on top of the the game guy your whole life you know that that's not where you want your brain and you know you you you're not at a 10 right now so we know we've increased 20 percent you're still 20 percent from being 100 percent of what you normally are so so we're not letting the norms fool us and so um your visual delay and general memory is great but auditory recognition immediate memory visual and auditory um, immediates are less than what we want so i think we're due and specifically when when we repeated this and we saw these levels okay um, it's it's a nice analysis here because it's actually showing you a baseline of where you said I'm not that good and then we saw an improvement with what we're doing now we made changes based upon the improvement but not as much as we wanted of an improvement so now we have to see um, since April have you reached that peak and today you'll you'll say I'm 20% improved I'm still at 80% I'm not 100% and so part of that will also be correlated with every body function that we measured from all of the the total body performance issues that you came with we have to see are all of those factors maximized because they will drag the brain from sleep and and these aren't specific to you but the things that drag us down most not sleeping well sleep apnea um, extra weight on our body that's dragging us down um, cholesterol can clog the arteries and cause inflammation in our body and our brain our brain 60 percent fat wouldn't fat affect our brain of course um, and um, pre-diabetes well sugar makes the toes numb what else does it make it numb well cardiac function it can numb the heart it can numb the brain sugar kills sugar is neurotoxic and so um, testosterone well t the best thing testosterone does is there are receptors in the brain for testosterone so testosterone is cognitively enhancing it it increases life drive it in maintains bone density it increases muscle mass and so you know testosterone levels um, blood flow to the brain testosterone increases blood flow um, making sure that the person's not anemic making sure that we we're getting all the nutrients that are needed for you know total um, 
performance. Now we also were measuring um, the body mass index, I think, mm -hmm. on here to get mm -hmm. my fat down at the, as a mm -hmm. percentage of my total body weight. I think we made some pretty good improvements on that as well. Well, you did. You originally went from normal male body fat is 8 to 18 percent. And well, normal. No, wait, yeah, normal. And you normal went male from body fat being for an athlete, 8 to 18 percent? Well, eight, um, all the men in the world should be somewhere between 8 to 18 percent. Should be? Yes. Okay. How so many are? We, we've had professional athletes come in 10 percent. Okay. okay. So You're talking about the, a guy who works out for a living. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what do we see in our, in our United States and the world? An epidemic of obesity. That body fat increases risk of prostate cancer and breast and uterine cancer. And so um, in 8 to 18 percent, when you came in, what were you? You were 20 percent, okay? So you were 2 percent off. But you'll tell me that um, it wasn't a weight issue. It wasn't like you needed to lose 20, 30 pounds. What happened is as we age, you were, you were you know, almost 60 when you came to us. Um, and you were even saying, I, I've lost some muscle mass. So what happens is the doctors say, oh, well, you're 19, 20%. You only have 10%, 20%, or, or you know, 2% body fat to lose. Oh, 2% of 200 is four pounds. You only have four pounds to lose at 200 pounds. That's silly because we know that there's muscle atrophy as we age. As men lose testosterone and hit male menopause, we gain body fat. And the body makes it compensatorily. We make body fat, we can make dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is, is significantly more potent than regular testosterone. The body says, okay, testes, you're not making what you need to make. The body fat makes something. The adrenals make sex hormones. So we end up running on dihydrotestosterone and adrenaline. Okay, They're not good chemicals. We, they burn us out. So what happens is we burn the body fat and get rid of that body fat estrogen which converts to dihydrotestosterone and we replace the testosterone and it's funny because you can get there from here when when we use testosterone we burn the body fat and so maybe you did lose that four percent body fat two percent but we increased muscle mass so we will see all the time that people come in and say doc I gotta lose weight but then they'll come back months later and they'll say I didn't lose that much weight and they're really upset and then we'll show them that their muscle mass is improved and they gained muscle so really they didn't lose all of that weight they converted it to muscle so muscle is is a watershed it hold, yeah. holds us up yeah. it keeps us strong yeah. it keeps us from falling down the escalator and breaking our head it um, and it holds nutrients um, people who have high muscle, when you do an electrical test for body fat, I mean, we don't do that one here, but it's an impedance test. The impulse travels faster through, through muscle. Fat's an insulator. So the, the fatter um, percentage people, electricity doesn't travel as easy through their body. So we're, it's a watershed. It's full of nutrients and keeps us juicy, the testosterone. So testosterone um, is made and in our adrenals, our testes, but we don't make it as we age. So that testosterone maintains the muscle and testosterone in our bloodstream even keeps us juicy. It increases blood flow too. So where did I end up in terms so, of? So you were now, as of July, you were 18.1%. So you were just about on. And so did you think you gained muscle? Uh, I definitely gained muscle and I okay. didn't lose any weight. <laughs> yeah, right. right. So, <laughs> the so, same way I've been. And there's the perfect illustration yeah. of what we've done. Because, as we said, in some ways you're on top of your game. You came in at 194, okay? And your and weight. I'm, I'm 200 today, but that's with my shoes okay. on. But right. I have to that's tell you something. Clothes. My pants are falling off me. Yeah. My, 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 I'm at the, I had to get all new belts. I'm at the last rung of every one of my well, old belts. Fat is distributed around our yeah. center, okay? Yeah. And so we, we end up becoming storage units. We're an apple, we're a pear. And I tell yeah. people, apples, pears, rice, they're all round. They fatten us up. We don't want it. I want to be a wheatgrass, yeah. okay? So, you know, you've done it. You've, and, and I just said to you, sometimes people come in and they think they're heavier 
You did it. You went from 20% body fat to 18% body fat. You lost 2% body fat. And and you're a li- few pounds heavier and your clothes are falling off of you. There's the epitome yeah, of, funny. of performance enhancement. Yeah, I had to throw out all my old jeans. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Yeah. All right, good. I figured. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot. So we yeah. went through it. Yeah. I tried to steer yeah. you through a lot of the stuff that yeah. you, know, you did. That yeah. was great. Yeah. Still working like a dog at 77 years old. I like that. Work harder than a dog. Yeah. Harder than a dog? That's good. You worked like yeah. Meredith and I. That's fine. <laughs> okay. We so left Meredith here ready? late last night with no help, right? Yeah. Sorry. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm rolling. Okay, so Bridget, when I say action, start telling Dr. B what's bugging you and he'll tell you what you can do. Well, Dr. B, I was really in a bad mood today. Mm-hmm. Um. Let's start that again. <laughs> That's not going to improve her mood. <laughs> Actually, yes. Maybe a lot. Hello. Okay. Bag and your Tylenol and your Motrin and uh, cod liver oil every day. And and it doesn't matter if he's not sick. You've got to give him cod liver oil. It stops all viruses. That's the most important one, cod liver oil. All right? All right, very good. Okay, we're rolling. Listen, we're on call. We're just going to have to load up. That's good. And action. Okay, so Dr. B, I really wasn't feeling well today. It's my mood. But I think I know what's wrong. What's wrong? I ran out of the medication you mm-hmm. prescribed. Mm-hmm. Which ones? Cymbalta. Mm-hmm. Of course. For four days. Right. Well, it's a withdrawal effect. You can't run out. There's so much to do as we get older. It's like. No. Fix this, fix the brain, fix the hair, fix the skin, fix the teeth, fix the eyes, check your eyes, do the colon, colonoscopy, do your cardiogram, do your stress test. You know, it's hard to find all that in one place. And then you have to get all the prescriptions. That's why we have an executive health program, because I'm available 24-7 so that when things run out, you text me. In I fact, you talked to me and you didn't text me. You talked to me on the phone, you didn't tell me if you ran out. Just hit me. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're a typical patient. You're worrying about other people, saying hello to the doctor, and forgetting about your prescriptions. Right. I can't solve this system. The renewals are impossible. The pre-auths are impossible. Getting from one doctor to another doctor is impossible. So I created 18,000 square feet, put my whole life on the line, and said, I'll bring as much into one place as possible. So well, we'll renew everything today, and we'll give you three months of renewals, well, and then it's automatic renewal. Actually, I have to blame myself. I do have a refill. Oh my God. So before I came here, mm-hmm. I called the pharmacist. Do you mean deep down inside you prefer not to take a medicine? And many people prefer not to take it. You know, you have to do it. You know, well, I do it. I've been pretty yeah. consistent. And mm-hmm. that's why I've been feeling so good in There's a lot of ways. Healing from medication, healing from nature, the leaves of the tree of life healing from within us, the hormones, healing from the Holy Spirit. So man-made chemicals do a lot of healing. Most of my life I walk, but I need airplanes to get really around the world. So bottom line is technology is critical to your life, but most people are afraid to take medication. And they need to realize it's very difficult to get older and not need a medication. I agree. Uh, Because I'm living that now, so. So what supplements are you taking for the brain now? I take brain and energy in the morning. Okay. Brain calm at night. Okay. And um, sometimes I take dopa. Mm-hmm. A little bit here good. and there. Okay, very good. Well, these are all natural antidepressants. The brain shrinks with age. So almost everybody's brain has shrinkage. And you had some on the MRI not much. and the PET scan. But not, you had some. Not much for an old lady. That's correct. Well, that's, that's why you're working and others here. are not working. And that's because I've been coming here a few years. Right, you've been doing the hormones and the stem cells and the repair. Oh yeah, I've had the stem cells. I'm really okay. excited about that. Okay, all right, well we have to give you a gift. Okay. Right now, you got a little blue, and did you get tired? Did you say tired? Yeah, were you tired when you got blue today and sad? Or were you anxious, uh, more anxious that you were down? Probably anxious. Okay. That's your gift. Brain Thank calm. You. Okay. All right. I could probably use it too. I'll give it to myself later. You can use it all the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> uh, uh, this is for evening. Right. Night. Right. Yes. Okay. But all in all, you know how long I've been coming here now? How long now? 
um, more than seven and a half years. All right. And when you're in trouble, who responds right away? Dr. B. Right? How fast? Oh, it's almost instant. Right. I'm and lightning. I'm lightning on the phone. And I mean that. Yes, okay. you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> In fact, right now I realize I got to respond to another patient, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll be back if you need me. You guys need me more? Not now. Okay. Thank you. How's he doing? Same Same Okay. That's what you do. Okay. What else Yes. Okay. A little bit. And that way you, you can just decide. Read them as we go? You could do that. Whatever, whatever works for you. Well, I want the words, the words have to come out of his mouth. Yeah, let me, no, let me, let me no, just, here's what I like to do. Easy. I'd rather look down, do think, it. pause, go. All right, you ready? Uh, well, you, when you get to the surface, girl, take it off, take it off your neck. <laughs> Why? Because it's as outdated as the typewriter, so what are you wearing it for? It's a, uh, it's our scarf. Oh, it's not, yeah, it's not, I don't use it. I use it for a paperweight. That's I use because it gets colored the white. Yeah. You want, I'll tell you. Yeah, okay. Ask me that. Yeah. Okay, so, we're rolling. All right, so people ask me all the time, how come I wear a stethoscope when it's so outdated? And the answer is it matches nicely with the black, the blue, the white, the red stethoscope. But it's basically uh, stamps. It's like licking envelopes. It's nothing compared to ultrasound or computers, CT angiograms, PET scans of the heart. I mean, you cannot examine a heart with a stethoscope, anything compared to a computer any more than anyone can function in our society without email and, and really using all the different tools of Facebook, Instagram, et cetera. All right. The only thing, when you, when you did that, I heard a little mic rustle, and if that's okay, when you went like that, it just kind of... Stuff here? It's up to you, you gotta tell me. Okay. I mean, it's... it's, it's I'll do it again. Okay, do it let's again. go. Yeah, but what, I don't move this time. This time I don't okay. move. All right. One suggestion. Don't worry about talking on, on, on. I got that. I already said that. I already said I was going to ramble. Uh, and don't worry about saying too much. Bruce, don't worry about saying too much. Don't repeat yourself. Don't repeat yourself. You know what? You convinced me, John. You're going to read them out. Okay? In your first one. I think it's better than you looking down all I do. Because you'll hear me say it and you'll process it. You'll process it. Job. Look at that, huh? Saving my life. Is it 12 year old? I have no idea what the time is. Right. You guys want glasses or no glasses? I prefer no glasses because I'm just going to read them off to you anyway. That's, That's good. Now we're, we're in good shape. A stethoscope for Dr. I wear a stethoscope because I like the way it looks, the beautiful decoration of red, white, and blue. It makes me feel very patriotic, and I love the red stethoscope. But basically, it's like having some stamp collection. I love my stamp collection. It's very colorful. But the reality is, all my mail is now email. So stamps are outdated. They're like relics. I saved my 33 RPM uh, phonograph you know, stuff. But the bottom line is, this stethoscope, this stethoscope is as outdated as licking stamps. It's as outdated as the phonograph. It's outdated as a paper airplane. It is gone. It is finished. It's in the Museum of Archaic Medical Devices. Good. Okay. Still wrestling. That wrestling, let's get rid yeah. of the thing now. You know what it Take is? Take it off. It's just, it's just, it moves with me. That's yeah, the problem. It just, it just, it just right. All right, try one more time. If not, dump it. All right, because we don't yeah, need it. I, I mean, it's, a, you know, it's like, it's just rustling, you know. listen. It's you no, know, would uh, uh, would Steve down. would Steve Jobs advertise his number one new Apple computer with a, a roll of stamps next to him on, on his shoulder? Okay. And so if you want to get the time. truth is he's not advertising much of anything anymore. Understood. All right, All right much better. <laughs> All right. And so tell us about uh, why what you think about the stethoscope, Doctor B. The stethoscope is an outdated, archaic instrument. I wear it because it's red, white, and blue. It's patriotic, and we want to help the United States change healthcare to computer-based physicals. PET scans, CT angiogram, echocardiograms, ultrasound. There's so many better ways to examine the heart today. The stethoscope is outdated like a roll of stamps when we deal with computers and iPhones.
Okay, fly. Okay. Um, next one. Healthcare is brainless. Okay, healthcare is brainless. What do we mean by healthcare is brainless? Because women come in at age 70, 50 breast exams, 45 pap smears, ear exams, mouth exams, lung checkups, heart checkups. I say, have you ever had a memory test? No. Attention test? No. Brain processing speed? No. Brain stability? No. Brain sleeping patterns? No. It's incredible. I mean, have you had a 3T MRI for brain atrophy and shrinkage of the memory centers of your brain called the hippocampus? No. Have you had a voltage check to see your energy level in your brain? No. I mean, it's like, have you had a, have you had a thought to action check, whether or not it takes a long time? Let's say that again. A thought to action check. How long does it take for you to think and then do? because that's the split that occurs in dementia. No, I don't even know what an action test is. I don't know what an attention test is. I don't know what a brain processing test is. Have you had a brain aging test? No. Have you had your rectum check? Yes. 40 times. Breast, 50 times. Have you had your abdomen check? 110 times. It's unbelievably brainless. The brain controls the body as God controls the earth. The brain controls the body like a CEO controls a company. The brain controls the body like the capital of a country represents the whole country or controls it. If you don't have a brain exam as your dominant healthcare choice, you're living brainlessly. And when you're living brainlessly, you're living dangerously. Talk to me, Dr. V, about the difference between having a healthy, fast brain at 30 and a, being a vegetable at 80. Okay. When we're young, the brain processing speed can be like a 100-mile-an-hour fastball. We can only think over a tenth of a second or what we call 100 milliseconds. So you're throwing a fastball at 100 milliseconds. Then at 30, you're throwing the fastball at 90. And then at 40, you're throwing the fastball at 80. And all of a sudden, you're getting bombed. All right, you're done with baseball. In fact, you're done to some way, in some ways at 40 with new learning. Everyone's professionally fixed in a certain area where their brains have become doctor's brains, sales brains, TV brains, audio brains, computer brains, fashion brains. So in some ways the brain has changed into a certain category. The good news is we can keep your speed up because if it keeps going, then by 50, your brain speed is very slow, and 60 slower, and 70 slower, and then it's a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, march into the grave, not into your mother's womb. So you go from your mother's womb to the womb of this earth, and you have to keep your brain quick if you want to keep yourself alive. What most people don't realize is that quick brain invigorates, generates life to the rest of the body. So people die all the time of heart disease with one problem and the same exact problem they don't die so study after study shows if your mood is good people studies show that people with the same amount of heart disease one lives one dies the one with the healthy brain lives when the mood is good when sleep is good when energy is good when voltage is good when attitude is good when the health of the brain is good no matter what disease you have you're going to do better. A healthy brain is the contributor to every well-being aspect, whether it's your bone density, whether it's your mood, heart, thyroid, everything in the body has some regulation from the brain. Now, each organ is separate, but the brain sets the whole tone of human health. The brain controls the body as God controls the earth. Okay, some quick sound bites on the same subject. You've covered a lot of this, but I'd like to do them as quick. Okay, go ahead. Before we do that, I'd like you to redo this real fast in the fastball analogy and end, ending with you don't even recognize the pitch because you catch yourself the ball back to you. Mm. I don't know about that one. Well, you know, I like the way you, you, you tell us. Yeah, they get so old that they don't. <laughs> they don't let them catch yourself the ball back to you. They, they All right, let me, I'll fly it through for you. Let's see. Okay, when you're 20 years, 
the brain can only think at a maximum speed of a tenth of a second. We react to light at 50 milliseconds, sound at a tenth of a second, and you can think at about a tenth of a second. And it takes actually a third of a second to get that thinking revved up. So when you're 20 years old, you're throwing a hundred mile an hour fastball or a hundred milliseconds. And guess what happens? At 30, you're throwing a 90 mile an hour fastball and a 40 and 80 mile an hour fastball and everyone's getting bombed and the brain's already completed its development. By 50, you're throwing a slower fastball, 60, 70, 80. Each decade, you're shrinking and slipping down in terms of processing speed. So guess what happens? By the end of it, you can't even tell the catcher is throwing the ball back to you. Get ready to get hit by death. And death is ready to bat us into the ground at any time. If the brain is quick, you will fight off virtually every major illness. Um, we covered, oh, the head first, you didn't do that. Yeah, you can. Deliver health healthcare. Just say the phrase. I repeat. We deliver healthcare the way most people came into the world, head first. We deliver healthcare the same way most people came into the word, world. We deliver healthcare the same way most people came into the world, head first. You came out of your mother's womb, head first. You'll go into the ground, head first. Your plane flies head first. Your car goes forward head first. But only in the United States does healthcare get delivered rectum first. <laughs> and why? Because our politicians are assholes. So they start from your ass first. Keep going. I threw that in for you, Bruce. I know you like that. Bruce, do you need to go somewhere great? No, I want you to read every phrase. Listen, I don't want to do that. John, I asked you fast cadence. I'm going to lose my momentum. Okay, okay, okay. You're throwing up my momentum. Just the brain, read them and go. The brain starts shriveling up and dying at age 40 to 50. It's like getting a car spinning, but its wheels are going nowhere. It goes from a grape to a raisin or a plum to a plum. Okay. You burn up, you dry up, you swell up, you turn to stone, you get choked to death by your blood supply. You get rusted from all the plastics and pesticide, and then you're called an old man or an old akaka. The bottom line is the brain is shriveling up from 30 and 40 on. It's going from a plum to a raisin. It's going from a grape to a raisin. It is falling apart. Let's say it again. It's going from a plum to a prune, a grape to a raisin, and the brain is shriveling up and dying like your face and the rest of your body. We can stop that drying out. We keep the water inside the brain and we have ways of keeping the brain moist. Without brain moisture, you cannot live. Most people don't realize the brain has right in the middle of it a giant ocean, just like the planet. You gotta keep the brain wet. We have clouds to keep the brain wet. The brain has to be kept wet. When it starts to calcify, harden, and dry out, you die. The natural hormone program is one of the best ways we keep the brain moist inside and juicy, moist and juicy. The cost of not taking care of the brain is the number one organ of the entire U.S. budget times 10. Okay. The cost of not making the brain first results in psychiatric problems, anxiety, depression, insomnia, psychiatric problems, anxiety, depression, insomnia, violence, obesity, mood swings, drug addiction, basically costing the United States all of its assets. Right now, the United States is bleeding from a healthcare system that puts the rectum, the breast, the vagina, the prostate erections as number one before brain health. Without brain health, the United States will go bankrupt. Brain health is the answer, brain health first, the answer to the entire restructuring of the medical economy. That's because there are $100 billion problems of dementia, $100 billion plus problems of obesity, $100 billion plus problems of violence, $100 billion plus problems of psychiatry, depression, insomnia, mood disorders, $100 billion plus problems of obesity, and every one of them has a brain solution. So those five or six core areas are costing the country its productivity. Simple as that. Brain health will change your life, but also change the whole world. Men are usually handicapped when it comes to emotional IQ.
there's certain differences in the male and female brain. And one of them is that we've discovered, it appears that the female brain is more likely to shrink in the cortical and temporal areas or the central and uh, temporal areas that focus in on their own self emotions. So it turns out men, by being outer driven and mathematically more modeled, actually lose the capacity to be emotional IQ while women tend to lose the capacity to take care of themselves. And that's the natural result of the hormones on the brain in utero. Each of us becomes a male or female in our mother's womb. So a five-year-old boy is still different than a five-year-old girl even though they have the same hormones. So a infant or fetus inside gets an estrogen brain or a testosterone brain, which alters the way it ages and matures. For women, it's an area of the brain that's less selfish, gets shrinks. The selfish area shrinks a little bit so they don't stay as self-absorbed. Did that really address the... That's the best I could do right yeah, now. Keep no, going. Well, if you don't like the thing, just skip it. Keep second. going. Uh, I like what I said there, yeah, but I don't so, like that yeah. I... But I don't like that. I don't really care for you're not, you're not related to that phrase. That's okay. Miss Alio? Who's this? Who's this? All right. Call Diana at 646. What do you Oh, you are you doing the bone density? Is that what you're doing for us? Okay, this is a medical emergency line and you cannot interrupt me here. This is the only person you can call, Diana, 646-367-7347. She will. Okay, I'm going to hang up, dear. Don't call again. Um, here's how you get in. 